Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, you know, uh, a question I've been asked uh, and uh, there is some comments about actually all of them they are connected to the same topic we are going to talk about today. Should Muslims follow the Bible? Should Muslims follow the Bible? By the way, my pal talk is open. If you are a Muslim, you can text me. If you feel like you can call me and talk to me about Islam, feel free. My pal talk is open. Christian Prince uh, underscore Prince. Uh, you can text me there and I will call you. Just tell me I would like to join to discuss about the topic or about Islam. <clears throat> I will take your call. So, should Muslims follow uh, the Bible? We have a Muslim in the chat already saying his name is Dinul Haq. Uh, you are an ignorance person, he is saying to me. Well, we can examine that, my friend, Mr. Dinul Haq. What about you call me right now and people will see who is the ignorance? According to what I understand, I never saw a Muslim, he even know what his religion. According to what Muslim they say to me, their prophet was illiterate, and that make him immediately ignorant. Isn't it what your Muslim say? That your prophet is illiterate? No, this is how my name written, some people are writing it down in Paltok. All right, this is how the name, let me post it for you. Some people are posting wrong. It says try again. Be back. Is my broadcast working? YouTube giving me a message saying something wrong. I don't know, let us see. We try again. All right, look like it's working. So when a Muslim, he say to us, you are ignorant. And your Quran says that you Muslims and Muhammad, starting from Muhammad, if you want to know, ask the Christians, ask the Jews. If you have a doubt about your belief, Muhammad, you go and ask Christian Prince. Did the Quran say that? Let us check the book of Muhammad, which a book we don't approve at all. And for sure, there's many reasons we don't approve it. First of all, is the book of mistakes and errors. Secondly, is a book of fictions. And everything inside is wrong. However, one of the wrong youth is, uh, things you see the verse I will show you. If the Muhammadan, they don't believe that we are following the right uh, path. So why Muhammad, he said, his God, he said to him, if you have a doubt about what we send to you, go and ask the Christians and the Jews. In this verse, all the false information of Muhammadan about Christianity is dead. Do you know why? Because if we are wrong, and if we are false, and we are misleaded, how the misleaded is going to tell Muhammad what is right? Are we following people? If all the Christians are wrong, if the Bible is corrupt, as the Muslim, Muslims claim. Then we find a verse in the Quran saying to Muhammad, O oh Muhammad, if you have a doubt about what is revealed to you, go and ask the Christians and the Jews. So if you are a Muslim, you have to agree, either this verse is not really from the Quran, somebody put it there, maybe somebody is a Christian, or somebody is a Jew, and that will make your Quran as a corrupt book, or, this verse is truthful, and then all the false accusation you make against Christianity 
is a stupid. Those people who they're asking me in the chat to talk about different topic, please focus with me, be adult mature. We have a topic, as you see. You don't go to the classroom and start putting your hand up asking me to talk about ducks and chickens when the topic is about cows. Be mature. Do we have any Muslim when I, when I, when I explain to us how in the world the Quran saying to Muhammad in his lifetime, go and ask the Christians and the Jews. My pal talk is open, just text me. Say you are a Muslim would like to call to speak about the topic and I will call you immediately. We prefer the kind of Muslims who have a long beard. If you did not grow one yet, it's okay, we will take you. But if you are a sheikh, I would love to speak to someone. He is a sheikh, an imam of a mosque. So look what happened to the Muslims who they are. They, you know, they say bad things about Christianity. Where are they? If Muhammad himself been asked to go and ask the Christians and ask the Jews, well, aren't they misleaded? How you want to send the prophet of guidance to the misleaded one to give you the correct answer? I mean, who is the foolish here? Do we have any Muhammadan? He have anything to say? So one verse in the Quran destroy all your statement, destroy all your religion, and your religion became a joke. Just one verse. Any Muslim? What is the guy whose name Dinul Haq? Are you there? It is they, infidels? What the infidels? Okay, Abdul, I'm, I'm, I'm asking you a question. If the Christians and the Jews are infidels, why Allah is saying to Muhammad, if you don't believe that you are a prophet, I send you, go and ask the Christians. You just called us infidels. What kind of God he said to his prophet to go to ask those who they are wrong if he is right? <laughs> have you ever heard of a stupid statement this is a stupid statement in the Quran this is statement alone to prove that Muhammad is a fraud and you Muslims have no answer imagine if I keep saying Muhammad is a liar Muhammad is a liar Muhammad is a liar and then I say to you if you don't believe me go to ask Muhammad if I'm telling the truth I just said he's a liar Do you understand how stupid this statement is? So I keep saying to you, Muhammad is a liar, Muhammad is a liar, Muhammad is a liar, and then if you don't believe me, ask Muhammad. He will tell you the truth, but I just said he's a liar. How 24 hours, seven days a week, you Muslim keep saying to us, we are lying, we are lying, we are lying, and then your God Allah, he says to Muhammad, if you don't believe that you are a prophet of Allah, and you have a doubt about what we revealed it to you, which, which means the Quran, go and ask the Christians, and ask the Jews. Do we have any Muhammadan? This verse actually confirmed not only you have to ask the Christians because the Christian they ask whom? They check the Bible. That's mean every Muslim have to follow the Bible. If your prophet himself is following the Christians, if your prophet himself is not a prophet unless the Christians confirm him, so how your prophet became a prophet? Did we confirm him? What do you think? Do we have any Muslim who would like to text me in so we can call him in, in, uh, in Pal Talk? You see, we open Pal Talk just for Muslims in case somebody, one of them, he is knowledgeable and he can refute us. Any Muslim? Will be very very funny if the Muslim they say to us that the Prophet been ordered to ask the Christians for guidance, but yet the Muslims should not do that, because only the Prophet was a fool. Because that's what you are saying. You are saying that we are smart Muslims. The Prophet was a fool Muslim. 
Otherwise, explain to me why Allah is saying to Muhammad such a thing. What do you think? Anyone? Any Muslim have an idea? Does that mean that you Muslims agree that the Quran is really funny book? Shall I show you the interpretation for the verse? Because maybe you might say, oh, it doesn't mean that. Shall we go to the chapter, interpretation? Huh? As you see, this is chapter 10, verse number 94. And this is your Islamic interpretation. So all the statement Muslims, they say to us about their religion, it turned to be like a balloon. All what it, it take, little needle, and the balloon is out of wind. And the interpretation here says, the Muslim uh, translator, he says, uh, hypothetical speaking, he's saying, go to him and ask them. <laughs> Then question those who read the scriptures and the Torah before you. <laughs> this is Tafsir al-Jalalain. I mean, the Muslim's interpretation is really dummy and it's funny. And if thou, O Muhammad, art in doubt concerning that which revealed to thee, concerning which we sent Jibreel, okay, i.e. the Quran, then question those who read the scriptures, i.e. the Torah that be, uh, was before you, Hmm. The scriptures is the Torah only. I thought the people of the book is the Christian and the Jews. Any Muslim? And here you notice that Muhammad is making a clear statement that he have adopt about himself being a prophet. Actually, yes, even the hadith confirmed that Muhammad, he did not believe that he is a prophet and to the point he wanted to kill himself. This is Sahih al-Bukhari, as you see, and this is not written by us. It says in Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 6982, that the prophet after Warak al Nawfal, which was the one who gave Muhammad Quran, he is the source of his Quran, mostly, most of it. When he died, it says the inspiration, the divine inspiration was also post. Read carefully. But after a few days, Warak died, and the divine inspiration was also post. For a while, and the Prophet became so sad, and we have heard that he intended several times to throw himself from the top of the high mountains. And every time he went to the top of the mountain to throw himself down, Jibreel would appear for him or before him. Jibreel would, would appear before him and say, O oh Muhammad, you are indeed Allah Messenger. In the truth, whereupon his heart would become quiet and he would calm down and would return home. So what the pain of Muhammad, why Muhammad tried to commit suicide? He don't believe he's a prophet of God. And the story continue. And whenever the period of the coming inspiration used to become long, Muhammad, he go again to the mountain trying to kill himself. So look at this situation here. We have a man who he claimed to be a prophet. He received inspiration already. And yet when the inspiration stopped coming, he tried to kill himself. He is not sure. 
If Muhammad himself is not sure he's a prophet, so how you Muslims can be sure? Any Muslim? Hmm. Mr. Din al Haq is saying, Quran is asking people to ask the people of the book. We are the people of the book. Isn't it the Quran says, fight the people of the book? And that is the Christian and the Jews. <laughs> Do the Quran have different names for us? The Quran have three ways to describe Christians and Jews. Either he say Christians, or he say Jews, or he say people of the book. As simple as that. And here we notice that Muhammad, when Allah he said to him, if you don't believe that you are a prophet, most likely have a connection with Muhammad trying to kill himself. He have adopt. He have not only adopt, actually he don't believe. Because you don't go to the point you try to kill yourself. Unless you are a person who start hating yourself. Do we have any Muslim would like to join us in a conversation using pal talk yeah, the, yeah i said a christian a christian which is supposed in nasara there's no word a christian in the quran and nasara is a wrong word for a christian anyway but this is what the quran is saying so according to the quran according to the hadith you muslim you should follow the bible not to follow muhammad because muhammad himself he been ordered to ask the christians for what is right how, so how we can follow Muhammad? Anyone can tell us? If the Quran itself saying to Muhammad, if you have a doubt about what we sent to you, and obviously Muhammad he does, we showed you the, the hadith where he tried to kill himself. Many times, not only once. And the reason he tried to kill himself Because he don't believe he's a prophet. And that's why when the angel come to him, supposedly according to the Muhammad story, each time he come to him, he says, Oh Muhammad, you are indeed messenger of Allah. Whereupon his heart would become quiet and he would calm down and would return home. So what was the problem? He don't believe he's a messenger of Allah. Muhammad himself is the last one to believe he is a messenger of Allah. Obviously, Muhammad is suffering from mental issues. Muhammad is mentally ill. And that is a proof in it. Even all the reference Muslims they provide us, and we are very thankful for them to preserve Muhammad's stories in the Quran, as they say, preserve the Quran. Even though there is a hole in the narrative, but it's okay. But all the stories provide to us one thing that Muhammad obviously mentally ill. Because that statement is mentally ill statement. Why Muhammad have a doubt about what he revealed to him when he is many years ago became a prophet already? So what all of this was before? Drama? Illusion? Delusion? What is that? You will notice that the Muslims, they claim that Muhammad was under black magic. And Muhammad, he imagined things, and those things never happened. Including his sexual intercourse relationship was fake. Aisha, she said, the Prophet continued for such and such a period of time. Some Muslims, they say 12 months. 12 months, where supposedly his case was severe. Period that he imagined that he has slept between two bracket Muslim translation sexual relation with his wives and and in fact he did not do you see it mr. Deen al Haq your prophet he asked us to tell our opinion about him and you are asking me to respect your prophet You tell me how I can respect him. I'm just saying he have a mental illness. Isn't this is a proof that this is mental illness? 
What magic? And how Muhammad have a black magic controlling him if the black magic sent by Allah only for two reasons, for one reason actually, is just to make a husband and a wife fight. That's all. But not to make a prophet and their magic. Isn't it your God, he said, that he sent Harry Potter, which in this case, in the Quran, his name is Harut. Harry and Potter, one his name is Harut, and one his name is Marut. To open a school in the Babylon Tower to teach magic and the purpose of this magic to make the wife and the husband fight. Do you see it? And not only that, Harut and Marut, the angels of Allah, who they've been sent down in the Babylon, before they teach you magic and join their school, you have to sign a disclaimer. And they say, but neither of these taught anyone such a thing without saying we are only for a trial. Disclaimer, disclaimer, sign disclaimer here. So do not do plus, I mean, okay. What this, I mean, look at the stupid disclaimer is. So Allah, he opened a school of evil, sending two angels, and angels are teaching evil. And now those angels who they are teaching evil, they are making you sign disclaimer. All right. <clears throat> Uh, please, if you are a Christian, don't text me in pal talk. We are waiting for Muslims to call, even if you are going to uh, to thank me. Do we have any Muslim want to call us? <clears throat> this is God. Oh, we have a guy who posts always in YouTube, uh, but for some reason his text is not showing. Let me take a screenshot. How are you, Mr. Y5683? Good to have you here. We took a, 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 a selfie for you. Smile, please. Don't, uh, why you guys deleted Y56, uh, why you deleted his message? Why you delete him? okay good we took a, a screenshot of his if if we will do to the muslims what the muslim they do to us then there is no need for us to talk to muslims so don't delete the muslims even if he is a spamming he's a muslim especially he is saying something not repeating something he have something to say he's a muslim come on don't delete their messages unless he is just using bad words or something See why chapter 113-114 was revealed. Why chapter 113 and 14 was revealed? What does that mean? What does that mean? Can you tell me what does that mean? Anyone here knows what does that mean? You see, I understand that the admin decide to block you because you are spamming the chat, but can you be smart for a second and tell us what does that mean? However, I have a surprise for you. I did take a screenshot of some of your posts in Facebook, uh, sorry, in, uh, in YouTube previously. And maybe because now you are here, that will be a great opportunity to use your text so people can laugh. This is our friend here, Y5683. He did post in YouTube. Read with me and die laughing. Trust in the Christ, he is saying to speak to somebody. He's saying, I'm sorry, bro. You clearly do not know the background. Don't believe practicing Muslims. How about Christian scholars? Will you believe him? Okay. May peace be upon him. Never call the Isa peace be upon him with the 16th in the 16th century. English. Name Jesus. Later did not even exist. That's because of your ignorant, my friend. 
because the word Jesus is taken from the uh, Greek language and there is a letter was added later so that name changed or let us say appear in the translation however I can say the same to you just to show you how stupid you are in the Quran until now we don't see the name Jesus we see a name it's called Isa what is your excuse when the Jews and the Christians the Arab Christians they never call him Isa not a single one and there's no book ever in history called him Isa so when you speak about a translation saying that the word Jesus was not appearing in certain translation before that date that because there is certain language a change happened not because the name is a fabrication there's letters in the Greek language a person who speak English he cannot pronounce them the same as Arabic like now you say Muhammad but there's no Muhammad it is Muhammad so you are a fool and you are a dummy secondly when you say the name of Isa is mentioned in the Aramaic show us show me the Aramaic Bible saying the word Isa can you show me the verse however I can show you why your prophet he mentioned the word Isa your prophet was a fool man who listened to the Jews and the Jews they told him there is a woman her name is Maryam and she is the sister of Aaron which means the sister of Moses, which is true. In the Old Testament, there is such a name. So Muhammad, because he's a false prophet, he took what the Jews said without understanding that Maryam, the sister of Aaron, have nothing to do with Maryam, the mother of Jesus. So in the Quran, in chapter 19, verse number 28, he said, calling Maryam, O sister of Aaron, and because he heard some Jews saying that Maryam, the sister of Aaron, she have a son, his name is Esau or Isa, so he thought this is her son. So again, your prophet is a fraud. Are you there, Mr. Five something? You are unblocked. Why you don't call me, Mr. Y5? Do you like to call me? Here we go. Your Quran saying that Miriam, the mother of Jesus, is the sister of Aaron. A Jewish rabbi, he came to Muhammad. He wasn't home. Aisha, she was home. And he said to Aisha, well, this is wrong. Because as I know, there's hundreds of years be between Mary, the mother of Jesus, and Miriam, the mother of, uh, uh, the sister of Aaron. Aisha, she said to him, you are a liar, kadabt. <laughs> which mean this is what Muhammad meant. When Muhammad came, she told him, and he noticed that he got busted. He was a stupid, he was a fool. He said, oh, they were used to call them by their prophets or their great leaders or their ancestors. But the Quran get Muhammad busted again because in chapter three, what the name of the chapter? Al Imran. Who is Al Imran? Imran is the father of Mary, Maryam. And he is the same Imran, the father of Moses. <laughs> Go right now and search Google. What is the name of a prophet Moses, uh, the, the father of a prophet Moses in Islam? You will see right away the word Imran. Okay. What is the name of, the, of, of Mary in Islam? The father of Mary in Islam, Imran. And this is why the foolish Muhammad, he said, O oh, sister of Aaron. Do we have any Muslim want to say something? Want to add something? Want to defend something? My pal talk is open, you can call me. So they try to fix the first lie about Mary, she is the sister of Aaron, but using the same name for the same father, between Mary and Moses, that got Muhammad busted for sure. I remember that Mary, her father is not Imran. That is another stupid mistakes in the Quran. You know, ask yourself, why the Christian even they want to change the name of the father of Mary? I mean, what is that door? What, what that will do? Who in the world want to believe such a garbage?
You know what I'm saying? Why, why the Christians, the Muslims, they say we corrupted the Bible. Okay, why in the world, 600 years before Muhammad, we changed the name of the father of Mary? So we notice that the Muslims, they are very much in chaos. They don't know what to do. A Muslim, the same Muslim who is in the chat now, he posted in YouTube this, and let me show you again so we can laugh together. Muslim particularly follow Jesus, the real name Isa. Uh huh, this is the real name. Do you have a proof that this is a real name? I'm waiting for it. More than the current Christians, okay, why? Jesus' real name is Isa. Show us the proof. Had a bearer, a bearer, most Muslims support beard. <laughs> Guys, Jesus, the Muslim have a beard. <laughs> where, 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 can you show us a reference about Jesus, the Muslim have a beard? From your religion. Can you show us? As I know that your prophet himself, he don't have a beard. He tried to grow it like Zach and Naik. He put fertilizer there. I mean, look how silly they are. We follow Jesus because we have a beard. You, follow, uh, you have a beard. Uh, because you are following Jesus? That is the reason, this is the proof? Okay, well, I have a beard. That's mean I'm following Jesus now. This is how stupid you are. And then he says there, uh, priest and pope don't support beard. That's stupid of you again to say, because there is many of them, they have beard, and this is a personal thing. Again, a stupid idiot. Mary was a very biased woman, never committed adultery, and covered herself up. Uh, she covered herself up. Show me the reference. Can you show me the reference where she covered herself up in the Quran? She's wearing hijab. Actually, the Quran says that when she went going to deliver the baby, she put herself behind the curtain. She hide herself. That's all. Then we continue. He's saying, Muslim women do the same. No, Muslim women, they don't do the same. Muslim women, first of all, they don't cover. Muslim women are very, you know, they are very open when it's come to sexual relationship. This is why Islam is a very open relationship when it's come to sex. You can have four wives at the same time, four women in one house. You can jump like a monkey between women. And women, those women, they don't get upset from each other. That is open sexual relationship. In Christianity, if a woman, she have husband and he sleep with other women, she have the right to divorce him. Same for the man. In Islam, no. The man, he can have four women, which means he's a cheating with four women. But this is legal in Islam. Cheating is legal. He can sleep with four women, and yet you speak about morality. Four in the same time. Muslim, they will say to you, oh, there's a, there's a name in the Old Testament. He was a king. He has 700 wives. It's not God who said that to him. Actually, the God, he condemned him for his behavior. The Bible says, don't multiply your wives. Don't multiply your wives. Speaking about Mary, she is biased woman. Was Aisha a biased woman? Let us examine it. Can we do that, guys? Why the Muslim, first of all, they say, Aisha, she, uh, sorry, uh, Mary, she was a biased woman? Because Muhammad says so. And because Muhammad says so, nobody dared to speak against Mary. Otherwise, they would be making fun of her. However, according to the Quran, Aisha and Hafsa, they were bad women. And they even they are kuffar. Look what the Quran said about your prophet wife, two wives, Aisha and Hafsa. Chapter 66, verse number 4. It says that those two women, they need to repent to Allah. And if they don't repent to Allah, and their heart are indeed inclined, they are far away from Allah. They are kuffar. They are filthy. And if they don't repent to Allah, and go against the Prophet, or keep going against the Prophet, Allah truly is a protector and Jibreel and every righteous among the Muslims, and furthermore, the angels. 
So according to the Quran, Mary, she was a biased woman, very wonderful woman, while the wives of Muhammad, they are a bunch of gang and they are filthy. Who said that? Your prophet, Quran. Are you going to say your Quran is lying? Now I understand why they block you. Uh, why five, six? If you, if you keep going that, I will block you. All right? You are just an angry Abdul and you don't know what to say. I can hide you from the text, from the chat in two seconds. Don't be stupid, my friend. We are giving you opportunity to defend yourself. And why you don't call me live on air? Guys, why the Muslim get angry? Did I show them from their books that Aisha, she was bad? And the wives of Muhammad, they were bad? Is it my fault? So now we have an agreement that Jesus he is born from the most wonderful women ever exist. Even she is chosen by God according to Islam. Very special person. God, he sent angels to speak to her. This is how important she is. God, he sent his spirit to speak to her. This is how important she is. The spirit of Allah appeared in front of Mary to present to her the good news. This is how important she is. Who is Aisha? Aisha, she was a girl playing with her dolls when she was married to the perverted man. His name is Muhammad. And when she grew and she became almost a woman, she became more perverted than the prophet, more than the husband. And now she having parties and the wives are fighting against their prophet or their man, as you see. Is that what a good woman do? According to Islam, if a woman, she disobey her husband, the husband should beat her. Chapter 4, verse number 34. And this is why the Hadith says that Aisha, once she was her husband, Muhammad, he did beat her in her chest. And even the father of Aisha was beating her too. Do we have any Muslim? All what we see in the chat, angry Muslims and no answer. Be my witness. And here we need to ask ourselves about the character of two. Muhammad versus Jesus. Muhammad, he a, he's a prophet of God. He was busy collecting more women. And one of the reasons of the fight here with Muhammad because he's a cheater. He sleep with the slaves. He sleep with the servant. You send the servant to the house of to the room of Muhammad to clean the the, the, the bed. He jump on her. Now we can show you the interpretation. Even one of his wives, she found him in her bedroom sleeping with her with his slave, and she said to him, "Fi bayti wa ala in my in 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 my in my house in my day in my bed." which means how disgusting you are. So while Jesus was washing the feet of his disciples, showing how humble he is, yet he was raising people from death, making the blind see, healing the leper. Muhammad was busy with his collection of wives. A Muslim saying, Dean al-Haq saying, at that time, people, they used to marry young. Okay, hold my, my friend. Can you show me a reference? Can you show me a reference of somebody marry someone she is six years old? The Muslim, they will go and they will say to you, oh, in the Bible, there's Rebecca. She married when she is three years old. You are a liar. Big fraud. Nobody says that. That's your fabrication. What young? She is six years old. Go check it out in the street. Look at six years old girl and see how she is. And Muhammad was 54 years old. And Muhammad already had many women. Why he need a baby? Actually, to prove to you that Muhammad is really mentally ill, additional proof, not only he imagined himself having sex with his wives, in fact, he never did, and Aisha, she got him busted. The Hadiths speak that Muhammad, he spoke to one of his gang member, his name is Jabber. He noticed that Jabber, he's trying to go home fast. As you see, all of this is Sahih Hadith. Hmm?
read carefully and love all those references. So you cannot say this is not a true story. Hmm? Okay. So the man, he was going home, and Muhammad, he asked him, why you are a rush? Where do you want to go? He said to him, I, I'm newly married. Muhammad, he said to him, oh, did you marry a young virgin, a child virgin, or previously married? He said, well, she is previously married. Muhammad said to him, why? Why you don't marry a young child? So she can play with you and you can play with her. That is how sick your prophet is. Hmm? And the funny, the more you read, the more you die laughing and disgusted about Muhammad. Like, look at as an example here. I married, I married a woman and went to the to the prophet. He said, "Oh, Jibril, have you married?" I said, "Yes." He said, "A virgin or a, a matron?" I said, "A matron." He said, "Why don't why don't marry a young girl, huh? So that you play with her and she play with you?" I said, "Oh, Messenger of Allah." Abdullah, his father, died, and he left behind seven or nine daughters. So I brought someone who can cook for them. The young girl, she can't cook for them. She is a little girl like them. <laughs> he want him to get a Aisha like him. I married someone, a woman, she can cook for them. I cannot get a little girl like them. Like them, do you see guys, it says, she is going to be like them. I cannot marry someone like them. They are orphans. Do you see it? What kind of a prophet is prophet? He is very sick person. He has something special for little children. What they call them today, be the file. Well, the funny uh, Dean al Haq is saying liar, liar, and I'm showing the screen. Dean al Haq, am I showing you the story in the screen with the reference? So, how in the world you keep saying to me liar? What do you think, guys? How you say to me liar? Read again, my friend. Muhammad, he said to him. Did you marry someone she is virgin or a young girl? He said, no, uh, 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 sorry, uh, she is a widow, previously married, or no, sorry, previously married. Whereupon he said, why you don't marry a young girl? Young girl, let us see how young she is, so that you could sport with her and she sport with you. Are we lying at the haq now? As you see, we are reading the hadith in the front of your eyes. And then he said, or oh, she could amuse you. Oh, it's fun, okay, little child. And you could amuse her, yeah, little child, you can give her some candies, she's happy. Abdullah died, he said, Abdullah died. He fell as a murderer in, in Uhud, he was fighting for you, and left nine or seven daughters behind him. I, therefore, did not approve the idea that I should bring a girl like them. People, do you see it? This guy, he have a bunch of girls who they are orphans. This is why I disapprove the idea of bringing a girl like them. So you Muslim, you should follow Jesus. You cannot follow such a man. What kind of a man? Imagine your daughter, she is married to a man and she was previously married. And then a guy, he walk in the street and he say, hey, 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 why you marry this woman? She is divorced or she is a widow. Go and marry a child. A child. She can sport with you in the age of your children. Huh? Go. <coughs> so imagine this. I am Jagger. And Muhammad come to me. <coughs> 
Jabber, did you get married? Yes, Prophet, I get married from, uh, uh, from our nice women. <coughs> is she previously married or a young virgin? Oh, uh, Prophet, she is uh, previously married. Uh, yeah, she is not virgin. <coughs> Why? Why you do such a thing? Why you don't marry a young girl? Very young girl. So she can play with you. And you play with her. You don't know what are you missing. <coughs> uh, a prophet, uh, 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 Abdullah, he passed away and he left me nine girls and they are so small, tiny, and I did not approve the idea of marrying a child like them because I need someone to take care of them. <coughs> Trust me, you don't know what are you missing. Uh, prophet, I thought, but I prefer being a woman who would look after them and teach them a good manner, whereupon Allah Messenger said, uh, Oh, supplicated for good. Oh, be conferred for me by Allah. What does that mean? I mean, he was putting poison in the head of the man for the last hour, saying to him, Why you marry a widowed, a, a, a previously married woman? Asking him to have a child in his bed. Do you appreciate your friend telling your brother and son in law why he married your daughter who is previously married? Asking him to go after a child. So when you Muslims you, you, you speak about should we follow the Bible? Well, the Bible, you know, this is Muhammad according to the Bible, he is a perverted, filthy man. What Jesus says about hurting the little ones? Muslims, they say to you, do you know there is a priest who is a child molester? Well, Muhammad is a priest who is a child molester. He is a, a guy who claimed to be a priest of God. Muhammad is the same as those priests. They are evil. They are serving the devil. They claim to be a priest of God, but yet they are child molesters. And they're proven in front of you. And my pal talk is open. Not even one Muslim going to call me. If we ask Christians, Christians, priests who they are child molester, where they will end? Somebody tell me, please. Are they going to go to heaven? Just to show you the difference between Christianity and Islam. Christians, where a priest who did child molestation will go? He is going to be with Jesus or he will go to hell? Let us see what the Christian they will say. Tell me, Christians, where will go such a person? Is he going to be in heaven? For sure he will be in hell. According to you, Muslim, your child molester Muhammad is the best of mankind. And he will be given the best corner in heaven. <laughs> so do you see why Islam and Christianity, they have nothing to share? In our belief, such a criminal, he will go and be tortured in hell. Jesus says it's better for you to put a mild stone in your neck and throw yourself in the deep ocean before you do that, hurt the little one. So imagine how bad the sin is to hurt the little ones. So in a Christ teaching, you go to hell. Badly, you will be punished. In Islam teaching, Muhammad is the best man. So obviously Muhammad is coming from hell. He is from hell. He is trying to invite you to go to hell. You see, all of us, we commit sin. Yes, we do. But this is not a sin. Child molestation is not a sin. That is a bigger crime against God. For you are taking advantage of those little ones who do not know what sin is. That is far beyond sin. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? He is the perfect conduct. Okay, guys, is that the perfect conduct? He have a wife, she is a child, and he is asking men to go after children. And this is perfect conduct. Can you believe it? <laughs> Can you really believe it? Still this guy is saying to us he have a perfect conduct. Let us see other comment. 
You see, until now, everything we said about Quran and Islam, Muslims, they have no answer. We show them that their prophet himself should follow us. We don't follow Muhammad. Muhammad follow us, supposedly, but obviously he's not following us. Uh, when a Muslim, he tried to prove to us something. How he proved that, you know, uh, Islam is from God? They go after silly stuff. How Jesus, he prayed? We try to pray like him. We are copying the Jews. You are not praying. Muslim never pray. Prayer is something you do voluntarily, not obligation. So when Muslim, he tried to say to us, we and uh, Jesus, we share a lot of things. You never share anything with Jesus. And actually, Muhammad, he was trying to copy how the Jews pray. And when the Jews got busted, look what he did. He changed the prayer in two seconds. Just to show you how fraud he is. Muhammad was praying in a funeral. Uh, hold on, we have a Muslim saying something for me here. His name is slave, I am a slave of Allah. CP, uh, since you have a fear of Muslims, then you tell me many your goodness people, true Christian. First of all, my friend, you are the one who have a fear. And I keep saying, who is a Muslim when I call me? And you are the one who have a fear from me. Your God, Allah, have a fear from me. Let me put your statement, and I will give you five minutes to call me. Otherwise, everybody knows who have a fear. If you don't have fear of a Christian prince, then call me. You are a slave of Allah, so why you have a fear of calling me? It is an excuse. Is it Allah on your side? Obviously, your Allah does not exist, and you are terrified. So you are the one who have fear. Tell me, uh, uh, Van, I don't know what Van means. Tell me how many your a good man good my people are true Christians well there's many of them they are good why not we have monks they do nothing in their life except serving people we have people who spend their life missionary to serve a Christ name for me one person he's a Muslim is a good person starting from Muhammad you, you see we are showing you how faithful Muhammad is are you better than Muhammad you will say no <laughs> let us assume for the sake of argument there's a good Muslim the good Muslim is the one who act like Muhammad he will go after children he will kidnap people and beat them until they tell him the money where is the money he will go to the wife of his own son when the husband is not there and he will flirt with the wife and then later he will sleep with her are you there Mr. Brave Man who is the one who have a fear you do have a fear you have a phobia, not only fear. You are terrified. You have nothing to say. Who is a Muslim who don't have a fear? Look at this, Muhammad. Muhammad was doing a prayer in the funeral time, and then a Jewish rabbi, he walked by. And what the Jewish rabbi, he said, Oh, Khabibi Muhammad, Khabibi Muhammad, this is how we do it. Huh? What the rabbi said? Khabibi Muhammad. Habibi Muhammad, bravo, 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 Muhammad. This is how we do it, Muhammad, bravo. Okay. So the Jewish rabbi approved Muhammad how he pray. He said to him, bravo, this is how we do it. What Muhammad he did? He said, listen carefully, he said, sit down, sit down, act differently. Do you see it? So when Muhammad he felt right away that he is getting busted by a Jew, he is trying to pray like the Jews. And the Jew, he said to him, this is how we do it. Muhammad, the fraud, he changed the way he pray. Well, shouldn't you wait for Allah approval? I mean, is it up to you to pray? Isn't your Muslim who just said to us, they pray like Jesus? So why you need to change it? You know what I mean? Oh, hold on, we have a Muslim. He is he uh, he is uh, he have a picture of David Wood 
wearing women clothes. You remind me of your prophet, my friend, because you're David Wood in that video. You see, you help us now to expose your Islam more. Thank you. So he thought he can insult David Wood here, but in fact, you are insulting your prophet because I can show you the hadith and the reference, which is the video, that video specifically made to show you how your prophet wear women clothing. Actually, your prophet, he says, I never receive Quran except in the women, the clothes of Aisha. Secondly, I love your mathematics. One plus one plus one equal to ha 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 one. That's wonderful. So how you stupid Allah, he say that Allah is one. Yet he says, if he want to take a partner for sex, he will take it from us. That's mean Allah will have sex with himself. Do you want to show me the verse? Secondly, if one plus one plus one is equal to one, according to you, we never say that. That's stupid of you because we don't have one plus one plus one. One is God is one. But according to your religion, the stupid Muhammad, he said in the Quran that Jesus is a spirit of God and he is a man and he is the word of God. How he is a three and one in the same time. We are the one should be laughing at you. It is you who believe one plus one plus one is one. And this is the verse. And everybody will be laughing at you in a second. Is that your Quran or my Quran? How Jesus is a three and one in the same time. Chapter 4 verse 171. And if you like me, the one who is wearing a... Uh, uh, women clothing picture of David Wood, which David Wood, we knew he, he don't wear women clothing. He was showing you that your prophet is a perverted man, sick ma maniac, you know. Uh, call me and I will make you read the same story about your prophet saying, I never received Quran except in the clothing of Aisha. So most of them, they try to defend. They say, no, 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 the clothing, clothing here mean a house. But that doesn't mean Muhammad never received Quran in the house of Khadijah. <laughs> My friend, let me take more, you know, guys, if you see how many screenshots I have in my, in, my, uh, in my computer, you will die laughing from the Muslims. Hold on, hold on. Look at the answer. Dear Haq is getting excited, so he said. Look, we open for them, pal talk, to call us, but still they will not call. Look at this guy. Uh, David and Christian Prince are the joke of the century. Exactly, brother, because we are reading a book of God called Quran, and that makes us funny, and people laugh. This is the best joke ever. So if I show you now a joke which is not made by me, but told by me, that an ant was praying to Allah and her legs is up, who is going to laugh at who? Huh? An ant was laying in her back. Do you want to see the joke of the century? Your prophet said that Solomon, when he went out, not David Wood, not Christian Prince, Solomon, brother, the Muslim Solomon, he went out and he saw an ant. And what this ant was doing, look, Allah Messenger said, Suleiman, assalamu alayhi, Solomon, peace be upon him. He said he went out to pray for rain. Oh, there's a drought. There's no rain. Ah, okay. And then he saw an ant laying on its back and raising its legs. What? The ant is laying in its back and raising her legs like this. And you are talking about the best joke of the century? So a prophet of God, his name is Solomon, he went outside according to Islam and he noticed in the floor, in the desert, I mean, look how sharp his eyes, this guy, huh? He noticed there's an ant and her legs is up. Okay. And Yasser Qadi is watching with us. And now Yasser Qadi, he noticed that there's a hole in the narrative of the story. So look, so the ant, peace be upon her, because obviously she's a Muslim prophet too, according to the story. Are you with me, Abdul, Mr. Joke? Hmm. Let's continue reading. <clears throat> and please try not to laugh. Show respect, show respect, please. Okay. So he went out to pray for rain. And he saw an ant 
Uh, by the way, is that a female ant? Is it is it legal for a Muslim ant to be naked and her legs is up? I mean, this is haram because there is a Muslim girl. She said the word ant namla namla mean a female ant. Obviously, this is a female ant too. You stupid idiot! In Arabic, we say namla for any ant individual. If it's many, we say naml. False people. I will make a video about it. So it's laying in its back and rising its legs. Oh boy. I mean, this is very, very, very tempting, very tempting to the sky, to Allah. Okay. Saying, okay, what the ant is saying, the ant is saying what? The ant saying, oh Allah, oh Allah, we are creatures among your creatures. Did you forget us, Allah, that we are creatures like the other the creatures? Come on, Allah, are you stupid or what? And we cannot live without water. Uh -huh. So the ant was making supplication to Allah as a Muslim and praying to Allah to send water. And then Solomon, he heard her and he said huh, to his companion, go back, go back, act differently. I mean, sorry, go back for you have been given water through supplication of others. Oof, 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 oof. So the reason we have typhoon or hurricane because ants are sleeping in their back and they are legs is up and they are praying to Allah. And you are talking about the best joke? This is the teaching of God. And who is the one who taught Muhammad such a wonderful story? Allah, brother. Because this is a knowledge back on time. We cannot go back on time. We as a human, I wasn't there. You wasn't there. Where Muhammad he got such a knowledge? From Allah. Allah is all knowledgeable. If you don't believe me, ask Yasser Qadi. And from now on, I assure you, every single person watching this video, he will go out in the yard and check out if there is too much hot. If you are in Indonesia, please, and you don't have rain for long, huh? go and look at the female ants. Their legs is up. Muslim, they call them females. But as I told you, the word namla does not mean female. So let us see if this is happening. Maybe happen in the only in the time of Solomon. Okay, let us do this. What about we put an ant in a box? for a week without water after a week we should see the ants sleeping in their back and they are praying to allah asking allah for water hey muslims who want to do such an uh, uh, such a uh, like an experiment the same as the cat experiment you did to us that the cat don't go over the quran and later you know they got you busted with the stupid experiment you have can we put an ant for like few days in the box without water and see if the ant she will lay down in her back and she will pray to Allah and if you read the Muslim uh, 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 guys the Muslims uh, the Muslim uh, comment let me let me show you I mean how, how how amazing the Muslims when they comment and refute me okay Listen, guys, look at this Abdul. Let us take all the lines. This Abdul, he decided to say to me, Oh, enemy, enemy of Allah, Ya Adu Allah, why do you lie? You eat it. I have the story, the hate in front of you, and it says authentic, and you are saying I'm lying. The other Abdul saying to me, Educate yourself. Like, what? My friend, I assure you, you never heard what I, I'm saying to you before. I am the one who educate you here. You are just a potato. And you are telling me educate yourself? Deen al-Haq? By the way, your name is true. Deen al-Haq. Al-Haq. Not al-Haq. Because they used to do hack to the black stone. They put their private part inside it and they hack. And women, they used to put their hands inside the black stone and they touch it with their period so they can have babies. Call me to show you the reference. Why you lie? I mean, all the reference I'm showing the screen, and let the Abdul say to me, why you lie? You're a liar. It doesn't say that. You're a liar, okay? There is no way the Prophet, he will tell such a stupid story. It's in the front of, it's, you're a liar. You're a liar. It says authentic, or you're a liar. 
But this is your Muslim website, you are a liar. This is your translation, you are a liar. So when you talk about the best comedy, my friend, the best comedy is your prophet and his stories. This is why we have rain, because ants are praying to Allah. Should we wage war in a war against ants in some location because we have too much rain, maybe? So it's not a global warming causing rain or anything. This is the ants. Tell those stupid scientists about their stupid, crazy global warming. It's ants who cause rain. Flood. You know what? I think the flood of Noah happened because of ants too. They prayed too much. So Allah, he sent too much rain. Until now, not a single Muslim contacted me in Paltok. Anyone? You know, I used to have a friend, she is an aunt, and she was a female. And then, you know, the Muslim, they saw me with her alone, and they start saying rumors about us. And then they start being upset from her because she is a Muslim aunt. How a Muslim aunt go with a Christian prince and she have a date with him? And you know, and uh, the funny is, she used to call me honey and uh, she bite me because she think I'm sugar, you know? I can show you the bite on my foot. I mean, this is how she, she exchanges kisses. She's a Muslim aunt. Hmm? Ali Muhammadan? And by the way, why she is not wearing hijab? I mean, where is the, where is the, you know? I mean, look at this religion. They talk about jokes. They, they believe that monkeys are Muslims. And those Muslims, oh, we are, I don't see this, the, the, hold on, let me, it's very really dark. I'm just using the light of the computer to see. Uh, let me. Okay. That's better. All right. Now we can type better. Look at this, brother. Not only ants are Muslims, even monkeys are Muslims. Actually, the Quran says that all animals are nations and Allah, he gave them Quran and they never destroy the book. <clears throat> Is it true that Shia, they got their black stone? The Shia, they have different, uh, you know, mythology. Uh, the Shia, they have like stones from the dust of the grave of Al Hassan Al Hussein. They put it in front of them. They pray to it, and you know they believe it's holy. And yeah, it's a different story. Guys, Muslims, is that true? So the ant is a Muslim. The monkey is a Muslim. Who is not a Muslim? Anyone remember? Who is not a Muslim? Who is the enemy of Allah? We will see how you act when you die. Okay, how you will see that when I will be dead too, you idiot. And don't talk about how we will see. Okay, guys, the Muslim, they brought themselves to themselves. I mean, don't use any word with me. Otherwise, will be used against you, my friend. Look what you said. And now we will say, okay, I wish, I wish I did not say that. This is you. This is your text. Is it true that you're Allah? When people die, he will insert a chain in their anus. Mr. Din al Haq. So you are the one who said, you will see how you act when you die. I'm asking you. You are the Muslim, I'm not. Is it true that when you die, Allah will insert a bigger chain in your anus? Yes or no?
I'm waiting for the answer. You are the one who opened the topic, so don't cry. Are you there? What, you want to change the topic now? Did you decide to change the topic? I'm waiting for your answer. You are the Muslim, not me. Loot, who die? Is that Arabic you are posting for me, my friend? Use Google translation is better. It is Daif Hadith. Which one is Daif Hadith? Abdul Muhammad. Which one is Daif Hadith? What, what are you talking about? The ant one? Or the monkey one? No, the ant one is uh, Sahih. The, mo the, the ants one, here we go. It says authentic. Here we go. Are you there? What happened to Abdul Haq? He didn't want to talk about it suddenly. The Quran says that when a person he died and he was, uh, uh, you know, he disobeyed Allah, Allah will insert a chain in his anus and uh, Muhammad, as usual, he stuck with number 70 as usual but the funny is this is by the way this is miracle it says here the number of the chapter is 69 i mean look how the miracle is working furthermore further make him march in a chain the muslim translation by the way march how you march inside the chain what are you talking about it says in arabic just to show you how they lie in the translation they are ashamed of it ثم في سلسلة ذراعها سبعون ذراعا فأسلكوا insert in him inside him a chain which is seventy arm long arm what in the size of Allah arm we will show you that if we go and see the interpretation <coughs> okay we have Mahdi Mahdi is saying he agree with it okay Mahdi I will show you what the problem my friend. I hope you will keep what you said there. You will not change your mind in a second. Chapter 69, verse number 22. Sorry, 32. What's wrong with this one? Nothing wrong, huh? Let us see. In a second, we will see if it's wrong or not. It's smart or not, it's stupid or not. This is Ibn Kathir interpretation. Then fast in him. Let us move it a little bit. Give me a second to make it more clear. If you are a Muslim and you contact, you can contact this website owners the muslim the, they have the dean show he can ask them to change the tar the text map and make it bigger so it's going to be i mean don't want to help us to bust muhammad that's not nice okay it says here then fast in him therefore fast in him in a chain on a chain wherefore the length of it is 70 cubit Kabul Ahwar said, every ring of it is equal to the entire amount of the iron in the world. al Aufi reported from Ibn Abbas saying, each cubit will be a, a, a foreign length of an angel. Ibn Juraj reported and he said, first in him, it will be entered into his buttocks and pulled out of his mouth. Okay, the one who said there's nothing wrong with that. How your anus is so small and then a ring have iron equal to all the iron in the world will enter your anus. 
And what kind of God he practiced sexual torture? This is sexual. Inserting a chain that he huge inside your anus. Anyone he have little imagination, he will notice that Allah is a sexual error person. He have a mental illness. Oh, exactly. So guys, look what Mahdi, he said to us, you are right in this. Actually, I have this information in my book. So Allah, he made the women, he made the women 30 miles tall and the Muslim man 90 miles tall. Still, that is a stupid answer, my friend, because it says one ring of it have all the iron of the, the iron in the world. Every ring. So even if you are 1,000 miles big, still you cannot have all the iron in the world inside your hole. Mr. Hall. <laughs> yeah, and by the way, imagine a woman, she is 30 mile and the man is 90 mile. How stupid is that? Let us let us measure here. Okay, let us, let us do it in front of you. How in the world you will be with your wife? So, according to Muhammad, let us make a drawing here. Let us say, this is a 90 mile tall man. Okay, this is what? This is 90 mile. Let us type the word 90 there. All right. Now your wife will be one third of you, correct? That's what you said to me. She will be one third of you. Wonderful. One third is be like this. Maybe less. I think less. How does it work for you? Are you there? This is the wife and this is the husband. Are you going to kiss her using elevator? And how somebody he is 90 mile tall will have sex with someone she is 30 mile tall. I'm not going to talk about sexual organ for now. You know what I'm talking about. Different opinion. What opinion? Give me different opinion. Guys, this is a different opinion. It's you who said to me that. And you're a prophet, he said, Allah will give you a private part which is endless. So how she is, uh, you know, she will be 90 centimeter wide. Guys, listen to this. I don't want to, you know, we don't want to speak filthy. But let us imagine this. Let us say this is the woman. And she is 30 miles tall, but she is 90 centimeter wide. The man private part is endless. So if he start having sex, where the private part will end? Any Muslim? She is just 90 centimeter wide, which will make her look like a worm. Imagine you are 30 miles tall and you are 90 centimeter wide. How you even can you stand up? I mean, you will become like a, like a, a, you know, like a, I don't know, a, like a dry grass and the wind will be moving you. 30 miles tall and 90 centimeter wide? Ninety, ninety mile tall. Let us ask Prophet Google to help us. 
convert 90 mile into kilometers oh boy 144 kilometers and 84 one meter almost 145 kilometer the Muslim man will be 145 kilometer any Muslim I see too many comments from the Muslims, but I don't know what they want to they want to call. We have Abdul Muhammad saying, "If Jesus is God, why he is such evil in the Old Testament?" Okay, that's that's a wonderful question, my friend. But you know, uh, Adil Muhammad, I mean, this is a very wonderful question from a wonderful Muslim who do not know Islam. Can you tell me what is the evil in the Old Testament? You will say he ordered them to kill. He ordered them to invade. He will say he ordered them to kill babies. Here we go. The Quran ordered you to kill babies. Allah, he opened a school to teach you how to kill babies. The Jews, they were practicing eye for an eye. They killed their babies. They destroyed their life. They enslaved them. They attacked them. But look at here. Allah, he sent Musa's to learn how to kill babies according to the Quran. And now you will see in a second how the Muslim will change his mind about babies. Read with me Abdul Abdul, Abdul Muhammad. Funny name. Is that your Quran? Or this is the Christian Bible? Is that your Quran or this is the Christian Bible? Allah, he sent Musa, who is the Jewish prophet, the one you are talking about in the Old Testament. He sent him to learn how to slew children from a prophet of God. His name is Al-Khudr. Are you there? A Muslim saying, when you don't have an answer, you turn to the Quran. No, my friend, I'm answering you because from the Bible, you will not believe anyway. You will say the Bible is corrupt. I'm getting your busted from your book. <laughs> if I spend 10 hours reading for you from the Bible, you will say anyway, then believe in the Bible. I'm showing you your hypocrisy. What do you think? Deal Haq, you are quoting for us from the Old Testament that a bunch of youth, they insulted the prophet of God. But as you see, the one who killed them is God. Isn't it your Quran says that God, he made the flood of Noah and he killed everybody? Everybody, children, women, adults, you know, stupid people. You see, stupid people. At least it's not the prophet who killed them. God, he made them die. Here we have a child who never commit any sin. He was killed according to the teaching of Allah. Actually, you know what? Uh, why Allah did not do the same as this guy? Here we go. I will make fun of Muhammad. Bold, bold Muhammad, bold Muhammad. Why the beasts are not coming to me? You will say because God, he chose, right? I mean, he chose who? When? Uh, okay. So you believe in the same thing. Uh, Mahdi saying, the Muslim believe that the flood of Noah was locally, not a global. Okay, I challenge you, Mahdi. Do you like to call, to, to call me right now? And I will show you it was a global. In the front of everybody, just to show you guys that Muslims are a bunch of ignorant. I'm not calling names. I'm just showing you they are ignorant. They do not know the religion. Who is the one who want to challenge me if this is true or not? That you Muslim believe that it was local, not global. Anyone? Never take what Muslim they say to you as a true 
answer. Muslims are the last one to know their religion. And this is why we open for them pal talk and nobody there. If you go in the Quran, <clears throat> you will see the Quran saying clearly that all mountains was covered by water. How you can cover all the mountains by water if it's local? Idiot. So the ark floated with them on the waves and the waves was like mountains and Noah called out his son who had separated himself from the rest O oh, my son embark with us and be not with the unbelievers the son he said huh, I will be take myself to some mountains and it will save me from the water Noah said to him said this they nothing can save you from with the command of Allah and this by the way what did that he said and Zechariah said because they are stupid they do not know what the Quran so the guy he took the highest mountain he can reach and then the rain come and the rain cover all mountains any Muslim and I can show you the interpretation where it says that all the earth was covered by water ignorant Muslims And this is why they don't dare to call me, because wherever they go, they will get spanked. It's just the verse says waves like mountains. You see, Mahdi, I don't know how smart you are. Does it say here in the front of you that the guy who took the highest mountains to hide, to protect himself? So you are saying to me, Allah was saying waves like mountains, but they are not. So it's a lie. Number two, isn't it the verse number 44? This is how, I don't know, I don't want to use the word stupid because the word stupid is an insult to stupidity. If we, if we add you there. Then he said to him, he said to him, I will take a mountain. I will take, the son replied, I will take myself to some mountains to save, to save me from the water. So you just said, it doesn't mean that the water was in the size of mountains. Proven to us that you Muslims, you are laughing at the Quran and you are the one who said the word Lul. Be my witness. I am the one who make Muslims say Lul when they answer me and then they Lul out, freak out when we get them busted. Are you making fun of Allah when you said Lul? What do, what do you mean by saying Lul? You are making fun of Allah, right? Thank you very much. Here we make Muslim make fun of Allah. And that's why we take a screenshot because later they will deny they did say that. Any Muslim? So the son of Noah, he says, I will take the highest mountains to hide myself from the waves and the, the, the water. And then he died. The highest mountain did not save him. Ignorant Christians. Is the only target you can attack, not us. Ignorant Christians who do not know your religion is the one you can attack. Ignorant Christians who do not know anything about your stupid Quran is the one you can attack, but you cannot attack us. This is a school where nobody can beat it. Guys, for how long I am live on here? Not a single Muslim contact me in Paltok. Not a single Muslim. Nobody there. Oh, because he was a believer, but you are the one who said lul about the waves. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> don't change the topic. It is you Muslim who just said to us, we don't believe that it was a global covering all the mountains and all the earth. And if we go right now to the interpretation, you will see it says it's cover all the earth. Chapter 11, verse number 42, 43. Let us go there. 
I never saw people who they are ignorant as those who call themselves Muslims. They want to teach us our belief, yet they do not know their belief. They want to teach us the Bible, but they do not know their Quran. What a joke. Well, the Muslim website is not opening. It's loading, loading. It will take forever to load. Look like the Muslim, they did not use Insha'Allah hosting company. If you use Insha'Allah hosting company, it will work. Like, come on, open. Okay, forget about this website. Let us go to a different website. Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir is using Insha'Allah hosting company, so it will work. All right. Where is the interpretation in Ibn Kathir? There is no interpretation. He jump. It's gone. It's gone. I mean, look. We jump from 40 and then 44, 40, 41, 42, 43. It doesn't say anything. It's gone. Where is the interpretation? What is the proof that Islamic in, uh, uh, flood was uh, global? That's a wonderful question. Mahdi, if I show you the proof, what you would do? Guys, in the front of everybody, Mahdi, if I show you that the, 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 uh, the flood was a global, what you would do? Hmm. Can you still have an answer? <clears throat> you know, when we show the Muslims that the Quran says that the son of Noah decided to go and take the high mountain and yet still uh, he died and he, still he challenged me. Isn't it really embarrassing? Isn't it embarrassing? Hmm. This is your official Islamic website, islamweb.net. Is it my website? No. Question, was the flood of Noah for all the, all the earth and all the mountains or not, or only one area? Translate to English, please. <laughs> <laughs> is the flood of Noah was a global flood or included the whole earth in the top of the mountains or it was local including one only region if the text indicate by whatever then he can tell you the answer praise be to Allah Allah bless him for the messenger and his wives and all the women they kissed him and they play with him baseball okay the flood of Noah provided all the earth as a scholars of interpretation and others stated that it is uh, 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 understood from the great Quran so there is no need to interrupt inter, 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 uh, interpret uh, it was indicated in general nature the flood of saying the God Almighty he says etc and he quote for you the Quran the same verse I'm quoting for you chapter 11 verse number 43 I just showed you the verse And here in, the, in verse number 43 and says, and we exploded the earth with eyes, all the earth. <laughs> People of Tafsir, Ibn Kathir, he said, they were following the waves like mountains that the ship rides with them in the face of the water, which was in the depth of the water. And then he continue. Actually, the translation is not correct, which was covering the whole earth. And uh, uh, the flood extended entire earth in length and beneath. In, and beneath. Interpretation of uh, uh, Ibn Ashur 
at the time of Noah flood it's occurred all over the earth uh, in the book of Ibnikathir the story of the prophet uh, I think here this is Ibnikathir at the one all the end length and affliction okay and then he says was left the face of the earth who was out of living existence of their owners the translation is very weird and then it says in interpretation the ground water of the eyes meeting such being in the decline become the flood sweeping from the further the face of the earth that all lives only was in the ship we can show you tons and tons of reference but here we go the your scholar they say the quran is very clear the earth all of it all the earth was covered by water and the quran says we exploded the earth with eyes the earth so when abdul he says to us show us where it says that the first thing he show us and prove to us that they are a bunch of ignorant they do not know their book and the one who can teach them islam is not the sheikh is christian prince that's the truth that's the truth, my friend. The truth hurt. You are learning from a Christian prince what you never read before. So did I give you the proof or not? Don't tell me I did not yet. The Quran says we cover the whole earth with eyes. All Eyes of what? Eyes of water. Which means the top of the mountain, the bottom of the mountain, the valley, everywhere, the whole earth. Any Muslim? Who is next when I give it a try? Mahdi, why you don't call me? You sound like a nice guy. Guys, what do you think about Mahdi calling me in Paltok? Why Mahdi don't call me? Did it hack he don't dare because his wife, she ordered him to do wash dishes and he did not do the dishes yet. <clears throat> okay, Mahdi is asking me a question. That's a good question, Mahdi. Thank you for the question. But I hope you will not regret the question again. Because each time you ask me a question, you feel sorry for yourself. Guys, look what Mahdi he said. Why don't you believe in the revelation which Jibreel, Holy Spirit, and the first, uh, the first living being delivered to Muhammad? Guys, anyone understand what is that? Who is the first living being? And who is the Holy Spirit? He is Jibreel. Nowhere in the Quran it says Jibreel is the Holy Spirit. This is number one. Nowhere. Actually, the Quran says that Jibreel is not a spirit. How we know that? In the day when the angels and the spirit, they will stand in a line, in ranks. If Jibreel is a spirit, then the Quran chapter 78, verse number 38 is a contradiction because the Quran make it clear that the, the, the angels and the spirit they will line up. You don't say, if the spirit is the angels, you don't say the spirit and the spirit. That is stupid. You just mentioned the angels already. So the spirit obviously is nothing to do with the angels. Secondly, is Jibreel holy? How you can call him Holy Spirit? The Quran says that Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam. Do you order the holy to bow down to the silly Adam? Number three, Allah, he accused the angels to be lying. About Adam. When they said in chapter two, verse number 30, he said, I'm going to make someone to inherit the earth. They said to him, are you going to create someone who would do bloodshed? Allah, he said to them, Allah, he said to them, I know what you know not. And then he said to them, he taught the angels all the names. Sorry, he taught Adam all the names. 
and he said to them tell me the names if you are truthful not right you see how they lie in the translation it says in Arabic in kuntum sadiqeen. if you are truthful change the translator you will see new Quran appear in the surface this is how hypocrite the Quran translators are it says if you are truthful guys if I say now to Mahdi give me the names of those things if you are truthful isn't it me mean I'm saying to him you are a liar what do you think by saying the word truthful I am saying you are a liar so how you call him Holy Spirit and you just accuse him and all the angels that they are not truthful are you there Mahdi Yeah, but the brief is a spirit by title. Look at this, guys. Look at this madness, at this cult. Jibreel is spirit by title. He is not a spirit. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a stupid religion like this? So we call him a spirit as title. How that can be? What, what, is it? what kind of title is that title is? Either you are a spirit or not. So we call him a spirit, but he is not a spirit. <laughs> and you call him holy and yet the Quran says all angels are not holy and they are a bunch of liars when Allah he says to the angels tell me the truth if, if you are truthful tell me the names if you are truthful he's saying to them you are a liar Muhammad the thief, he stole the word Holy Spirit from the Christians. He do not know what it means. The Muslims are confused. Nowhere in the Quran it says Jibreel is a Holy Spirit. They have their own assumption and their own interpretation. But nowhere in the Quran it says that. And what kind of God he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam because they are untruthful when the fact they say the truth. Because if you examine this, you will find that yes, Adam did the mischievement and Allah, he kicked him out of heaven. So do you see how stupid the story? Allah, he punished the angels. He ordered them to bow down to Adam. The first one who teach how to commit shirk in, in, in this earth is Allah. If you ask a Muslim, are you allowed to bow down to anyone beside Allah? They say, no, this is shirk. Mm -hmm. This is shirk. But Adam, angels bow down to him. Okay, hold on, guys. Look what uh, what Mahdi he said. <clears throat> Jibril he delivered a revelation to all messengers. This is why he was called Holy Spirit. You know, when when you say that to me, I die laughing because first of all, can you show me where Jibril he delivered the messages for all the prophets? Isn't it the Quran says that Jesus says, and Allah he says that Allah he taught him. He did not say Jibril to him. Show me the verse of Jibril coming to Jesus to learn the the, the, the gospel. Show me, show me the verse where Moses says he received the Torah from Jibreel. Isn't it your Quran says that Allah, he wrote it by his hand and Allah, he spoke to him face to face, but he did not show his face. Why Muslims are so naive? Secondly, how you call it revelation when the Quran call it inspiration? How you say Jibreel is the one who delivered the message when the Quran used the word Wahi? Chapter, as example, 53, verse number 4. If Muhammad received Quran from Jibreel, then the word inspiration here is wrong. Correct, people? The Quran says it is nothing, nothing but inspiration. It is inspired. Read carefully. This is what it is. This is the only definition for the Quran. But inspiration is not something you reach or you receive by a letter from the delivery guy, postman, or pizza boy. That is not inspiration. Is that correct, guys? What the word inspiration mean? inspiration that you are inspired you did not receive a book in your hand god speak to you in your mind inspiration 
The Quran says, it's an inspiration. So why you Muslim you say to us, Jibreel deliver the Quran to Muhammad? Show us the Arabic translate. What Arabic translate? Here we go. This is the Arabic and the English. And this translation is your translation. I suppose that he knew Arabic, you know. Call me. I will read it for us in Arabic. It is nothing but inspiration was inspired. So how it is inspiration inspired, but yet you just said, as we heard or we saw Mr. Mahdi saying, that Jibreel is the one who delivered it. According to Muhammadan, every single word Muhammad he have is delivered by Jibreel. False book. When the day of judgment will happen, Jibreel will stand in front of Allah and Allah will ask Jibreel whether he delivered the... No, my friend, that's even more stupid. Look what you just said. You confront to us that Muhammad is a fraud. Guys, look at this. When the judgment day come, Allah will ask Jibreel if he delivered. So until now, Allah did not know. <laughs> when the day of judgment will happen, Jibreel will stand in front of Allah and Allah will ask Jibreel whether he delivered. Hey, Jibreel, do you have confirmation that you delivered the, UP, the, the, the UPS? Until now, Allah did not know that he sent verses to Muhammad about the fight of Aisha and, 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 and Hafsa with him. So who is the one who made the verse? Jibreel? Because if Allah do not know if Jibreel deliver or not, then how, how, how Allah following up even with the fight inside the house of Muhammad? And how Allah, he knew that the Quran is delivered because it says today I completed my, 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 uh, my delivery to you. Let us read the Quran together and laugh. I mean, I'm telling you, the Quran is a, is a joke. This religion is a, uh, I'm, I'm sure all of you are enjoying that. Don't forget to subscribe. If you are first time here and after you subscribe don't forget to unsubscribe because Allah will give you double blessing this is Islamic method of receiving good deeds you do something bad and you undo the bad and that will double it so do bad if you subscribe to me you are doing bad you unsubscribe brother Allah will double your deed so you get two good deed instead of one bad bingo you are winner what a stupid cult so look at this Lord have mercy I said to myself I will go live on here just for 30 minutes. Oh boy. Okay, listen. <clears throat> Allah will ask Jibreel, did you deliver? Just to show you how stupid this cult is. Unbelievable. Chapter 5, verse number 3, it says, After Allah, he said to Muhammad, Don't eat hummus and fatafil and shish kebab and the pork and etc. All the garbage here. And then he said to him, Today, this day, this day, have those who reject the faith. Okay, well, this day what? What have rejection? Okay, what is that? This day, have I perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you, and have it chosen Islam for you as religion? Okay, hold on. If Islam was completed that day, so Jibreel keep giving, giving messages for what? This is the chapter 5, verse number 3 in the Quran. The Quran is 114 chapters. So if Allah said to Muhammad, Hey Muhammad, we are done. Today I choose Islam for you and perfected Islam for you. Did he say perfected? Did he say this day? Guys, does it say I perfected? The, the word perfected means what? It's complete. Nothing is missing. That's it. Perfect. This day I have perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you, completed my favor. That's it, the favor of Allah completed. And I choose an Islam for you as a religion. So all those chapters was coming from whom? After that. Th 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Guys, look what Maddy he said. Look, 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 look. Look, look what Maddy he said. Look, 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 look. Unbelievable. So beautiful. So beautiful. You will enter history, Maddy. Guys, look what Mr. Maddy he said. According to the scholars, this verse was the last verse in the Quran. Or the last chapter. Okay, I will go with you. If this is the last chapter in the Quran, what it is, and where it is, and why now became a verse, and who moved there? Are you saying to me, that you Muslims, you played with the word of Allah, and this should be the last sentence in the Quran? So how you Muslim, you say the Quran preserved? Guys, give me my witness. The scholars, they say, this is the last chapter given to Muhammad in the Quran. And where we find it? We find it in chapter 5, verse number 3. So he just admitted that the Muslims, they took the chapter and they took a verse from the chapter not the whole chapter too that would make it more stupid you know even they took a verse from the chapter and they posted it in the middle of nowhere about pigs thank you The Quran proven to be not from God because the Muslims admitted that they are people who corrupted the book of Allah. When Allah, he says, nobody can corrupt my book. Because look what the Quran says. Isn't the Quran says that the one who changed words of Allah from their location is doing corruption? The one who changed the location of the words from its locations, they are doing corruption. And this is, exists everywhere. Chapter 4, verse 46. Chapter 5, verse number 13. Chapter 5, verse number 41. Chap all over. Those who change the words from their locations are doing corruption in the book of Allah. Read carefully. They change the words from their places. Do you see it, guys? Chapter 5, verse number 41. Who is going to leave Islam right now? Obviously, until now, everything the Muslim they say to us is a joke, is a stupid. Islam cannot be from God. You're still not convinced that Islam is a joke? Islam is a stupid. You see, I'm just answering what Muslims they say, and nothing I say to you except I show in the screen from Islamic books. People, since you start listening to me or watching my videos since whatever years, have you ever seen me not showing you the reference? Mahdi, Mahdi, stop playing games. If you, if the Quran says the one who changed the words of Allah from their location is corrupt, who in the world allow you to change their location? And you keep admitting that. This is your final answer. It's even more stupid from the previous one. Christian Prince, the Quranic chapter should not, should be in Quran, uh, uh, man divide them into, you idiot, you idiot, you idiot, you idiot. If you did not change the order of the chapter, you just admitted that the verse we are reading in chapter uh, 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 5, it was from the chapter was the last given. You did not move the whole chapter to the beginning. Did you move the whole chapter? Is it, is it chapter 5 is the last one? No. According to the most of Muslims, they say chapter 9 is the last one. So you did not move the chapter... Uh, according to how short, how as Muslim they claim, that's a lie. You move everything, you move the verses, you move the name, you change the names. All those names are not exist. Did Muhammad call it the chapter of Al Hadid? Did Muhammad he call, call all those names? It's you who made them. The cow. 
But here we notice that you moved words of your God and put them in different chapters. You did not move this chapter saying, okay, I'm not going to put chapter number five as five, I will make it number six. That's not the story. And the verse in the front of us proving that because you agreed that this is something was given to him in the last chapter he was given and should be the last verse given. Correct, guys? At the end of the book, you say, today I perfected your religion for you, choosing Islam for you, and that's it. That is, should be the last sentence, not only in the last chapter. It should be the last sentence in the book. So when the Quran, and we show you how many verses in the Quran says, those who change the words from their location, they are corrupting the book of God. It is you Muslims who corrupt the book of God. You see, you keep saying the order of Uthman, so you don't follow the order of Allah. <laughs> And you are the one who agreed that this is the last was given to Muhammad. So who told the Uthman, you can take this verse and put it in the middle of nowhere? What does verse have to do with eating pork? How Islam is perfected by saying that verse there? You see, if Uthman did not move that verse from its location, we will not be laughing at it now. Correct, guys? So obviously Uthman did not perfect the Quran, neither Allah. And Allah did not protect the Quran too. So when you say to me here, in the last uh, post you made, uh, the order of Uthman by uh, placing of a chapter was done by, uh, by the will of Allah? Show me. Uh, Uthman, guys, Uthman is a prophet of Allah too. Did Uthman he receive revelation from Allah? This is a new... <clears throat> Now we have Muslims who believe that Uthman, he was a prophet of Allah after Muhammad. Because he just said, it's done by the will of Allah. So Uthman, he received an order from Allah, show us. Can you show us Mahdi? We have a thousand people listening and not even one Muslim want to call me. This is how much they are intimidated with the truth. The, tr the truth intimidating you. This is how stupid this religion is. You take a verse from the end of the book, you put it in the, in the beginning of the book and you say, today I perfected Islam for you. How stupid is that? Have you ever heard of an author saying, thank you for reading my book, the end? We're in page number 10. You know what I'm saying? Imagine there's an author, he write a book. In page number 10, he made a page saying, today I perfected my story for you, completed my book for you, and chosen for you this book to read. Thank you for reading it, bye-bye. But this is what page number 10, and there's a thousand pages after. Imagine you watch a movie and then the director, he decides to put the word the end after two minutes from the movie starting. The end. So if you are saying to me that Allah order Uthman to do that, that means Uthman is a prophet of Allah. Secondly, Allah and Uthman both are stupid because he put it in the wrong place. Any sheikh would like to call us? Muhammad was placing the verse. My friend, the second I go, you said no. Okay, I will go with you. You see, Mahdi, now the Muslim, by the way, they will, they will, they will say that Mahdi is working for me. Mahdi, get ready for this. The Muslim, they will say that you are paid by a Christian prince because each time somebody leaves Islam, they say he got paid by me. Muslims leave Islam for a hamburger. I offer them hamburger, they leave Islam. Look how simple it is. So look what Mahdi, he said, guys. This is the last uh, uh, statement, which is more horrible than the previous one. 
Muhammad was the one placing his verses in each chapter. Uthman was the one ordering them, you idiot. You just said that Allah, he gave Muhammad chapter, that this verse in the last chapter. So who Muhammad to change it? If Allah, he gave it to him in the last chapter, how Muhammad, he changed it? Is it you in one of those comments you say it is Allah who gave him? Chapter 5, chap, the verse in chapter 5, and chapter 5 according to hadith was the last chapter. This is stupid by the way. There's no way it says last chapter was chapter 5. Don't go there. You're being naive. Uh, chapter 9, 29, sorry, chapter 9 is the last one supposedly. Uh, but verse number 5, if Allah, he gave Muhammad the last chapter, verse number, uh, verse number 5, as you are saying, and then you say in the second quote, Muhammad was placing one uh, the, the verses on each chapter. Show me the hadith. As long as you just said Muhammad was doing that, it should be a hadith. Show me the hadith. You see, when the Muslims they try to defend, they start fabricating a line. Show me the hadith where it says Muhammad was telling the, the, the Uthman. Telling Uthman. Uthman wasn't a caliphate yet, you idiot. And the Quran said, the Quran said, Inna alayna jam'uhu wa Qur'anahu. The one who should collect the Quran is not Uthman. It was Allah. Read carefully. Additional proof that the Quran is a false book. Chapter 75, verse number 17. Hmm. Guys, look at this. <clears throat> I mean, when, uh, I, I, don't, I don't want to be like a person who insult, but sometimes I cannot, I cannot stop saying this is stupid. Mahdi, it, take it easy, my friend, when I say you are being just a Muslim. I don't want to say the word stupid. You are a perfect Muslim with the stupid ideas and religion. Look what you just said. I want you to slow down in text and think with me for a second. Guys, look at what Mahdi he said. That's because the verses and chapter were revealed in certain order to Muhammad and time. For example, if something happened to Muhammad, then Allah will reveal the verse about the incident. That's wonderful. So when Allah he said to him, today I completed your religion for you, was it completed or not? <laughs> You know what I mean? When Allah He said to Muhammad, you just said, Allah He respond. Allah He respond to an incident. Okay. Did He respond correctly when He said, Today, this day, I perfected your religion for you? Was He right to say that? Was he right when he said, today I perfected your religion for you? That was wrong location, wrong time. If you say he was right, then you should not put this verse here. Neither Muhammad, neither Uthman, neither you Muslim should have it here, should have it the last one. Because he just said, today, today mean the date, a time, today, this day. What he did, he perfected the religion. Islam did not need more explanation, verses. It's perfect now. Completed. Look, I mean, I mean, look, the, the words after each other, they are deadly words. You, you can't play with it. Perfected. Completed. I mean, how clear we can make it. So what is completed? Islam. What is perfected? Your religion. So this is the wrong location. And we showed you the verse from the Quran says, those who change the words of Allah from their location, they are doing corruption. So if Allah revealed the verse in certain chapter, as you claim, 
Who is Muhammad and why Allah? Is Allah correcting himself? Did Allah find himself wrong so he decided to change the location? Hmm. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? Islam simply is a collection of stupid stories. Some are fiction, some are true. A person who will try his best to make himself look like a prophet. And each time he open his mouth, nothing come but stupidity. Islam can survive as long you do not read, you don't study, you don't understand. As long you are a person who follow the mullahs, whatever they say to you, Muhammad was a great man. Okay, what was great about Muhammad? He's a private part. Do you know that the Muslim, they write books saying that the, one of the privilege of the Prophet, the best privilege to prove that he's a prophet of God, that he used to sleep with all his wives in one night. So you can imagine what kind of mentality those teachers are, the one who's teaching you Islam. For me, I see Muhammad is a perverted man, if this is true. A man, he go around his wife. And they are 11 or 13. And he sleep with them all. And then after he finish all of them, he have one wash. And the Muslims are proud about him. And they are saying this is a proof that he's a prophet of God. He have extra hormone in his private part. Otherwise, how come his private part is so powerful? And then we find that Muhammad was a liar. He was not even having sex with any of them. As Aish, she got him busted. He was imagining himself. So Muhammad used to go around, exaggerate about how much sex he have. Guys, what do you think of a man He's claimed to be a prophet. Imagine, okay, a, a person now, like, let us imagine in the time of Muhammad, there was Facebook, YouTube, etc. And then Muhammad, he go online and he say, guys, do you know how many I did today? To his followers. Prophet, how many? 13 brothers and sisters. 13 women, one after one. Boom, 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 boom. No, no, stop, brother. Prophet, how you can do that, prophet? And then the prophet says, well, this is why I'm a prophet. So now you can believe that I'm a prophet. And look like in the mentality of this garbage world, that if your penis is so powerful, that's mean you are a powerful prophet of God. And then later, Aisha, she got him busted. She said, the husband never touched us. The guy, he imagined himself having sex. In fact, he was holding the goat. He was holding nothing, actually. Read carefully. Aisha, she said, the prophet continued for such and such a period of time, imagining that he had slept, had sexual intercourse with his wife. In fact, he did not. Aisha, she is trying to cover the lies of Muhammad, that he was telling people he slept. And then the women just start asking, the, you know, the husband, he told my husband, told me that uh, your husband, Muhammad, he was doing boom, boom, all night, 13, all of you. And then Aisha, she said, uh, no, I, I, I think imagine the story a different way. Uh, the women they ask Aisha how the sex was yesterday. He's so good, right? He said, No, he did not touch us for the last month. She said, What are you talking about? Yes, he did not. He did not touch me. He did not touch uh, Hafsa. He did not touch uh, this woman and this woman, all the wife. He did not touch them. Are you serious? Yes. And then Aisha, when they told her about the Prophet yesterday, was saying that he slept with all the women in the, uh, I mean, all his wives. She said, oh, the prophet, he continued for such and such a period of time, imagining that had sexual intercourse, but in fact, he did not. And if we ask Zach and Naik, Zach and Naik, he will give you a better answer. Good time, Prince. First of all, it's proven by science that black magic is very real. As an example, right now I'm talking to you, and I'm suffering from black magic. Uh, Zachar, you are suffering now from black magic? There's any proof that who, who told you that? 
I will give you an example. Right now, I imagine myself, I'm talking to you. But inside, I'm not talking to you. Mm -hmm. You imagine right now, you are talking to me, but in fact, you are not talking to me. Exactly. And I'm going to prove to you another example. Okay. You yourself. Sometimes, you go in front of the computer, and actually, you do that all the time. And you think you're talking to somebody. Uh, but I'm talking to people online, you know, there's people there and that. For, they are stupid. First of all, what did they prove? There are people on the other side. There's no the proof. So simply, you are imagining yourself speaking to people when there's no people. It's like an, like I have like a thousand people right now. It says there, the current number is 883 people. Christopher, this is the imaginative number. And you do it for you. So you are saying right now, I'm imagining... Exactly. And I get you, but that. Okay, exactly. But here, we have a prophet of God who is supposed to be protected by Allah that nobody can control him by black magic. So how this happen? First of all, prophet of Allah, he protected from the Quran. He didn't protect from the other thing. What? He didn't protect from the normal thing. Ah, okay. Uh, slow down, please. You are saying he is not protected from normal things. Is black magic is something normal? Exactly. It's very normal. Actually, I have mother-in-law, she needed the black magic for me. Your mother-in-law, she did black magic to you? So what happened next? Very simple. I thought was this is. You, you do what? I was this is. Oh, so your mother-in-law, she put you under black magic, and since then you do wash dishes. Alhamdulillah. Okay, how do you think we can get rid of from the black magic? Brother, you can read Quran. Okay, here we go. So if Muhammad was reading Quran every day, how they can put the black magic on him? <laughs> Guys, the Muslims, they, they, they claim that if you read the chapter of the chair upside down or read Quran, seven verses a day or whatever, black magic cannot happen to you. But Muhammad was a prophet of God. He's full of Quran. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Do we have any Abdul? Any Zach and Nayak in the bushes? The Quran chapter divided into categories. Okay, hold on, hold on. You know, Mahdi, I think you are the joke of the century. Because if I ask you right now, where, what a chapter we can find the story of Moses? As long as you said category. Guys, category. Did he say category? Read, read, read. The Quranic chapters was divided into category. Hmm. Shall we go to chapter 5? Chapter 5 is Al-Ma'idah, is about the miracle of Jesus. What the miracle of Jesus have to do with today I completed your Quran for you. Chapter 5 is supposed to be speaking about Jesus. How you insert that chapter there? And how you insert the pork and zucchini there? When the chapter is about the table miracle of Jesus, where he feed a thousand of people. Actually, your scholar, they said that Allah, he sent Jesus seven sandwiches. Anyone knows what the sandwiches are made of? What is inside the sandwich? Who knows? Allah, he sent Jesus. The, you know, the disciple of Jesus, they said to him, okay, you know what, if you are Jesus, give us the sandwiches. And then Jesus, he talked to Allah, and then Allah, he sent seven sandwiches. Okay, what was inside the sandwich? Who is a Muslim want to help me? Anyone? What was inside the sandwich? Is it true there was seven whales? Seven whales? Seven sandwiches, seven whales. Alhamdulillah. <sighs> so the chapters are designed based in the category, but you will find that in the chapters of Islam, okay, where we can find where Allah created the earth? Is that like the book of Genesis in the Bible? No, you find it all over the Quran. And you have the most silly answers ever. Uh, 
Ben ya dur. <coughs> Aisha Khalidi, she want to debate me. She is a female. Where is the man? How I can debate Alisha or Aisha? I don't know what her name. If the if Muhammad he says women are half a brain. What the Muslim will say? He will debate in half a brain creature. As long you are a Muslim and you agree that you are half a brain, there is no point of me talking to you. The second you say you are a Muslim, you agree with Muhammad teaching. What you agree with Muhammad that you have deficiency in your brain. Read carefully. Muhammad he says all women will go to hell, majority of them they will go to hell. And he asked them to give donation. Huh? Hey, woman, you want to go to heaven? Give donation to Muhammad, give your earring. Hmm? A woman among the women, she said, why is that? The majority of the world of, of hell is women or women. The prophet said, <laughs> let me prove it to you, you idiot. The prophet replied, <laughs> you curse frequently and grateful to your husband. In spite of liking the wisdom of fearing the religion, you are depriving the wisest of the men and in their intelligence of the of intelligence. Upon that, the women, she said, what is the deficiency of our wisdom? and our religion Allah Prophet he says your lack of wisdom can be will judge from the Quran in the evidence the women are equal to two, uh, two, two women equal to one man so you are a woman you want to debate me you are a woman who believe in this that you have deficiency in your brain I mean guys do you see the stupidity the second you believe in this, you are not qualified to talk to me. You are not. A person who says he is have deficiency in his brain, he is not qualified to talk to me. Because that means I am debating someone taking advantage of you. You have half a brain, you are a stupid, and I'm debating someone is a stupid. And then the Muslim they will say, see, the hadith is weak. Why is this is weak? Okay, this, Sahir Bukhari is weak. Sahir Bukhari is weak. Sahih Muslim is weak. It says there Sahih, it's weak. I mean, look at the answers. Here we go. You, you just showed me the deficiency in your answers. Anything they don't like, anything is embarrassing, they say uh, it's weak. Look what Mahdi is saying. Women are equal as men in Islam, you know? No, I do not know, uh, Mahdi. Mahdi, I challenge you in front of everybody to call me right now and to show me that. The Prophet, he says, the best of you is the one who is best for his wife, which means you beat them. Because the duty of the man is to teach his wife the good manner. That is the best man. The best man is the one who beat them and follow Allah teaching. Beat them. Chapter 4, verse number 34. We are showing you how Muhammad look at you that you are the majority of hellfire. So supposedly men, we are the best. Men, they don't get tempted. They don't like sex. They don't sleep around, they don't lie, they don't cheat, uh, they don't do crimes. Men, 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 they are good. And men, they have full brain. Make a woman with short skirt walk in, in the front of 10 men, they will lose their mind. Like what happened to Muhammad. Actually, in the case of Muhammad, the woman, she was not wearing short skirt at all. She was wearing burqa. Read the hadith. You're a prophet. He saw a woman walking by down street. Walking down street. Muhammad is there. Muhammad is there. La 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 la. And Muhammad is down street. That's mean Muhammad is watching the bum of every woman walking by. The women walk by and Muhammad look at her bum. Read carefully the title of the chapter. Recommendation. To the one who sees a, see a woman 
and attracted to her. What the name of the chapter? Guys, guys, what the name of the chapter? A man who sees a woman and attracted to her, he go to his wife or slave women to have intercourse with her. So they are encouraging men to look at women who they are not their women. This is about the prophet. Hmm. Oh, so you hit your wife, but you don't hit them around. Oh, okay. Very nice, Mahdi. Very nice. Guys, uh, we are wrong about Muhammad. Muhammad was a very nice guy. He he ordered the, the, the husband to hit their wives in certain places, like their asses only. You know, not like you're not in the face, brother. Yeah, but I should say Muhammad never hit his wives. And he said, if you hit your wife, don't hit her in the face and don't have mark. Or wound and uh, Aisha she said he never bit his wife but Aisha she said he did hit her let me find you the hadith so you are a person who support beating the wife in her bum she bent over and you beat her Ah, that makes Muhammad a very good person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very nice, very nice teaching, Alhamdulillah. I mean, how wonderful it is, you know? He teaches you how to beat your wife. Not to beat her in the face. Don't do. Don't beat her in the face. Come on. Well, this is your prophet says. He shove. He shove his hand in my chest, and it hurt. Is that beating or not? And it is Sahih Hadith. He gave me a shove. This is the Muslim translation, not my translation. In the chest that hurt me. Do you see it? And this is the reference. I will post it the link. And this is your translation. And this is authentic. Do we have any Muslim? He can say anything makes sense. Uh, you say, okay, someone saying the following. Let us show on the screen. CP, I'm assuming that you are a Muslim, the one who said that. All the hadith who contradict the Quran are wrong. Chastity is mentioned in the Quran. So how can Muhammad BPUH, that's a new chemical, have done such a thing that you all claimed. First of all, my friend, it's not me who claimed. It is you, Muslims, who claimed that. This is the hadith written by you, considered authentic by you. So before you school me about I claimed, it is you who claim it, it's you who give it a title, it's you who give it a number, it's you who translate it, it's you who publish it. It is you who preserve it. And then you say the word claim. Secondly, the Quran say clearly that chastity does not exist in Islam, especially when it's come to Muhammad. If we go in the Quran right now, you will find the Quran making verses about women offering their vagina to the Prophet. This is a chastity. All those women are lawful to have sex with Muhammad without paying any dowry for them. Open sex. This is a chastity. Any woman and any believing woman, she offer herself to the Prophet. Imagine all cult leaders, by the way, they share the same thing. All cult leaders, they want to sleep with their followers. 
imagine you are a prophet now claim to be a prophet in YouTube and then you have like 10,000 women listening to you and you say any women by the way if you like to offer yourself to me and prophet of Allah feel free contact me okay we will arrange the bedroom for you and this is a chastity this is a chastity for you Where is the Muslims? The Muslim who made a comment and I refuted him already. Are you there, my friend? The Arabic, it says he pushed her. It doesn't say that, my friend, you are a liar. Nowhere it says he pushed her. Fala hadani, where is the word push, me, push her? Fala hadani fi sudri, lahda, aw ja'atni. Go check out in the dictionary what the head mean, where he pushed her. Why you are lying? Shame on you. Who's next? I don't care that for the hadith. It's not who claim the Quran. My, my friend, I just showed you Quran. Guys, the verse in the Quran that any woman she want to give herself to the Prophet, is that a weak Quran? What is the interest of God to send a special message to his prophet saying any women from those who believe in thee are open for you to have sex with thee if they offer themselves in sex for you thee. What does this have to do with God? How that can help God? I'm showing you Quran. I'm not showing you Hadith now. What is the connection between I am a prophet and you as a follower offering yourself to me, what does what this have to do with God? How that can help Islam? Huh? How this is, can help God? God, he go to his office, he make a chapter saying any woman she want to give herself to the Prophet. Okay, wonderful. What is the purpose of this? How this is, can be about God? Hmm? Uh, Mahdi he said something let us answer it too thank you Mahdi for saying that so Mahdi based on what you just said you see we are answering in all directions Muslim, they, are, they, are, they are suffering from flight of thoughts we were talking about beating the wife and now look what he is talking about look he said what about the Bible saying if your wife grabs by the private part you should cut her hand First of all, you are not quoting the Bible. You are just making things up. The, the Bible says in the Old Testament, if a, if a guy and the husband of a woman, they are fighting. And then the woman, she jump in the fight and she grab the testicles of the enemy. Her hand will be cut off. This is how serious the Jews are about chastity. She is a filthy woman holding the private part of a strange man. Now I'm asking you, if I have a fight with you, do you like your wife to hold my testicles and my, uh, where we are fighting? Well, you are a Muslim, I'm sure you don't mind. Because you believe in muta, you believe that you can exchange your wives, you believe that if you divorce your wife three times, she have to go and marry someone like me, and then after she marry me and do boom boom with her, she can go back to you. This is you, right? ليش ما بحكي عربي؟ ليش حتى أحكي عربي؟ أليشا؟ I mean the page is in English and you want me to speak Arabic. I have thousand people speaking English and you want me to speak Arabic. I mean how silly. I don't speak Arabic. I mean uh, my name is Tony from Italy. Hey Tony, bring some hummus. What this have to look what we are talking about? Why well, you don't drink in it? Why well, we read in Arabic, we read in English. What's your problem? Who is a Muslim? He dare to call me. Mayday, mayday, last call. So the Prophet was sitting in front of his house, and a female Muslim woman she walked by. 
and the Muslim they want to tell you how the Prophet he teach you good manner this is the good manner you see a woman you are sitting in front of your in the balcony and you see a woman beautiful woman very beautiful woman so beautiful let us see how many people are sleeping very beautiful amazing beautiful and then you get roused because you are staring in certain areas <sighs> mean did you see what you have brother brother do you see what i see that's what muhammad was doing he was focusing in uh, women in a sexual way when the woman she is doing nothing wrong she's just walking by and then the coward muhammad he jumped to his wife and his wife she was doing tanning leather and he forced her into sex the woman she is working she is you know you know what tanning leather mean in the old days you have to boil water add color put the leather in it's a hell especially in the desert and then he jumped in his wife and he do boom boom and then he went out and he told his friends the wisdom of Allah he said the woman advances and retires in the shape of a devil where is the females here the Muslim females you are the devil Muslim females according to your religion you retire and you come and you leave in the shape of the devil any Muslim have up you know he's against what the Prophet saying who is a Muslim female is against the Prophet teaching that women they come in the image of the devil and they live in the image of the devil who agree hmm? what do you think uh, a Muslim saying that if a person he work in Saturday he should be killed you eat it isn't it your prophet he made all the Jews for working in Sabbath he made them pigs and monkeys look how stupid they are they don't know what they're talking about let us go to the Quran and see the wisdom story of a prophet of Allah We are a bunch of Jews. They did fishing on Saturday. And because they did fishing on Saturday, Allah, He made them pigs and monkeys. Beautiful story. Alhamdulillah. Ask them, ask them, ask them, concerning the town standing close by the sea, behold, they transgressed in the matter of Sabbath, for the day of the Sabbath, their fish come to them openly, and they say, ah, 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 we are here. But by the way, the Quran doesn't say, ah, 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 I added, now the Muslim, they will say, see, he's lying to you. The Quran doesn't say, ah, 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 when it says, ah, ah. This is what the Muslim they would do, you know, they can't refute me. They would say, see, he lied, he lied. Where it says, ah, 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 I'm here. It doesn't say that. See, he lying, he's a liar. So between two brackets, I am the one saying that. So the fish come to them and say, ah, 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 ah I'm here. Holding up their head, ah, 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 I'm here, the vegan, the katika, the katika, the katika. Look at me, look at me, look at me, you can see me. But you cannot fish me. I am here. Uh, okay. And then, but the one day, which is no Sabbath, they come not. What the heck? What a cartoon movie. So in Sabbath, the fish, they come to them and they put their head up. I'm here. You cannot touch me. It is Sabbath. By the way, those fish, they will never dare that to do that to the Hindus. I'm telling you, they do that only for the Jews. 
because Jews, they believe in Sabbath, man. So the good thing to do, if you are not a Jew, you are a Hindu or atheist, and you live between the Jews. So when the fish come in Saturday to do their game with the Jews, ah, 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 you got them. <laughs> you know why? Because you are not a Jew. You can't do it. <laughs> you know, unbelievable. True, true story. And then, brother, because they did fishing on Saturday, so what Allah he did to them? He made them pigs and monkeys. Very true story. There is a, I will tell you this is a true story, by the way. And uh, I know many of you will be upset because it's a true story. I, I used to have a neighbor, his name is Zach Salom. Huh? Zach Salom. And Zach Salom, brother, he, brother, uh, you know, uh, uh, he went fishing on Saturday and he opened the car, the, the truck door, and then the second he put his feet from the truck, I saw how much hairy became. Allah made him a monkey. Ah, we have a Muslim here. His name is Universal Dawah. That's deep. The rest are local, you are universal. You are unique, my friend. May Allah bless you, universal internet, international internet. He said, this verse is met metaphorical, but I see your brain cannot handle metaphor. Abdul, in front of everybody, I challenge you, if you are not a liar, to show me one Islamic scholar, including your prophet, saying this is metaphorical. Go ahead, guys. Either this guy is a liar, universal dawa, or he is telling the truth. Who wanna get me busted that this is metaphorical? Huh? Who wanna get me busted? Metaphorical? So all this story is a lie? It's not real. Come tomorrow, I will keep doing. <sighs> Stupidity is amazing. I'm waiting for you, my friend. Show me the reference. It's a challenge to you to show me one reference says this is metaphorical. Anyone? <clears throat> Anyone? Oh, yeah. Who is Abdul? He have something serious to say. Anyone? Do anyone dare to call me and show me that this is metaphorical? Because I can show right now all the reference, all your scholars, all the interpretation, and people will laugh at you. Who dare? So look what Muslims they do. The second we show them the stupidity of the Quran, they start saying things which is not what they believe in in order to defend the stupidity of the Quran. Suddenly this is metaphorical. Let us see and see the interpretation. Tell me guys, who is the one telling the truth? Abdul in YouTube or a scholar of Allah? Let us do that. So this is a chapter seven, verse 166. Okay, wonderful. Interpretation. And you can name for me the interpretation you like. Anyone, any interpretation you like, and people will laugh at you. 
This is how sure I am. And this is how liar you are. Okay, let's see this one here. This is Tafsir Az Zalalain. Tafsir who is Zalalain, brother? Okay. And when they disliked and desist from which they were forbidden to do, we said to them, Be apes and despite. Apes, they became so as an explanation. So proceed with the card details. Yeah. Support this interpretation now. So they became apes. This is what it says. <laughs> Let us see different interpretation. Ibn Abbas, the cousin of the Prophet. So when they took pride in, then we refused to refrain, refrain from what, that which had been forbidden. We said to them, be apes as desired and humiliated. Where is the Abdul? He said, this is, let us go to Ibn Kathir. Maybe Ibn Kathir have different opinion. Chapter 7, verse 166. Ibn Kathir. Do you think Ibn Kathir did not know? Maybe. All of them did not know. Maybe Ibn Kathir will help us and will say this is metaphorical. All right. Where is the hadith? Where is the verse? What? Huh. It doesn't show it at all here. But in Arabic, I should see. Ah, here we go. Hold on. It shows part. Where is the monkeys? It doesn't show the monkeys thing. Let us go to verse number 167, maybe. No, it doesn't show. He cut it off, I think, in Arabic. He cut it off from the English. So people will not laugh at the stupidity of Muhammad. Yes, my pal talk is open, but nobody call until now. Yeah. But if we go to Ibn Kathir in Arabic, I'm sure we will find different answer. Arabic. Choose interpretation. This is Ibn Kathir in Arabic. Let us see. See? In Ibn Kathir in Arabic is different story. Ah, 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 ah. As I told you, they took it all off. It's gone in English. Hmm. Who is a Muslim when I call, who call me and read for us what it says here in Arabic and translate? And why Muslim they took it off from the Arabic and English translation? Where it was there? I look in the Mikati in English, it doesn't say anything. There is a story here. It says that their uh, whales come to them in Sabbath and their will come to them in Sabbath according to the uh, uh, Sharia, according to the law of, of, of the sea. Sharia law of the sea, the, the, the fish have Sharia law. So when the uh, when this, uh, Sabbath is gone, they cannot uh, have it. And then a group of them, of the Jews, they uh, they start uh, fishing in, in Sabbath. Uh, and therefore, you know, which are forbidden to do so, Allah decided to humiliate them and to punish them. And then, وَكَانُوا أَشَدَّ غَضَبًا مِنَ الطَّائِفِ الْأُخْرَى So there is like different uh, group of Jews. Some of them, they are very bad. Some of them, they are bad, but not too bad. And then, those, the ones who uh, uh, Allah, he got angry more from, uh, you know, uh, Allah, he made them pigs and monkeys. Here we go. فَجَعَلَهُمْ قِرَدًا I cannot find all the text there in English. Show it to me, post it to me. Here we go, this is Ibn Kathir. Actually, all the story here, I cannot find in Ibn Kathir. I 
I will go even few verses before. Maybe we can find an answer, solution. See, here we go. I will go. Tons of things are missing from Ibn Kathir in Arabic. In English, sorry. Oh, see, look, we are in 63. 163, they put it there. Look, 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 look. Look what happened. But still, it's not the same story. But let us read. It says here, when they transgress, transgress in the matter of Sabbath, means they transgressed in the Sabbath, and, okay, and the field uh, Allah command, okay, and then, so their, their, their wheels used to come to them in Sabbath openly, and uh, at the top of the water according to Al-Dahak, whatever, you know, a reporter. And then, in the, uh, and, and, uh, uh, and then when it is not Sabbath, fish does not come to them, or the whale doesn't come to them, all right? All right. That's it. Where is the story? about making them monkeys. Do you see it? Let us see, maybe here. Therefore, people who use to violate Allah prohibition, okay, reality, action, transgress, prohibition, the scholar says, yeah, I don't see where he made them pigs. But in Arabic, it says that clearly. Do we have any Muslim? <clears throat> What's wrong with Allah as as a wajal turning the Sabbath? The okay, no problem, Mister uh, uh, Mac Mac Mikhail Mikhail Sadkin. I don't know how to say your name, my friend. But let us let us show you what the Muslim is saying. You know, there is something called intelligence. There is something called intelligence. I will put what you said to me in the screen. Give me a second. A human being supposedly is intellect creature. Okay. I will put what you said to me in the screen and we will read. So a person, he went to do fishing in Saturday and he is a Jew. Allah, he made them pig for fishing in Saturday. And you will notice in the story, Allah, he made them hungry. He made the fish come only in Saturday. It's Allah who made it doing that. So the Quran in chapter five, says that if you are suffering from hunger, you can eat even pork. So how come the Jews cannot eat if they are suffering from hunger? Secondly, what kind of God he will make you a pig for fishing in Saturday, but he will not make you a pig for raping women or having sex with six years old or seven years old girl? And why does God, he don't make us pigs and monkeys for doing fishing Saturday now. There's a huge festival in Israel for homosexuality and they do it in Sabbath, mostly every year. So Allah, he made the Jews pigs and monkeys for fishing in Saturday and he did not do it to them for other reasons. And why the Jews now they can do fishing in Saturday and Allah did not make them pigs and monkeys? Which is more horrible to Allah, doing fishing on Saturday or doing the things we mentioned? So when we say Muslims are out of their mind, they don't think in a mature way, they lost their intellect. The second you say you are a Muslim, you are not thinking. You are not thinking. For fishing on Saturday, you made them pigs. Did Allah make one rapist a pig? Did Allah make one child molester a pig? So how stupid this story is.
the Jews, they claim the story. The Jews, what Jews? Nobody Jews claim. My friend, what Jews? I mean, the, the Jews, they follow the Torah. Where is in the Torah such a story? That is, that is a stupid statement. And Muhammad is so confused about what Allah he did to them. In some stories in the hadith, he say Allah, he made them rats. And he claimed that Jews, how, how Muhammad he found that those are Jews. You will not believe it, how stupid Muhammad's stories is. He noticed that rats don't drink uh, the she milk, the camel milk. Read carefully and laugh. And this is Sahih Bukhari, it's Sahih. The Prophet said a group of Israel were lost. Nobody knows where they what they did. But I do not see them except they were cursed and changed into rats. Do you see it? Okay, how Muhammad, he, he can prove that those are Jews. Read carefully. For if you put the milk of a she camel in front of a rat, it will not drink it. <laughs> I mean, do you see the logic? I mean, look at the genius. Muhammad, he look at the rat, and the rat is not drinking the milk of the she camel which is forbidden for the Jews to drink. So obviously those are Jewish rats. You see how stupid this man is? I mean, can't you really, can you be more stupid than this? If we now we take this into consideration, donkeys don't drink wine. Muhammad don't drink wine, so he's a donkey. And according to this logic, donkeys are Muslims. Actually, the Quran says that, you know. What is this? This is a prophet of God. Muhammad, he is not, he, this guy is have obsession with the Jews. In different hadith, Muhammad, he thinks that they are lizard. What is this? You installed it now. People, they are posting my name in Pal Talk for the last three hours, and it's time for me to go soon anyway. We will be back, I hope, tomorrow. So as you see, my friends, Islam is the most stupid cult ever. It is anti-brain cult. Anti-decency cult. Women offering themselves to the Prophet cult. Doing one day, night, one night stand cult. Any women they like to have boom boom for a day or two or three, go for it. And if you like to stand, extend. If you like to leave, leave. Cult. That is an evil cult. Promote everything wrong, making it as right. From killing, to stealing, to fornicating, to cheating, that is Islam. Right? A donkey was speaking to a prophet in the Bible. My friend, go and read the verse correctly. It says, the Lord, he made a voice come from there. It's not the donkey speaking. He doesn't know what you're talking about. However, we have a story from your prophet. Even when your prophet, he spoke to his donkey, he asked him if he liked females. And surprise, surprise, oh, nothing, a surprise with Muhammad. His donkey don't like females because he was from San Francisco. I mean, have you ever heard of a prophet first time speaking to an animal and the first question you ask him, do you like females? I 
go right now to the zoo and I see a lion. And this is the first time I was able to speak to a lion. What I say to the lion? Hey, do you like females? The lion will look at me. He said, do you like me to eat you? <laughs> do you like females? I mean, this is like the first time ever you speak to an animal and you are a prophet of God. The first question is about sex. The first question you ask that donkey is a donkey, you idiot donkey. And you are asking, do you like females? And then when the donkey says, ho, 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 no, I don't like females. Actually, I have a cartoon about it. Go watch my cartoon about it. Hmm. So anyway, I think we have enough for today. Did we have a good time? The video became long when we did not want it to be too long, really. But I hope we learn enough and we enjoy it. Feel free to download my videos. You can cut them, share them as you wish. And if you are a Muslim, tell your friends. If you have a sheikh, this is my challenge for all the Muslims. If you have those who call themselves Ustaz, Sheikh, Scholar, you know, I mean, you name it. You know what I mean? Tell them. Who dare to debate this guy? Huh? Who there? If there's any one of them, they are there or they are just good to collect money from you. Isn't it their duty to stand for someone like me and get me busted? Huh? Those who they take a lot of money from you, claiming that they are the one who defend Islam for you, where are they? Where we can find them? In which lingerie store are they located? Hmm? Where is your stad? What they do exactly for a living? Prove to me that Christianity is true. My friend, I do not need to prove to you Christianity is true. The second you agree first that Muhammad is false, then we can talk about Christianity. Otherwise, why I talk about Christianity? The topic is not Christianity. However, prove to me that Christianity is true. What about you prove to me is not? <laughs> and then I will respond to you. So, uh, those are a bunch of a fraud. I saw the article about one of them, I think this guy in the left, he take in every speech $5,000 in Indonesia, a poor country, to make a speech for an hour or so. How in the world that can be? Exist. There's somebody posting an account of somebody to, to donate. Don't do that. There is many scam and fraud. People listen carefully. Muslims, especially Muslims. If those are people who they are their duty is to refute people like us, why we cannot find them? Why every single Muslim he says I don't I don't mind to debate Muslim Christian prince but it have to be face to face. What does face to face mean? I mean they don't want to do it. They knew that this guy he do his work online, and because they knew he will not do it, they make it face to face. What face to face? What such an excuse is? People, they want answers. People, they have, they want to hear your answer, not your face. What do you think?
you know, somebody saying there's a debate will happen in India between Muslims and atheists. That's a funny debate. This is why they want to, you know, Muslim, they choose carefully to debate who. If they knew that you have a lot of knowledge in Islam, they will not debate you. I'm telling you from now. They don't debate people who knows Islam. They choose carefully. Any Muslim? So let us make a conclusion about our topic today. Islam is nothing but a fraud. Muhammad is not a decent man. Quran is a book of fictions, contradiction and stupidity. And Muslims, in every answer they gave us today, all the answers, we, we, we review them one by one, they prove to us what we said, that Islam is a joke. Now you might say to me, the Muslim, he said to me, prove to me that Christianity is true. Well, look what Christ he is about. Love your enemy, which is a statement, if all of us we practice, not a book, is enough to change the whole world. Just one statement. Someone is saying to me, call me, are you a Muslim? Don't contact me if you are not a Muslim. Please don't, I will block you. I open my pal talk just because of Muslims to contact me. Only Muslims. So when we look at Jesus, we find a wonderful person. His act is holy, his word is holy, and his work is the work of God. Jesus is not only he did miracles, he is a miracle. While Muhammad presents everything the devil stands for, everything we run away from in our life, which is sin, we do which is bad things we don't want to do, we suffer from, we regret doing. Muhammad, he encouraged those things. He made it legal. He made it good. So the duty of Jesus is to save us from the evil around us. The duty of Muhammad is to make us love evil. Prostitution became halal in Islam. Enjoying women of exchange of money is halal in Islam. Beating women to teach them good manner is a good thing in Islam. And supposedly the man is the one is to have the good manner. The women they don't. Having sex with the children is a good practice of Allah teaching. Killing someone to go to heaven is the way of Islam. Cursing non-Muslims every day, five times a day, is a duty of Islam. While Jesus says, forgive them, Father, they don't know what they are doing. While Jesus saying, bless those who curse you, love your enemy. While Jesus saying, those who don't believe in me, Father, I am sent to them, to the sick, not to the healthy to save them. How we can even compare? A Muslim, he posts in the chat saying, your God, he allowed all their old babies to be slaughtered alive. Hmm. You know, one of the funny things about Muslims, they don't know their book, they do not know our book. So now if I say, to Mekaul Sagadin. Do you dare to call me to read the verse you are quoting for me and I will make you read the same verse? He will not dare because they are potatoes. The Bible says the same as they did to us. The Jews, they've been killed, slaughtered, their babies been killed, their women being raped, the whole nation being enslaved. So God gave them permission to survive between evil like Muhammad. In the same time, you will see Muhammad because he was a fraud, 
trying to copy the Jews. He takes the same stories and he put it in the Quran. But the stupid Muhammadan, they do not say, oh, this is the same story we do not know about, we never heard of it. You will notice in the Quran that one time only, a holy land is mentioned. There is no holy land except one holy land. And this is again proof Islam to be false because Mecca never mentioned to be holy. But the word muqaddasa, muqaddasa, and when it's come to Mecca, it says al baytul haram, forbidden house. But forbidden house for who? For what? Is it holy? No. Here it says, only when it's come to Moses, the word holy appear. And the word where it's come to Jesus, the word holy appear. All people enter the holy land which Allah assigned to you. That is the land of the Jews. And here Allah, he ordered the Jews to kill all the Palestinians. Who the Muslim today, they cry for them. They say, oh, the Jews are killing the Palestinians. When the fact, the one who started that war, it was Allah according to the Quran. It is Allah who said, go and kill the Palestinian and take the land. And when the Jews, they refused Allah, he cursed them and he made them lose their way in the land for 40 years, as you see in front of your eyes. 40 years, you cannot see this land. For what? Because they refused to slaughter every single Palestinian there. So the ignorant who speak about slaughtering, look who is talking. Ignorant like your prophet ignorant right yeah well uh, Mikhail what if I show you the same thing in your religion secondly when you say uh, uh, what uh, did, uh, you do not slaughter women and babies alive like your God order you, you see the stupidity here we just mentioned why this is happening why was happening? We are talking about thousands of years ago. So imagine in the time of Jesus, there was a state. People moving toward civil. They are getting more civil. We are not the same time of the cave time. So love your enemy. And that Jesus, he said to us, warning us, if you follow their teaching, you are going to be a victim of the enemies. You will be like a sheep between wolves. The Jews are a small nation, and God, he gave them permission so that faith of God will not die to survive. People who believe in God so they can survive. So when the enemy, they come and they kill their babies, and the Jews, they kill and they kill the babies of the enemies, it was a practice of an eye for an eye. And Muhammad, he was practicing that too, but in a stupid way. So when a stupid person, he come... 3,000 or 4,000 after, and he say, did the Jews did that at that time? I say, read the history and read the reason. The Jews, they are the one who was destroyed, humiliated, enslaved, raped, the whole nation. So you are asking them what to live like what? What they will do? If you say to me, well, uh, if this is the case, because the Jews, they were living in a certain way and their enemies all over around them, and this is the reason to do that to them. So now, how come you say, love your enemy? I just explained to you, faith at that time was only for the Jews. Only the Jews believe in it. And God, he preserved those who believe in his faith. He gave them the right to defend themselves. When Muhammad, he practiced the teaching of the Jews, but for no reason. The Jews are fighting people who they are fighting them, fighting people who they are killing them. Muhammad, he says, go and kill and take the land which Allah assigned to you, as you see in the Quran. In order to take the land, you have to kill everybody inside the land. If we go in the Quran, we will find the Quran confirm killing children. Just because there might be disobedience.
He might be. He did not even do it. So what about the children who they are children of kuffar? When they asked Muhammad about killing babies of the kuffar, he said, Wahum minhum. They are from them, kill them. Read the verse and laugh. Chapter 18, verse number 80. As the youth, his parents were people of faith, and we figured that he would grieve them. We would be a rebellion. And then what happened? So we killed him. How he killed him? He killed him by slaughtering his throat and is smashing his head in the ground. Are you there? A Muslim have a question. My friend, if you are a Muslim, have a question. Why you text me in Skype? I mean, uh, I mean, in Pal Talk. Text me in the, in the, in YouTube. All right. So if we go and check how Muhammad, he teach Muslims to kill the babies. How about your God ordering to kill all the armed men and raise and to raise the babies in good manner? Oh, he's trying to find a solution. My friend, you are just a stupid idiot and you do not know what are you talking about. The babies will take secret revenge for their parents. If you go and kill somebody, parents, he will kill you later. It's just a matter of time. So you are just a donkey trying to come with a solution of your own. Same time, why are you changing the topic? Here we go. You are the one who asked me a question. Let us see how Muslims are trained to kill babies. Chapter 18. Chapter 18. Verse number 77. What is behind this killing? What does, does this boy even a Muslim boy? This boy, he is even a Muslim. He is not even a Christian. What he did exactly? Nothing. Nothing. He did nothing. Read and laugh, and then you will see that you are a person who is a hypocrite. Read. And you can choose any interpretation if you wish. Anything you want. Do you see the interpretation? Choose one. Which one you want? Just tell me, and I will read it for you. Eh, the verses is coming wrong. Hold on. <clears throat> Stupidity is amazing. That's it. He found a solution. What about we kill the men and we raise the babies? So they sit after the ship, etc., and then in their way, there were boys among them, his face, a boy among them, his face was fairest. And al khadr he slew him by slitting his throat with a knife while he lay down, by or by tearing his head off with his hand, or by smashing his head against the wall. All of this, and this is not a child of an enemy. This is a child who one day if he grow, he might do wrong. Do you see it? So when you question the Jews fighting and killing their enemies, the enemies were doing the same to them. They were killing their babies, opening the belly of the pregnant women, raping the women who they are beautiful, getting rid of women who they are old, and if the woman still she can do service, they take her as a slave. Here, a child who is a Muslim child, his parents are believers just because he feared that when he grow up, he will be bad. He says, kill them. We have Jimmy saying, and this is a Muslim person saying he's smart. He's saying, do you believe God became a human and he went to the toilet? 
My friend, let me show you how stupid what you are saying, Mr. Jimmy. First of all, can you show me where it says that Jesus, he went to the toilet? I would like to see that. Go ahead. Be my guest. Secondly, if you say that Jesus or God cannot be or become a man, that means God cannot be God. Who are you to tell what God can be? Is God God who can do what he wish or not? So when you speak about stupid, silly stuff, because you are silly, we laugh. We laugh. Go ahead, show me Jesus going to the bathroom. I want to see it. If you want to say to me, Jesus, he ate, you know, let us say for sake of argument, Jesus, he went to the bathroom. Like every man he do. And this is the flesh. Jesus said before Abraham, I am, which means the flesh existence have nothing to do with the existence of Christ. This is the flesh. So he came between the men and he was a man between the men. Your God Allah, he says, he sent his spirit and appeared to Mary as a perfect man, which means he have a penis. He have an anus. Are you going to make fun of the spirit of Allah? Go ahead. You will not dare to do that because you are a hypocrite. If the spirit of Allah have a penis, Question, why the Spirit of Allah have a penis? Uh, Mikael, you are, a, you are a big fat liar. The, the verses you are quoting for me, my friend, is not about having sex with them, it's about marrying them. And you are a fraud. It's your prophet who raped women. It's, they make it legal in the Quran to rape them, not to marry them. Not to marry them. But if we go to the Bible, the verses you are quoting, just to show everybody that you are a scam like your prophet, you will see speaking clearly about marrying those women. Why people, they have no dignity. Why people, they lie. I mean, the verses are there. The Bible is there and people can go and check them out. I will tell you why. Because you have the spirit of the devil. You can't be decent. So if I marry a woman, it's the same as having sex with the women? Why you can't be honest and say you can marry them? Why you don't say that? Because you are coward. Uh, anyway, nothing new. Secondly, when somebody he call a man Habibi, I know some cultures they do that, you know, but this is stupid, my friend. Don't use that word with, with, with men. That is a homo thing, you know, unless you are an Egyptian. Are you an Egyptian? In Egypt, they call this word Habibi a lot. Uh, but when a Muslim, he says, if Jesus is God and he is a man and Go into the bathroom, that will not make him God. So, Jesus, the man who go to the bathroom, but yet he can make the blind see. Jesus, the man who go to the bathroom, according to you, yet he is alive until now in heaven. Jesus, the man who go to the bathroom, he can resurrect people from death. All of this is done by a person who go to the bathroom. You go to the bathroom too. Can you do what Jesus did? So your logic is a stupid. Again, anyone he takes me in, 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 in pal talk and he's a Christian, I will block you. This is the last warning. Can we talk? If you cannot call me, no, we cannot talk. No. If you cannot call me, we cannot talk. 
then you talk to me only in the chat any Muslim he sent me message saying again we talk but he don't want to talk by voice I'm not going to talk to you I'll block you I want people to hear you I just block one uh, again another person let us block again we start getting some idiots start texting me and I keep saying you know Muslims only Muslims only stupid people you are blocked I mean you see why why I don't open my Skype look at those people I open my pal talk so you can call me if you want to text me you can text here anyone will text me he is not a Muslim I will block you immediately anyone is a Muslim he texts me he don't want to talk to me by calling I will block you too is it simple do we have any Muslim on a call trying to be Christian do you want to talk to me by voice Again, I will block you if you are not going to do that. Let us see. Give them a chance. All right. Let us call this gentleman here. Finally, we got a Muslim. We want to talk. <coughs> Even though I was going to leave, but, you know, we will give it some time. Hello? Hello? Are you there? Okay, look like he is playing games. He did not answer. <clears throat> uh, Abel Abdil Muhammad saying Trinity is her a her heretical doctrine created by Shaitan to mislead the people okay no problem so if this is something created by Shaitan but yet the Quran saying you can have sex with your own daughter out of marriage is not from Shaitan Quran saying you can beat your wife is not from shaitan. Quran saying that women they can offer themselves to the prophet so he can do boom boom with them is not from shaitan. I mean who is shaitan for you? Who is shaitan? Secondly you idiot. Let me show you guys what Muslim they say to you. The Muslim are copy paste nation. They don't read and they are illiterate like their prophet. He said that Trinity created in the year 325 AD. You idiot. You Muslims, you agree that the book of John is written according to you, written 60 years after Jesus. So can we find the Trinity there? The book of Luke, written even earlier. So, I mean, is the Trinity there? Yes. What does this have to do with 325, you donkey? Secondly, did the Trinity make God bad? Hello? 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 Yes, my friend, I hear you. you Go, hear ahead. Go ahead. Hi, how are you? How I'm, are you doing? I'm fine. So you are a Muslim, right? Yes, I am Muslim. All right. Well, good to have you. What do you like to say to us, my friend? Uh, not much, but uh, could you repeat the other one that you said about the um, uh, the nikah al astaghfirullah nikah nikah al muta? Okay. What before, about it? The first. Could you repeat? Could you show the uh, listeners the um, oh, right. the hadith again? No problem. Good, you speak Arabic, that's wonderful. Of course. Okay. 
There we go. Let us see. Uh, oh, give me a second. Okay, this is the Arabic. Go ahead, read for us. You can you translate yourself if you want. <coughs> This is only the part. Could you? Uh, you want the Arabic or the us? English? You want the Arabic or the English? Um, both are fine, but the Arabic is better. But uh, before you, someone who have uh, posted the uh, the hadith okay, in the, the chat. Okay, the hadith, is in, the hadith is in front of you. Are you want to post it for you in the in the chat? Okay, here we go. No, because here it's a. Uh, it's um, taken out. Yeah, no problem. You can click at the link on your side. It's I post it in the chat. You can open it and read it from your side. Go ahead. Okay. First of all, you said that nikah al nikah al muta is allowed in Islam, and hmm. this one says it is mansur, which means it is cancelled. No problem. It says that. Okay. Uh, uh, who, okay. Hold on. Nadab hadathni Yas ibn Salama ibn Akwa an Abi an Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Ayyama rajul wa amra tawa faqa fa ishra ma baynuhuma thalatha liyal. Fa in ahabba an yatazayada wa yatataraka tataraka. Okay. Translate please. Fama adri la shay kana la khassa man nasa'a ma qala Abu Abd Allah wa baynuhu Ali an Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam annahu mansukh. All right. Go ahead. Translate. Means it's cancelled. No, read everything. Translate everything for us. Go ahead. I'm listening. Okay, uh, take the uh, the other one, the English translation. Okay. Go ahead. Why you don't want okay. to translate? You to why, why you don't want to translate to us your translation? Is it your translation would be better? Because here it says things is not in, in, in Arabic. It doesn't say that. As an example, in Arabic, can you show me anywhere in Arabic it says marriage? The word marriage in Arabic. Do you see anything to say? Ayyuma rajul, ayyuma rajul wa mar'a tawafaqa fa ishra. Okay. Al ishra huna al marriage. What is the No, ishra is to associate with, to live with, to sleep with. This one ishra. Allah, al ishra, al tawafaq huwa min mabda, min mabda al zawaj. Wa huwa, yani rabat, rabat awwul aqad al nikah. Do you see the word marriage? The word marriage in Arabic is zawaj. And you just say it already, zawaj. Is the word zawaj there? I told you in Arabic. This one, Tawafaka Faishra, Al Rishra Tawafak, Manata, no, 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 Tawafaka, anyone doing prostitution, they tell Tawafaka, they agree. Tawafaka means they agree, correct? First of all, this is not prostitution. How is that? Okay, so you are saying the condition says if they agree and they live together, but doesn't say the marriage. This, does it say the word marriage See, there? This See, first of all, if it is a marriage or not, it says it's mansukh, cancelled. No problem, but the word marriage is not there. Secondly, you just admitted that this is, uh, uh, you, you said this is not prostitution, correct? Yes. Okay. What the woman she will get in return of sleeping with the man for three days? What she gets? What she get from this? Do she get, do she get paid? First of all, what is what does it marriage for you mean? I'm asking you a question, my friend. Let us not to play me and no, you. No, no, I'm, no, I'm asking you. No, no, do, this, the women, do the this women, is not a, do the women get see, paid? See, do the women get paid? My, my friend, do the women get paid for sleeping with this man for three days? You said they agree. They agree together to do Ashra. Ashra is to live together. Where, 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 okay. So where is the do the women get paid for the three days, three nights together? Yeah. Do she get paid? It doesn't say paid here. No, it doesn't say, but you know what Muta is. I mean, come on, you are an Arab. Don't you know what muta is? Do women in muta is the condition of muta si. is to get paid, yes or no? See, si. first of all, mm. muta is prohibited. That's friend, common with all Muslims. We will go to the there is a sect that is not. At this moment, there is a sect that is not. At this moment, but for us, for us, for us, at that, for us, at that but moment, it is prohibited. My friend, as that, Here, at that moment, is it forbidden or not? At that moment, when Muhammad said that. See, first of all, muta or it's an official official marriage. There is a payment paid by the man to the woman. Okay, so what, what's what's the difference if, in in both ways? If it is, if it is, no, let's no, say assume. No, no, is, no. Let's assume this is muta. No, let's assume the this is muta. The okay, the then difference is, paid. the difference is that this woman it's called muta. What muta mean? Tell me what the word muta mean. 
you are the expert. Tell us. No, you tell us. You are, you are the one. Teach me. And I'm learning from you. What the word muta mean? You just call it the word muta. You you call it yourself, not me. So you just said muta. So what muta mean? Tell us. Go ahead. Translate to those audience. Muta. Yeah. Muta means that something is a marriage based on pleasure. Ah, That's what it means. There is no, there's no marriage. Don't add words. It says muta is marriage. Muta no. is marriage. And, is, and muta is marriage. Or even it's a by... pleasure. So it's a pleasure. Okay. So no. the purpose of the, the purpose of what you call marriage is what is, is a pleasure. Muta correct? is a temporary marriage. Okay, temporary guys. Did he say temporary? Muta, okay. Muta. I want you to explain. Muta is a temporary I, I, I marriage. Want you, I want you to explain. Okay. So. Associated. Okay. No, so you you told you told me to explain, so I'm not my friend. My friend. Okay, no problem. You just say. It. You, you, could you, you give say me it. the point? You just say. Uh, could you give me the? You just say. You, you just say. Because if no, no. You just say. It is. It is. You, it is, you, a, it you, is you ask me to explain. Let me explain. I want you to explain. Let, let, me, let me make a comment. Just a comment. A second. A comment. Just a no, second. No, no. Comment after my, my talk. Okay. Comment go after go, my okay, talk. Okay. Go ahead. Go. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. You let me talk. Okay. Go ahead. Correct. Okay. Go ahead. First of all. The wagal muta or the uh, muta marriage is that you know in English translation mm -hmm. is a temporary marriage mm -hmm. associated with pleasure between the two parties. Mm -hmm. Could be with three days, could be for month, for three months. With some sects, it's a marriage. Mm -hmm. With some Muslim sects, mm -hmm. it's a marriage. Mm -hmm. For me, okay. it's it is it is prohibited. Mm -hmm. It says here in the hadith, it is mansukh, it's cancelled. Mm -hmm. So for us, this is marriage. Mm -hmm. There's no difference between the obligated marriage except there is uh what they call the um after the nikah after the nikah there is obligation on those sex but for us this is actually prohibited so this is, does not exist for us okay are you done now with with all muslims most muslims this is prohibited it's not something you did not answer me you see I, I give you time to answer you said nothing i'm asking you the question okay. the yeah. question no, is the I question is I, I, okay. I answered you, but no, uh, no, no, said, no, 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 you did not answer me. First of all, let me let me educate okay, you. Okay, okay. Let me educate you, and I okay, challenge sure. you. I challenge you to prove you wrong. In the muta marriage, there is no inheritance. In the muta marriage, there is no divorce, which means when the time is up, the 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 contract of a pleasure is over. There is no divorce. So how this is, can be marriage if you don't have to divorce? Do you divorce in the muta marriage? What, what? Yes. Show me the reference. Go ahead. I'm going to so open, first of all I'm going the, I'm going now to open your marriage, scholars I'm going to open right now your scholars website yeah, and, and, everybody, so you, and everybody will see that you are not being honest are you stupid Muta, are you stupid or something Muta, Muta, so first of all I, I told I told you I told you the scholars you are referring to are Shia Muslims and this is not my Muslims my friend my friend you're talking about a, what, my friend, a different sect you is, are a Catholic you are talking is about Europe, is your prophet a Shia about prophet is yeah. Muslim. Okay, there is a is, Shia is, is a sect is, that has is, a different. Is Ibn Kathir a Shia? I don't know. You don't know? No, Ibn Kathir is a Sunni. Is Al Qurtubi a Shia? Is Al Tabari a Shia? Is Al Jalalain a Shia? Choose any one of them, and I will show you the Muta. Muta See, first is of for all, a certain time. Listen, listen. The Muta is for a certain time, and there's no divorce when the time is up. So. You, you, Okay, first the, of all, the contract I, is up. I, I didn't. The contract is up. Yes, you are correct. You okay. said that after the contract, but there's you, no but, inheritance. But yes, you just like you just said there's there's divorce. Yes, it, the divorce happened automatically ah, after the period. That's what finishes. I'm saying. Automatically, guys. Automatically. So you don't need to divorce her because why? Because it's a contract for sex. So the time is up. The time is up. This is what the contract is about. Is about muta. Is that about pleasure of time for a time. And we agree about the time. Mm -hmm. We agree about how much the women she will receive as money. Do you agree that the women she have to agree before she so go you, for it? So you you go you say first of all you this thing you are saying mm -hmm. is cancelled means it's no prohibited. Problem. Let us talk about it now before it's cancelled. We will talk later about cancel. So do you agree? No, it's already cancelled. You, you are talking about something that's already cancelled that has already been so all, you are just first saying, of all, First Make of all, first of all, it is exist. not it is not cancelled. It's a lie. Show me a verse in the Quran that says it's cancelled. It's here. It says in Nahum and Sukh. Okay, he said that in front of you. But this is but this is not your prophet. But this is not. Okay, okay. But this is not. Okay, okay. But this is not your prophet. The one who said show, that. Show the viewer. Show, 
Si, si, show the viewers okay. the English translation. No problem. Here we go. This is the English translation. Did your prophet say it cancelled? Or this is the guy who is making the sure. narrate the story? Come on. One time you okay, called the I'm prophet saying you, it. Okay, hold you on. So the guy. Allah, Allah, he made it halal. You Call said, the viewers you the said, I'm listen, waiting. listen, listen, you said it is cancelled. Show me the verse. Come on, canceled. show the guy. Show the guy's the English translation. Why I'm are showing, you I'm going showing uh, it. I'm showing uh, it. This is a guy like you. I don't this is a guy like you saying it is Mansukh. Okay, show us the verse of Mansukh. Mansukh means it's abrogated by Allah order. Show us the, the order of Allah. Where is it? Made unlawful. My friend, it, at says, the end of it the... doesn't even say, it doesn't say that. It says Mansukh. Do you know Arabic? Read it carefully. It says, Wa innahu Mansukh. Mansukh, mansukh mean, means abrogated. Uh, exactly. Show me the abrogation verse. Uh, Abrogate. This is from Sunnah. It says abrogated by the, no, by the Prophet. Do you, do you abrogate the Quran by a statement of a man? Come and show me from the Quran. There is this nikah is there. Here we go. The verse in the front of you, chapter four, verse number thirty-four. So those of them women who you enjoy, they enjoy their private part. Give them for their appointment wages. This is your Muslim website, and this is your translation. So, no, because you enjoy their private part, you pay them wages. This is Quran. Now, show me the verse in the Quran okay. says that this is abrogated. Allah said you do it. You pay women to enjoy their private part for a certain amount of time, for a certain amount of money. When the time is up, the contract is up, and you agree. And even the Muslims See, agree. The Muslims agree that this is a kind of rental. Is that true? That you Muslims agree that muta is renting a woman for sex? Uh, show show me the Arabic verse and give me the link. Here we go. Four twenty four. This is the explanation of the muta. This is your Muslim saying. In some work, a special term apl applied to women who participate in the muta, musta'ajara, or show rented me. women. Muta is considered as a kind of rental because, in general, man basic aim in this kind of marriage is sexual enjoyment. Is that true? The the purpose of this marriage. Is only sexual enjoyment, and you're into women. Yeah. Then. Okay. So you agree. Yeah. So guys, he said yes. He said yes. We rent women, and the purpose of renting those women is sexual enjoyment. So how this is can be marriage? Go ahead. How can be this? Oh, so why are marriage? Marriage is to have a family. Yeah. No. Not to have. Uh, no. That, that's that, part. Uh, that's part. When a man, no, no, no. You see here, there's no family. It's three days. Three days. You are the one who just said that, and the purpose of it is muta, the sexual pleasure. So you hire a woman for sexual pleasure. Is isn't okay. this is the same so, as a prostitution? If you made a marriage, if you made a marriage, mm -hmm. and the marriage did not end with a family, did not end up with the with the children. Yeah. It and it's not the same. It's the same way like this one. No. Because the purpose of that Is marriage, no, the purpose of that marriage, it was not just to have sex with the women, it's just to have a family. And a, a sex, a, yeah. a, a sex, uh, sexuality is exist there, okay. uh, true. But here, the purpose of having this woman is not to marry her, it's just to sleep with her for some time. So the purpose of what you call marriage is renting a woman and paying her wages, paying her money. Read what it says there here. And it says here, and uh, uh, it's a the, the purpose, it's a listen, listen, in general, the, uh, the man basic on aim in this kind of marriage is a sexual enjoyment of the women. And in return of his enjoyment, the women receive certain amount of money and property. So what is the return of sex money? What is the purpose of this marriage? Sex only. So, so how and, this is marriage? And the marriage uh, started with what? With what? With agreement. Start with you see a woman with the in the elevator. You say to him, "Are you willing to take off your panty for no. me if you pay you ten dollars for and ten hours?" If she agree, that is halal. First of all, you just say something out of your mind. No, I go. ask you: Is marriage? Listen, listen, is listen, listen, marriage? Listen, listen, here we go. This is the formula. This is the formula. This is the condition. This is your Islamic website. It says it clearly. In person, you have to say to the woman, "I want to do this to you." The women she have to agree she have to return says i agree with you and he have to mention the time how long he have to mention how much here we go the time the period how long how long she will be rented read carefully how long she will be rented. yeah what, what's the problem with that what is the problem okay so you are saying that a woman muslim women 
a man, he said to her, how long you can rent me yourself for sex? And you say, what's wrong with that? It is the same as a marriage. <laughs> but you are renting the women. You are not marrying her. You agree with the word rental. You are renting a woman. So what is the difference between prostitution and this? A prostitute, she offer you for one night and say a hundred dollar. And you agree. You go see, to the you, you go to the you go, go to the hotel go. room, oh, okay. and she is your see, she, let's is, take she, is, take... she is rented. Okay, let's take him some. She is rented by you, and now you are saying to me it's it's okay. See, like you are accusing me that this exists with my belief. Yes, this it is. One, this uh, nikah is not. Yes, it is. <clears throat> it is without abrogated. It is with Shia. You go with the Shia okay, and show, call him show this. Me, show me where it's abrogated. Well, for me, it's not. Okay, I'm not understanding to you. You said you are the one who said. I, 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 I am not scholar hmm. on this, so I can, I, I cannot, I cannot okay. uh, answer the black question. Let me ask you: After Muhammad he died, do you Muslim practice Muta'a Muslim Sunnah? No. Okay. What if I show you the proofs? See, this is not my. Uh, okay, I, the other question I wanted to ask you no, is don't something change the topic. about Jesus. Don't change, the, don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. We have to finish it. You are the one who chose no, I, it, my friend. My friend, you are the one who chose it. Okay. So we. Okay, choose me. Okay, I'm. So, me. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. If the if. If you Muslims, you said to me that this is mansuh. What mansuh mean? Abrogated, correct? Mm. Okay. I'm asking you. Do you have any reference that it's abrogated? The one is in front of you. Says that abrogated. Well, the, this is the guy saying that. This is not your prophet saying that. It is a Muslim source. No, okay. you, you just quoted Muslim it. Source, but shouldn't you Muslims go by what Quran? Quran says you can do that. So if we if we find it abrogated, so we should, should find it in the Quran. Searching Google? No problem. Go ahead. Yeah, of course I was searching. Okay, go ahead. I'm But you know, I'm very, very thankful that you called us, that you agree that Muslim women they are for rent, and you pay them money, and then see first, of all, first of all, you said Muslim women, and you you are are they aren't they those, are, aren't they those women? You, you can, come 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 first first of all aren't they, let's, aren't let's, they those let's, women let's, aren't they those women for rent they let's, Muslim women? Let's, Let's let's talk respectively. I did not say Muslim women are for rent. So they are not Muslim women. Something. Okay, are they are they Muslim women or not? Those who they are practicing the muta. The Muslim practicing muta with who? You search them. It's it's not. It's uh, this is what what about my sex? I told you this is not. This, this is, is not, obligated. This is not uh, question. Upgraded. This is question. You, you you get angry for saying no. Muslim you are women. Say, you so, no no. You are saying it in a way that says. That is disgraceful for a Muslim, so for a Muslim why woman. Do you think it's you just did it. Okay, hold on. You just admitted that this is very filthy because if it is not filthy, you will not say it's disgraceful. Yeah, I don't. I don't agree with the temporary marriage. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So what's the problem? So as long as I, I told you, it's long, so what's the problem? As long it's disgraceful and you don't agree with it, that's mean you don't agree with your prophet. No, I agree with my prophet. No, you just said if you some, don't agree. Something you just, if, you, see, just, you just said you don't agree with it and it's disgraceful. And, um, disgraceful to a certain degree. This is something that does not apply to this time okay. and period. Okay. If this something happened on its time and period, okay. then it, it's fine. Okay. It has its own it has its own hmm. uh, rules, it has its own timings, everything could be applied in that at that time period. I cannot just say no, this is this is reflected on all times. Okay. It is the straight forward. This happened at a, a different time. It is, this, it is now, now you it is no, disrespect. I, no, I did not say the Quran. This disrespect is the way you are talking about it to others. Okay, you are just disrespecting others. How, others how I'm talking about and a prophet. You agree in with a me. way. So I listen, we don't listen. see see for us, for us Jesus, peace be upon him, we don't go and say about him and shit things. Why? Because he, for us, he's he's a holy, he's a he's a prophet. We just don't go and say shit things about him. Mm. But for you, Muhammad is not your prophet. Mm. 
That's okay. What does have to do with my topic way. now? Why, but, why you are upset? No, 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 it is you who agree no, that, that those women are rented. No, you agree. No, no, no. No, no. You agree. No, no. That don't change the subject. We are talking it's, about it's, you it's, disrespecting it's, the women, not the source. It's recorded. Not the source. It's recorded. You agree? Yeah, I know it's recorded. You agree, I... you agree that women are rented in according to your religion. You agree that it's for a certain time. You agree that when when the time is up, this relationship contract is up. So when I say thank you for calling and agreeing that Muslims sure. are rented, you get angry, angry for the same thing you just said to me. See, first of all, you, you did not say it in the way that is respectful to women. You are saying so it in a way look, that look, is respectful to the Muslims. religion he don't, and he to don't women. Get angry. He don't get angry for agreeing that Muslim women are rented. He get angry for me saying it. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you have because... no problem. You have no problem that Muslim women are available for sex for rent, but you are get angry if I say it to you. No. First of all, this marriage is abrogated. So whatever you are talking Show about, me where it's is abrogated. Just... I'm waiting for you. I told you this is not my subject. I can I, I have to search it. No, first. you have to show me. Otherwise, but... I have to show you that nowhere in the Quran it says that. No, but because 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 you have a, some certain ways of the, of, uh, of a sources that is with so, so, does so, not so, mean does not here we are talking no. about proofs here we talk about proofs no no blah, 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 so, no there is no blah, 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 who is the one who is my friend no blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm asking you did the Quran, okay proof did the Quran here we go, here we go. you said that is obligated I don't I am I'm not in knowledge of this okay. so I have to search it. and then I can reply okay. if you come and show me that it's, it is not obligated hmm. I have to show you first it's obligated then you show me it's not obligated oh we go I will show you first because I I have to search the subject. You you must. It's not, it's not some Muslim, I know. You, don't, you don't follow neither Allah neither His teaching. Here we go. This is the hadith in front of you. It says there is no verses in the Quran came abrogating this verse. Read it. This is Sahih Muslim. This is Sahih. And we can show it to you from different reference too, if you want. Read it. Go ahead. So what we will do now? I I cannot see it. It's in the screen. And I can show it to you from different if you want. And here it, says, sure here it says this is weak, weak hadith. What do you think? Is it what do you think? Do you accept weak hadith? No, weak hadith is not is weak. So now it's we accept. So now we are in trouble. So this is a this is a lie, right? It's weak. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. So we have to find a true hadith, sahih hadith to be proven by you. Yeah, of course. Okay, if there's any Sahih Hadith speaking about this topic, that Muslims are lying to us and there's no abrogation in the Quran. Okay, sure. Okay. No, I'm asking you if there is any Sahih Hadith or all of them they lie. You just, you just, you just cancelled yourself. Hmm. You, you said that it, is, it says that no, there is nothing that is abrogated, and you showed me something that's weak. And you, your proof is not is not there. So Show I, me the proof. Well, I have a surprise for you. This is a Sahih Hadith. I'm just showing people how Muslims they change their defense system in a second. This is Sahih Muslim Hadith uh, but, number one two two six. See, first of all, you did not let me examine the evidence that you said. No, you just said. You just said. You just. You lied to me. You said this is weak. You just said. You just said. You just. I cannot see that. I you cannot see say, the full hadith. Okay. I did not read it. No problem, but you just said, you just said, you said I just cancelled myself, cancelled myself and you switch, you switch from what is right to it's wrong. And in a second now, we got you busted. It is sahih. So now there's no Quran. It's no, revealed. It's... Here we go. There's no Quran revealed about mm. abrogation. Read it. It's sahih. What we will do now? There's no grade here. Okay. It's there's clear. no grade here. Read it. Go ahead. It's no grade here. It's sahih Muslim. The book is sahih Muslim. The the book itself contains the the weak and the sahih. Even sahih Muslim is is weak too. Yeah, it contains weak. If, weak if, if 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 so, what what book you need me to get it from? No, I have to search the subscript first. So uh, should we find it in Bukhari now? Is it Bukhari? You, you said it's 
it's graded as sahih. You said that graded as sahih. I'm asking you. So what we would do now? No, you, you said this is first of all you lied to me, uh -huh. and I, I did not. I did not read the full hadith. You uh -huh. said that okay. if this is uh -huh. a weak hadith, and then uh -huh. and then you change your mind. Said no, this is sahih. Uh -huh. Okay. So you lied to me, and then you said no. no I said no. If, this is so sahih. If, if, so, I can so this, I, I cannot say this, this is hadith, for or because there's not if, if, if this hadith is weak, are you going to accept it? You say no for sure. You can sell yourself now. So I'm saying to you, I'm showing everybody how Muslim they lie in two seconds. So here we go. The Prophet he do muta. Why the I, Prophet do muta? Why the Prophet okay, do how muta? I lied. What kind of a prophet? You, you know, you, you deny that this is a true just because I said it's if it's weak. But then when I show you that this is sahih, you know what you will do with it now, what you can do. It's See, first of all, you lied. This come, come, come. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 hey. Mm. Listen to me. Mm. Did you lie or not? You mean you said it's weak or not? I did not lie. I did. I, I did not. I did not read the 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 hadith. By the by the way, I have to no, read it. No first. problem. I don't lie. It's recorded. I said if it's, if it's weak, are you going to accept it or not? You said no. Mm. Sure, you can see no. yourself. Secondly. All you Muslims, everything here we go. This is Sahih. You said it's weak. Yourself, you said it's weak. I said it's Sahih. You said it's weak. You, I showed it to Sahih Bukhari. I said, where is the grade? So I said, is, is sorry, Sahih Muslim. You said uh, uh, not all Sahih Muslim is is uh, is correct. Okay, okay, so okay. is Sahih Muslim okay. Sahih or not? Where, where is it? Huh? Show me the, the show me the hadith first, and then we talk about it, and then say this is this is hadith is okay, we weak go. or not. Don't okay. lie to me and said this is okay, weak, read, read. and then okay, when okay, I did okay. not read it, okay, read. and then you just deceive all the uh, the listeners and deceive me with it. Okay, read read for me. Here we go. No, sure. link me the link. I have to read. Hmm? The link. What link? Why I doing? cannot see it. Read the link. Read it. Read it. It's in front of you. No, I didn't the link. I have to see it myself. Okay, here we go. I have to drag. Okay, I want you to. I will. I will give you the link. Give me a second, and I will give you Sahih al Bukhari, so you don't play the game and say this is a uh, week and this is Sahih Bukhari. All right, this is the link. I will post it. Translate for us in Arabic from Arabic to English. From Arabic to English. Where is the link? Go ahead. I posted the link. This one is is not graded. First of all, it's a Sahih Bukhari. It's already graded. The second you say Sahih Bukhari, that's why you call it Sahih. The name of the book is Sahih. Uh, and even if the name says Sahih, it not. See, this not what I'm saying. Everything. Even when we show you Sahih Bukhari, it's called Sahih. You say it is not Sahih. <laughs> Your scientists have to. So you must. I, I cannot book, just. Say, so look at the Muslims. They call the book Sahih, which means authentic, but it's not authentic, brother. <laughs> read it. Read it. Go ahead. I want you to read for me in, in, in Arabic, not in English, please. I want to take advantage of your Arabic. Read it. Because the English translation is not really right. Go ahead, read it. See, first first of all, it does not say it is a Sahih graded or not. That's that's what one thing. The other thing it says, hmm. 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 This is not the Prophet saying, first okay. of all. So, uh, so what it says now? Translate. Uh, okay, read the translation. Uh, translate for us. Okay, the translation ولم ينزل القرآن يحرم means that there's no 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 obligation came. ولم ينهى عنها no nothing has said it's not correct until he died there is a man says <laughs> on his opinion what he said okay so the the, the the hadith says that there's no quran came down to abrogate this verse and your prophet never forbid this is this is this is not the prophet first of all you no, said the prophet. no problem this the but this is what the hadith says it says that no, no, prob quran, no problem no problem no, no. see see the abrogation okay. comes with from prophet comes from the quran where where so this is no where prophet Okay, not neither the Prophet, neither the Quran forbid okay. it. See, first of all, mm -hmm. first of all, mm -hmm. you said this one says there is nothing that forbid it. And this one came from the Prophet. This is not from the Prophet. Okay, hold on. 
The one you the the prophet the did not say that. The one I showed you. Show me something. Okay, but here, said, but here it confirmed, some, my friend. Here it confirmed. Here it confirmed that there's nothing in the Quran to abrogate. As otherwise, show me. A, and it confirmed. It's not a prophet saying. It confirmed. So I it confirmed it, okay, hold I on. Okay, it confirmed that your prophet did not forbid it. This was it confirmed. No, it, it confirmed that at some point it existed. When, when, okay, it exists until he died. There's nobody forbid it. At some, at some point, point it So until he died, yeah. nobody forbid it. Okay. People can so say whatever when, they say. When, People say, when the forbidden, see, come, come, come on. When, yeah, yeah. When, see, for us, when, for us. When the, uh, the, okay, my friend. Well, when, when the forbidden happens. See, see, you are just you are, you're just making yourself like a Muslim and you make your own opinion about if you are a Muslim. Okay, my friend. For my Muslims friend, need to friend, have it from the Prophet, my, have to come from friend, the Quran. You said the Prophet said it. My friend, this okay. one does not is not the Prophet. Okay. You said the Prophet said. Hmm. You, you said the Prophet said that is still it's not abrogated and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. This hmm. is someone else saying, so I cannot take it in the accounts. This is this for me is cancelled. It's, okay. like, it's so nothing. When you, say, say when, you they say, can say. when you say it's abrogated, who is the one who said it's abrogated? It says there in the, in the Sunnah. Yeah, but the, the same reason you said you cannot take it for account, you take it for account now. Because the guy is the one who said, a guy, not your prophet, says that it's abrogated. See, okay. First of all, now, it's, it's, now we it's, are showing you a Sahih it's, hadith. It's, saying that no obligation came from Allah and neither from Muhammad. So who is the one that the abrogation? What, what you are talking, there is one obligated, there is one one for obligation, the other one is not for the obligation. So which one we have to accept? You need to tell me, I don't know, like you tell me which one. Both of them they say is, no. Okay. So all scores is obligation. So okay, my friend. For, my for friend, them, my friend, my friend, let us let us take it. Let, let's take it better. If there is a verse in the Quran saying that what no. is abrogated. See, for, first of all, you're talking about something. If if it is there, it should be with the Muslim or not? I'm this asking is for you. I'm asking you. You are the Muslim. This is for you can search. This is for you, can search this is for you can search. Google. You can search no, no. Google. Did you did the Quran? Did the Quran? I, I, I searched. I see, see, I search, but I have to, I have to read it fully. There's, there's no time for it. But the summary, it's obligated. There's nothing with us. There's okay, nothing like a, this. Okay. If it is there so, today, okay, come and I'll, judge me. You know what? I will, I will go. If it's there I'll, today, I will, I will it is go, there. I will go. I will go. Today in my country, okay. come and judge me. Say there is, there is a problem. There is prostitution. Uh, everything what you want to okay, say. Okay, I will go. But it's you. not will, existing I'll today. It's obligated for us. Okay. finished okay i will go with you okay this so, topic is finished for okay me. hold on no you said this is disgusting and this is disgrace to say that muslim women they do renting and you said that this is something approved by the prophet and allah so how allah he approved something disgusting to rent women at that time let us say now it's abrogated as you said so first of all you said you you put things in my mouth you said that it is just cutting to the quran the prophet and he said what you imposing into muslim women mm. is the discussion because you are not muslim mm. uh, first of all mm. secondly you are mm. you are making it so that people feel bad about a certain thing mm. but, but you are the one who said this this not, you are the one who said this is great and this is uh, i talked about you i did not i don't not i did okay. not talk so about the current is, 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 rent, is, rent, is renting a woman so for sex. Something else. okay you agree that this is renting women for sex is renting women for sex is something good or bad renting today it's uh, it's bad today well why it was good in the time of muhammad i i don't i don't have the full picture on the subject okay to, to answer here him. there's a hadith i'm just trying to help you this is sahih muslim saying that you're a prophet he said that this is forbidden until the day of judgment so why why he forbid it why he allow it then he forbid it if well, it's I, I, I just told you, I don't have the full picture to, to judge on this. Okay, but you are the one who opened the topic, so you choose the question, but you don't have the answer for the same question you're asking me. See, so if you're see, a prophet, first of all, if you're a prophet, if you're a prophet, no, 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 I opened the question, okay. I, I opened the question because he deceived your viewers mm -hmm. and said it's not up, it's, it's there with the Muslims now, mm -hmm. that this is a practice 
a practiced uh, a practiced Muslim will you practice see, this see, today. You see, my friend, I I'm, I'm just showed you what the Muslim they believe. I just point you out okay. that this is obligated. And I just it is that you, in the no, you cannot show me. You cannot show me. You, no. you cannot show me. Show me. Here we go. I'm the one who showed you. It says nobody forbid it. Not in the Quran, and even the Prophet he passed away, and still there's no obligation. Different hadith says the Prophet obligated. So you Muslims are crazy people. You don't know what your prophet said. Okay, this is not about this is Sahih this is Sahih al Bukhari, and this is this is Sahih Muslim. Which one we follow? Muhammad he said that this is as forbidden for you until the day of resurrection. Okay, Muhammad he said that according to what? Who is the one who told Muhammad it's forbidden? Could, could you repeat again? Quran chapter 4 verse 24 says you can do rent women. Then Muhammad he changed his mind and he went against his God teaching and he says from now on I forbid you. Okay. Why Muhammad is saying something against the Quran? So, See, first of all, you just said that I have. To, I, I told you I have to research it first. And then I go to. You back can to search you right now. Subject. Stop saying to me, search you, search it, search it. You can search it. The verse of the muta. It's very, very well known. You can search it into uh, two words. You know, muta. You know, Quran, uh, Quran and muta. Uh, you can find it in two seconds in, in the internet, and I show it to you from your Islamic website. The muta is in chapter four, verse twenty-four, and I can show you any interpretation of your choice. Okay, so Allah allow muta, and then Muhammad later he forbid muta. Why? He, he noticed that Allah is wrong. So you 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 want me to search, and then you want to talk blah blah blah. No, I cannot search. You are the one who time. said it's abrogated, my friend. Did you? Isn't you the one who said it's abrogated? Yes, okay. scholar said it's so abrogated. If Allah He said do muta, Muhammad said don't do muta. So okay, so. Why Allah He said do muta and Muhammad refused the order of Allah? Do you, do you want to, do, do you want to some to talk to someone who have who have the full knowledge sure. to search and they reply to you, or just want to go go again and again and again and again on the same subject that does not have an answer? This for is the you. subject you call me, and this one I'm asking you a simple question: Why Muhammad? No. Okay, so I did not call so, you on this subject. Okay, this is, whole, was subject Allah wrong? wrong? Was Allah wrong when He allowed muta? If it is something that happened that time, then yeah, God is not wrong. Mm -hmm. But Allah never said don't do muta anymore at that time or this time. Show me the verse. Did Allah say anywhere don't do muta? No. No. Can you repeat again? Did Allah say is anywhere in the Quran don't do muta no muta no more? <clears throat> I told you this have to be. I have to be researched. Okay, tell, uh, show me something. What do you say? Well, I'm showing you the verse. It says you do muta. Okay, shouldn't if Allah He changes mind? Shouldn't He? Isn't you Muslim? You say. Not even isn't not you? Even <laughs> غير مسافحين ثم استمتعتوا بهم منهن فاتوها اجورهن فريضه ولا جهل جناح عليكم فيما تراضيتم بهم بعد الفريضه ان الله كان عليم حكيما this is not muta this is not muta this is nikah my friend this is the only verse in the quran for muta you are ignorant it says فلما فما استمتعتم mm, no. به فما استمتعت من النساء do you know do you know do you know arabic for محصنات only for marriage my my friend do you know arabic محصنات do you know Arabic? Yeah, I okay. know Arabic. What, I, I'm Arabic. What the word is tamtatum bihi mean? Go ahead, translate. Istamtatum does not mean it's a muta. But the same word. Muta Marriage. Is no, no, you're just, you're just applying a same as a, a word that okay. looks like it and it okay. has a different meaning on its context, mm. and then you apply it to something else. Istamtatum mm. bihi min hun, of course. Do, do you have to take pleasure in your wife or not? Mm. You have a spouse. Do you take a pleasure in your wife or not? Question. I don't pay her for the pleasure. No. Here, here you are. This is غير مسلم. استمتعتم به من هن. You have to pay her. Do you? No, no. Does it say? It's easy. Answer the question. You as a Christian, okay, do friend, you take friend, a pleasure? My friend, my friend, my friend. No, no. Are you, are you, are you, are you, pleasure. Are you, a, are you a Muslim Sunni? Yes, I am. I am Kosher Sunni. So, okay. so okay. means a place. Okay, what? What? Yeah. Okay, this is Ibn Abbas, your scholar, saying this is about Zawaj al Read it carefully. It says here, 
interpretation for the verse, the same verse we are reading, and also say that this is mean, so that you should seek with your money marrying women for a great period of time between two brackets, Zawaj al muta but the lawfulness of the practice was later abrogated. You see it? Okay, so this is the muta. You said this is not the muta. You said I don't know, you know Arabic, you are an Arab, you are going to, you know, you don't know no, Arabic. I, 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 Arabic I, don't, I don't see what you, what you, you are talking about something else. No, Give this, me this, the Arabic the same, this is the same verse, this is the same verse, the same verse interpretation, and this is your Islamic government website and the Kingdom of Jordan, it says this is about the Muta. Do you want me to show you Ibn Kathir? Do you want to show you al show me, thank you. Okay, let's go to Ibn Kathir. Sure. No problem. Show me in Arabic, okay. so okay. I can read. All right. Do you want in Arabic? Uh, of course. Okay, well, let us go on. So Arabic. in Arabic, I can read the link. I have to check it. But you know English too. I mean, what the uh, what the point? Don't you know English? Mm, no, English is my second language. Oh. Arabic is my first. So I, I see. I have okay. to see it first. All right, no problem. Let us go to Arabic, as you wish. <clears throat> Always customers are right. Hmm. Uh, Let us do this. Give me a second. We will do it an easier way. And now we will show you all the interpretation. <clears throat> all right. Uh, let us see. This is your Ibn Kathir. Read for me carefully, please. And you wanted Arabic, so we are showing you Arabic. Go ahead. Could you give me the link? Sure, here we go. I will pause the link in the chat so you can open it you go down where it says number 229 and read underneath of it did you open the link i, I cannot see the link okay let's do it again i will pause it again This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. You see the link now or not? Yes. Okay. Open it, please, and go down where it says 229 in English. And then it says in Arabic, read for us. Give me to read it from the screen. I can. Please. No, read it from your website. From the website I gave you, it says after number twenty-nine, Al Baqarah twenty-nine. It says two 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 nine. It says وَقَدْ استُدِلَ بِعُمُومِ هَذِهِ الْآيَةِ about what? Read carefully. Read and translate. You just take. Uh, there's nothing. قال وقال تعالى محسنات ملكة إيمانكم أي حرية عليكم من محسنات. Go, go down, go down. You don't, you don't read the whole page. The page is so long. Go down where it says two no, two nine. Two two nine. This is see the, uh, Ibn Kathir has different opinions in the same texts. No problem. So this, you will read this. You will read the opinion Wait. of Ibn Kathir. Their guarantee. Read down. Go down, because we don't want to waste because <laughs> because are explaining all things in the verse. The verse. This is a long one. So the the part where it says stem on bihi. This is what he explained. Go ahead. <clears throat> no, I have to read it first. Hmm. Still living on me. Go 
Why you aren't reading, my friend? What are you waiting for? I'm reading. You are not hear you. No, I, I, I am. I'm looking for the something you said. Really, something for us. I said it says here. What is still It says Alanika Hilmuta. So, does it say this is about Muta or not? This is because here. I cannot. I cannot. Okay, so wait a minute. قال وقال ابن استلم عمهار إليك النكاح آه. <coughs> Where can I see it here? My friend, go down in the page until you see it says number 229 in English 229 in English Okay, I found this thing. The Kawasan Mamma then Kah, or a second Kama Shuan, fifty day al Islam, some Manusa Haba da Dalik. Translate. What could the study Labermum have the Aya in Alan Kahal Muta? This means some scholars, which means have said some scholars, all the older scholars. Some scars. No, some where, where it says some scars. Where it says some scars. Show me. Some scars. I can. I cannot just. Where, where it says. I mean, you are, you are, aren't you reading? Show me where it says uh, some scars. I can read it in English and Arabic, and then can I read can read in Arabic. Where it says some scars. It says. قد استدل بعموم هذه الآية على نكاح المتعة ولا شك أنه كان مشروعا في ابتداء الإسلام. Okay. So this is about the Muta. Okay. And then the some people. Okay. It's, it's referred to this ayah that uh, it was uh, it was allowed at the start of Islam mm. that the the nikah al muta means mm. the temporary marriage was there. Okay. All right. بعد ذلك it was abrogated after that. وقد ذهب الشافعي وطائف من العلماء أن أبي أنه أبيح ثم نسخ ثم أبيح ثم نسخ مرتين وقال آخر من ذلك وقال آخرون this is different opinions in the same subject. No, but all of them agree this is about Muta, correct? No, but it says obligated. No problem. But this is so the verse is about Muta. You said to me, this is not about Muta. You forgot? You said to me, screaming at me, I know Arabic, this is not about no. Muta. So this is about Muta. Really... This is Ibn Kathir. This is Ibn Kathir. We can show you Al Qurtabi. We can show you Al Tabari. We can show you Al so again, you are lying, saying the word is tamta'atum, have nothing to do with muta. So this is about muta. Secondly, here it says to you that you Muslims are crazy people. Some scholar they say it is allowed, and then it's it's abrogated, then it's allowed again, and then abrogated, and then allowed again. Abrogated. What is that? This is stupid. Number three, let's go to the question. Allah no, this said, is called, this, Allah, this is not stupid. This is called, this is transparency. What transparency? What happened in Muslim? Okay, hold on. No, transparency okay. means let us see. that whatever happened, let us see. what happened, happened let us, in the Muslim let us world, see. people will try let us see to record the transparency. it. Let us see the transparency. My friend, Allah, he said you do muta. Was it wrong? No. Okay. So, so why it's abrogated? No, it, it was allowed at certain time. Now it's wrong. No problem. Something but that why, was there. Why no. it was allowed in certain time? I, I have to look into it on all aspects to see. I, I don't okay, know look, the subject. Look at it. Look at it. Go and rent a woman. You say to her, "Can you sleep with you for ten minutes or ten hours?" And she say yes. How much you charge me? You agree about the time, about about the money. You go for the bed. But this yes, is what, yes. this is what yes. prosecution. Yes. This is what procession The Prophet says it, that the Kahal Muta is prohibited and prohibited in the in the days of Khaybar. Hmm. And so all those years Muhammad was doing Muta with his followers, doing prostitution. Temporary, temporary marriage. What, what's the prostitution about? You just agreed. You are the one who agreed that you are renting a woman for sex. See, see the, a temporary marriage has 
also a period. So 40 days, you cannot marry another one after 40 days. What for days? This is not true. Exactly. No, in the muta there is no period. No, that's that's a lie. No, no, that's a lie. True. That's a lie. That's not a lie. There's no. There is no. There is. No, there's nothing. You know, the, the, this is for the women, not for you. The man. The man. He can have muta as many as he wish. Secondly, there's no inheritance. Number three, there's no divorce. Number number four. You know, this is not a marriage. No. When, you, when you say prostitution, it's imposed about the women and then we said no it's not about women now about the men okay we don't say we didn't say that men, men can marry four so what's the problem no in the muta you can uh, have, in the muta you can have in the muta you can have uh, unlimited uh, number in, in, the, in the muta in the muta you can have unlimited number uh, you know of of women there's no four that's a lie do you want me to show your islamic website i said marriage not muta my friend, I'm saying muta. Second. In the muta, have can you can you have many women or only four? I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's obligated. <laughs> oh <boy. laughs> And again, you know what kind of a prophet he rent women? Where is the dignity? I told you. First of all, you said it's a it's a prostitution then i say it you is no, it's a temporary marriage. it is it no, is temporary. it is a prostitution my friend it is because you are renting a woman here you go okay listen this is your prostitution this is, this I, I, in the city is, listen city. this is city. this is your islamic no 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 hold on you hold on this, hold. Is, your hold. this hold. is your islamic hold. website i want you to read for me and translate let everybody laugh let everybody laugh no 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 before, okay, okay, no problem. You go to that. You go to that. Listen to me first. Oh. You said this is not a temporary marriage. This is a prostitution. And then, okay, let's see. What is the prostitution means? Prostitution. Does it mean that this prostitution means that she, she have no right? Woman, she have no right over no. you. She have no right over you. She is, she cannot inherit no, you. The woman will see how, can how many men in the a, same day? Can a prostitute inherit you? A woman. A woman. Can a, can't sleep with how can men. can a prostitute inherit you can a, can a prostitute inherit you no can a muslim do can a woman can a muslim can, woman do a see, see. can a muslim woman do a muta inherit you what is the difference if she between is married, if she is married i'm asking man. you i'm asking you if she is married to you and you die is she going to inherit your money in in muta i, in I muta. don't know of that Okay, uh, here I, we go. In a, in a front I of heard you. this. Read, read. No, don't, don't tell me I heard. Here we go. It's in front of you. Let's say your Muslim website or your scar. It says that the muta, the difference between the wajul misyar and al muta is the following. Al muta, and it is a wajul rajul in mura bi shay'i min al mal, mudda muayyina. Let us translate. So the man he marry a woman for by a certain amount of money, for a certain amount of time. And then it's over by, in, by, the, by the time is over without divorce. And there is no obligation. Okay, so of nafaka. What's the problem? Nafaka. Hold on. It, it's you don't pay. It's it, you, you, after okay, divorce, let's, let's a, woman, a woman after divorce, you have to pay her money for a certain time, and what a sukna, and there is no housing, and she will not inherit. And in, in case okay, of one the of them, he uh, so there's not marriage. This is a prostitute. This is why she have no inheritance. She have no money uh, for for housing. This is, she have this she is, this ha because she is just. She no, is just an employee. This is marriage. No, what marriage <laughs> means? There's a contract between you and the woman. Hmm. Is that correct or not? Well, prostitution is, is a contract. This correct or not? Prostitution. No, you go no, to a woman. See. You go to a woman. You say to her, "How much you charge me for two hours?" She in, agree. That's in no. First of all, the the woman in, in prostitution, hmm. woman will will sleep with you one hour. After that, will sleep with another man, and after that, will sleep with another man. Hmm. There's no application for her and for you. Okay, show me, show me, you have to, show me, show me where it says that. Okay, hold on, it, hold on, hold on, it, hold, on it, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Says hold, on. That the hold on, hold on. So you are saying to me, a Muslim woman who rent her private park to a man, she is religious, and now she will not sleep with other men until she finished forty days. That will not change anything. She just rented herself. It's for rent. She's rented. So you are saying to me. She will make a deal with you. She sleep with you, and then she will not have sex with someone else until a certain part of time because she want to be sure she don't have a baby from you. Will you scan them? Here we go. So you don't have to do that. So all this stupid excuses will not make it clean. You are renting a woman for sex, and you agree with the word rent, not me. 
I, I did not say rent. No, you said it. No, you said and you agreed. It's recorded. Everybody will have the recording no, after I, we finish. I, you said I, that. I did not say about it. You are said it, and I said no. What no, you are saying is wrong. No, I did not even. It's not me who said it. I showed you your Muslim website saying it is a rented woman. That is explanatory. What explanation? But it, in actually in the marriage, expl explaining something with a certain word does not mean it's it's rental. You it, it, you agreed with it. It's recorded. And here we go. Let us put it again. This is your Islamic website. It says, in some terms, this is kind of rental. Read it carefully. Here we go. In some work, and you agree. You said, what's wrong with that? It's recorded. In some work, especially you... applied to women you... who participate you... in muta. Mustajra, rented women. Muta is considered as a kind of rental. Because the purpose is sexual enjoyment. In return, the women, she receives some money. This is what prostitution is about. A woman, she rent, in, you in, her, she rent you her private part for a certain amount of money, for a certain amount of time. You agree upon that, you are ready to go. And this is why you get insulted when I say, so you agree that Muslim women rent themselves. And I, then I said to you, oh, you get upset from me because I say they rent it, but you don't have a problem that they are renting? You said yes. But now you are denying it. Why? Because you feel ashamed. And no talk a little bit a little bit so i can understand what you said is that you said it in a way that is not good you you, you, you mean to? by it okay an offense what and not of good i said woman. To, i said to you it says rented and you agree that... okay let us go again do you agree with the word rented women i it says here i have rented you myself to you me. my friend it says i have rented i have rented to you no you speak English. Show Stop me making Arabic. excuse. We want people. We want people to see. No, it says no. here. It says the, the women. They this condition. Show me Arabic. Don't show me English. A, I, there, I told there you. There is a condition. English it has, says has a limit, I a have given. Con I, I have given to you. Okay, hold on. This is what you go. What you go to Muslim women. What, what, what you? How, this is one of the okay. reasons you go to Jesus and God. My friend. So, my friend. One of the things you okay. have to go. Show me in Arabic. Show me in Arabic. Why? Why are you afraid? Is it, show me in is it Arabic. okay? The... Is it okay to go to a woman and say to her, "I will give you something to sleep with you"? I told you to show me Arabic, and then you talk, you, you change. You, I'm you showing talk about you all the else. time in show Arabic. Me Arabic okay, I'm showing you in Arabic, and I will show you more in Arabic. I'm asking you. I is have it... given you a position. I have given you a as a gift i have i have rented to you i've lent you show me the arabic i have to i have to, to understand well, this, it. this website here explain them what i didn't have arabic at all the whole page here we go you say what i will do it's your muslim website i will show you arabic if there's arabic it's your muslim website islam.org so what does this have to do with me here we go let me show you that this is islam.org i have nothing to do with it there's no arabic so i shall create arabic for you to show you the arabic <laughs> There's no Arabic. There's no Arabic. If there is no Arabic, this yeah. is came from where? Those are your scholars explaining to you. This don't tell me, my friend. You have to show me a source. You are showing me someone else talking about something else about something. I don't okay. know who is okay. talking here. Okay. And and who if, it, if this is a guy who oh, I can oh, trust. Oh, if this okay. Is okay. okay, no problem. Here we go. I will show, I have you, show, I will show you something. You told me uh, uh, a source. Mm -hmm. The source. Okay. Arabic source. Read for me this one. Go ahead. You want Arabic source? Read this one for me. This is still English, right? Here. This is Arabic. Here we go. Have fun. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, it's not showing. Hmm. Did you post it? Oh, you want the link? Oh, okay. Here we go. Here is it's in the, it it's in the screen. It's okay. in the screen. I'm showing you in the screen. It, it almost now. Okay. Hmm. No problem. Show me the link. I posted the link already. Okay. Okay, and 
حدثنا محمد اوكي اي ار ميك ات ان شورت قال سمعت يقول كنا نغزو مع رسول الله ليس لنا نساء فقلنا الا نستخصي فنهانا عن ذلك ثم رخص لنا ان ننكح المراه بالثوب الى اجل ننكح مينز ميريج الى اجل ثم قرا عبد الله يا ايها الذين امنوا لا تحرم يا ايها الذين امنوا لا تحرم الطيبات بحال الله لكم ولا تعدون ان الله لا يحب المعتدين اوكي What? I, I, I didn't get your question, but I mean, how easy it is it to take how easy it is to take a Muslim woman to, to, to bed. You go to her, you say to her, I will give you this phone. I will give you ten dollars. I will give you a dress. You go with me to bed for, for three hours. She agree. Correct. No, what do you mean? Not, no, read it. Okay, translate. Okay, read and translate. Says that okay, read and translate. What does thawb ila ajal mean? At a certain time, there's no specified time. What does thawb mean? Uh, I think. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You give her something, you give her an iPhone, right? You give her $10, you give her a dress. Do you sleep with me if I give you this? Is that true I'm saying or I'm making up things, I'm making things up? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, But, so is okay. that a prostitution okay. or not? To go to a woman, you say to her, mm -hmm. I will give you something if you sleep with me for three hours. Is that prostitution? So what is prostitution then? First of all, this is marriage, and and the first of the all, difference the word marriage between... is not there. Nankah is not marriage. No. Okay. Nikah means marriage. Okay, hold on. Okay, okay. So guys, nikah, all nikah, this is marriage. Nikah mean marriage. Okay. Did your yeah. prophet? Did your prophet? Did your Islam uh, say anywhere that the word nikah mean marriage? It's a common thing. It's known thing. Nikah means marriage. Okay. So it's if, in Arabic. Nikah. If, if you go right now to a Muslim chat room and you say, I want to do Nikah, Muslims, they will not be insulted? No. Really? Well, people, I, can, they, people uh, can try it right now. You're going to marry. Okay. Uh, people, if someone people can go, try it. Okay. If someone go, mm. okay, I've told you, mm. I forgot, do you, are you going to do a Nikah? Means are you going to marry? Okay. Let us see if this is true. Okay. This is, let us see if this is true or not. I will open something for you and you read for me. And I'm taking advantage again that you speak Arabic. Uh, and let us see. Because if I, I cannot ask the same question to someone who doesn't speak Arabic, uh, because he will not be able to read Arabic. Right? Nika, if, 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 this, if he's giving her a government okay. in this case, okay. this is what I understand. Okay. If he's giving her a do shaitan for get, the nikah, do shaitan, do this is not a problem. Do shaitan get uh, do get married? Shaitan, I don't know. Do he do nikah or nikah? I don't know. Hmm. Let me show you. And then you have to tell me, and you have to translate, sure. and you have to translate to everybody, please what it says there otherwise people will be laughing at you and me now we have to be honest here okay this is your mm -hmm. this is the quran and this is tafsir al-qurtubi and this is uh, surah al-kahf 18 verse number 50 and i will post the link for you in the in mm -hmm. the in the chat so you can read it all right and you can tell us what it says someone says marriage equal marriage equal the words yes that's correct and nikah oh, no, no problem marriage. let us see if nikah mean marriage or not i want you to read for me here let us see it says 
This is why I ask you if Shaitan he have wife or not, because shaitan, the, the Quran says, uh, uh, supposed to the same one, uh, Are you going to have? Are you yeah. going to worship? Are you going to follow or worship Shaitan and his and his you, and his childrens? In his children, do Shaitan have childrens? The Shaitan do. You, you, do did Shaitan do muta? Did Shaitan? Huh? I, I, I took it to you. you. You sent me the same link as before. No, I just sent you a new link. Hold on. Okay, let me do that. Hold on. Give me a second. Maybe my mistake. Okay, let us do it again. Here we go. Now it's correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <تصفيق> وإذ قلنا للملائكة اسجدوا لآدم فسجدوا إلا إبليس كان من الجن ففسق عن أمر ربه فتتقذونه وذريته أولياء من دوني وهم لكم عدون بئس للظالمين بدلا اوكي وير وير ذا ستانر ذا ذا انتربريتيشن ذا انتربريتيشن Okay, give me a second, just to show you exactly where maybe you are getting confused. All right. Do you, do you see where it says 10 eggs? Do you see where it says that? Uh, could you show me in your screen first so I can see it? Okay. It says here, if you go on from the page from the top, the page from the top, one line, two line, three line, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, almost 18. It says, it says here, uh, you can read from before. Sa'ayni rajul, faqala halli iblisa zawja. Or let us put it to the screen. A man, he asked me, do, do iblis have a, have a wife? I said, I cannot. this is a wedding I did not witness. And then it says, the Quran says, or mentioned from the Quran, are you going to take him and his seeds as leaders or to worship? Uh, for, so I know that he have, he must have, a, you know, children, unless he, he can't have a children unless he have a wife. So I said, yes. And then Mujahid, he said, إن إبليس أدخل فرجه في فرج نفسه فباض خمس بيضات فهذا أصل ذريته وقيل إن الله تعالى خلق له في فخذه اليمنى ذكرا وفي اليسرى فرجا فهو ينكح هذا بهذا Translate for us no, But this is not Quran What do you mean this Quran? This is Tafsir Al-Qurtubi or the Quran This is not This is This is a full explain about something else. I, uh, this is not yeah, about the verse. Okay, but it show you that that that, that Shaitan he do he do nikah, correct? Shaitan he do nikah. Is Shaitan getting married or he's effing himself? It says that Shaitan, my friend, you said the word See, nikah. All, you said the word nikah. You said the word nikah mean mean marriage. Is Shaitan is Shaitan is Shaitan marrying himself? No, it says Allah He created him in the right thigh, a penis, and He created in the left. Thigh, a vagina. So he do nikah by this to that. So this is not marriage. He is if in himself. The word nikah mean if. And then he laid ten eggs. Correct? Or I'm making giving, giving false translation. Am I giving false translation? Would you? 
I think what you said, translation is correct, but this doesn't have to do with the Quran. Okay, you said but, but you said the word nikah, I mean marriage, but here the, the shaitan is doing nikah to himself. He have a penis in the right leg, he have a vagina in the left leg. So what he do, he enter this into that. By doing that, he is doing nikah. He is not getting married. No, in this context, yes, it means sex. So the word nikah means sex. And it does not in this my context. friend since when since when the word marriage no. it, it, since and, when the word marriage Arabic, my friend my Arabic, friend the word, the word, the word okay. meaning based okay. on its context my since friend. you are an Arabic speaker my friend, you should tell you okay. 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 that okay. different words had different no meaning no. based on give me the give, give me the proof give me marriage, give, give me give me the proof I gave yeah. you, I gave you my proof I gave you my proof Shaitan he is just having sex with himself. If in this part by this not part, proof that nikah means only sex. Oh, so you are saying that nikah. one of them. So you are saying one of the meaning of nikah is sex. Yeah. What What is the problem with that? Okay. So how you can in be sure? Context, okay. How I will go with you. I will go with you. So how you can be sure that that one is not sex meaning? How you can be sure which one First is of, which one is for sex? Which one is for marriage? Hmm. So we have sex with the women by giving her a, a dress. <laughs> you know? Do you, do you, do you know? Did you make? Okay. Can you say I, I, I sex women with, with the garment? Yes. No, I give her exchange. No. Exchange. Which means learn Arabic. Which means we exchange. We exchange. We exchange with the women in, you know, as a payment. As a payment. As a payment, if you we give to, her, we give her something. Anymore. She take off her panty. Okay, I'm, okay, I'm going to say this again. Hmm. If you went to any Muslim and said, "Rukhi salana ang nanka hal marata bithawbin ila agilin thumma," this me hmm. will tell you this is a marriage. Hmm. How that can be a marriage? I just showed you that. How how you know it's marriage? Don't play language. If, if the trick guy, if the guy, viewer. if the guy saying we, if we, if the, if the guy is saying, if the guy is saying, something. Else. Not okay, hold on, hold on. Not okay, hold on, hold on. If the guy is saying that we give the woman a, a, a dress and then she marry me for a period of time, who is going to believe in this? I give the woman a dress, she take off her panty. There is a hadith that a person gave her a ring or something. I don't know what he gave her, but that's also a marriage. No, that so what's not, the problem? That, that's that, that, that about, no, do, that's do not about muta, my friend. This is about the woman. She offered herself to the prophet because your prophet was a perverted man. He made a verse saying, no. any woman she offered herself so I can F her. Okay, hold, okay, 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 hold, okay, hold on, hold on, okay. Is, is Nikah, no, is, is, is Nikah, is okay, 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 hold on, okay. You just changed the name and made it some mean something else. I said, I told you, Nenka Halmar, and says in English, it says that it's a, a temporary marriage. And I told you, this is a marriage. And they said, no, this is not marriage. This is okay. sex. You know what? This is your okay. Friend. Okay. 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 Almost okay. 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 Tell me something I understand. I believe in. Nothing. Everybody. Okay. Okay. Everybody. Everybody will. I believe. It is wrong. Will, this is how I will give you. I will give you a chance. Do you do? You do okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, my friend, do you do nikah to your slave? No, you you went to something else. Now. No, we are talking about nikah. We are going to show the point. In chapter four, verse number twenty-two, it says, "Wala tenkahu ma nakah aba ukum." Do you agree with that? Yeah, that means do not marry the mother or uh, the 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 wives of your father. All right, let us then, see if this is okay, true. Okay, Let us see if this is true. Okay, then he continue about what you cannot do nikah too. Correct. Okay, and then it says, and you can do continue. You can do nikah. You can do nikah. You can do nikah except except your your right hand process. Your right hand process. So if the word nikah mean marrying them. That means you should marry the slaves before you have sex with them. But we can go and read the interpretation. It says it's lawful for you to have sex. And anyone, she is your slave, even if she is married. This is chapter, the same verse we're reading from chapter 4, verse 24. So you can, if the word nikah mean marry, then you are going to marry a married woman. Because it says to you, forbidden for you married women, except 
they are married, except those who they are your right hand possess a slave. How you answer that? First of all, lower the screen so I can read. Okay, so well, I you can, can open the Quran from your side. You don't need my screen, my friend. Open it from your side, chapter 4, verse 24. So it says it's forbidden for you to have nikah with Muslim. women with women who they are married. And you said to me, yeah, you cannot marry your uh, your father wife, correct? You agreed. Okay. So here it says in verse number 24, the same verse of the Muta we are talking about, except women who they are married, but they are your right hand slave. So if the word nikah mean marriage, then you should not say marry married women. Here he is giving them license to have sex with those women who they are married. Can can you link, uh, post a link so I can read? Here we go. We can because your, your screen is very no. small. I cannot read. My friend, you do not need my link. This is Quran. It's come on. You can open the Quran in your page, chapter four, verse twenty-four. Here we go. Go ahead. Okay, four, four, twenty-four. Are you serious? You do not know what verse we are talking about until now. How many times I say? It? And we were talking about the muta for the last two hours, and now you're asking me which verse? So it's forbidden for you to do nikah with women already married, except captives. So if the word nikah means married, that means it's okay for you to marry a woman they are married. والمحصنات من النساء إلا ما ملكت أيمانكم كتب الله عليكم وحل لكم ما وراء ذلك أن تبتغوا وأنك محصنين غير مسافحين. Okay. توهن أولهم. Okay, and also forbidden are married women. Hmm. So you do nikah with married Except women? If the word nikah, if the word nikah mean marriage, are you going to marry married women, my friend? Where is nikah here? We, I just showed you the verse before it go. It says, don't do nikah. To, to what your father he did and he continue what is forbidden for you so starting with the word nukah wa tankahu wa tankahu wa tankahu what religion of nikah so don't do nikah to what your father he did it says okay. it says okay. قال الله تعالى حرمت عليكم أمهاتكم وبناتكم وأخواتكم وعماتكم وخالاتكم وبنات الأخ وبنات الأخت وأمهاتكم التي أرضعنكم وأخواتكم أخواتكم من الرضاعة وأمهات نسائكم وربائكم التي في حجوركم من نسائكم التي أدخلتن بهن فلم تكون أدخلتن بهن فلا جناح عليكم وحلال لكلين من أصلك وأن تجمع بين الأختين إلا ما قد سلف إن الله كان غفور رحيم uh, so where is the link between the nikah here? Okay, let me make it more clear for you. You are a very stubborn person. Read for me verse number 25. Let us see how you can get away with this one. Woman lam yastata minkum, etc. Read the verse. And yankah al muhassanat. Correct? Don't tell me where is the word nikah here. Here we go. It's in front of you. So the one who could not do nikah to muhassanat from the mu'minat. Then whatever of your right hand possess. Could you could you repeat because I couldn't follow what you said? Verse number twenty five. Does it say, and the one who could not have in his bed for sex, do nikah with women who they are married. Huh? It's forbidden for you, married women. Correct? It's forbidden for okay. you, married women. The verse before it says, it's forbidden for you, married women, except those who they are slaves. Those who they are your hand, right hand slaves from war, you can have sex with them, doing nikah with them. You said to me, where is the word nikah here? I went two verses before and I showed you this is about nikah. But however, if we continue in the verse after, it says, it says it clearly that whoever of you have not the means wherewith with a free believing women, then do nikah to who? To slave. This is your Muslim translation, which is false. The one who cannot receive, who cannot have a woman who is a free woman, free woman, Islam preferred to marry a free woman, not a slave woman. So if you cannot have that, do nikah to your right hand slaves. So is the Quran now here saying marry them or sleep with them? 
ومن لم يستطع منكم طولا أن ينكح المحصنات المؤمنات فمن ما ملكت أيمانكم م. means if you could not marry Mary. The free it, says, it says Mary there. Okay. It says Mary. Are you sure? Hmm. Yeah, it says so, Mary. Okay. If... So, okay. So, okay, so he didn't look to who? To the slaves. Okay. Is he marrying the slaves or not? This this means Mary. Okay. Can we go to see the interpretation? Do you mind? The interpretation. <laughs> My friend, is the, the translation is here. Interpretation, interpretation, interpretation. Is the interpretation will take my side or your side? What do you think? I can read it myself. It doesn't. What, what translate? Tra I'm what asking interpretation you, I'm asking I need? You, what interpretation you want me to open for you? I will open it right now, and everybody will see that you are not being honest. Tell me one. Which one? Okay. First, let's read it fully. Didn't read it fully. We didn't read it fully. Tell me what interpretation. We don't waste time. What? If, if the Muslim scholars interpretation agree with me that this is about having sex with Here the slaves, in English you said if any of you cannot afford to marry a fully believing woman it doesn't say if, it doesn't say marry it doesn't say marry it doesn't say marry it says of whoever of you cannot do nikah to women who they are believing women okay so then See, it does not say who cannot do nikah you are you are you are making it as if nikah means sex we hear okay, it's not okay it says, it says okay okay i will go with you so who can can he have sex with the slaves without marrying them in islam yes or no you, you cancel yourself because i'm asking you i'm asking you can okay my friend can you okay let's go back to the verse before as long as you're asking for that okay let's, let's see can you have sex with married women in islam yes or no no that's not the question the question is can you have sex with married women in islam Can you have sex or can marry? Can you marry a woman? They are married in Islam. No, she have to to have to finish her forties and then can be married again. Okay, wonderful. So if the word nikah here is mentioned for women who they are already married, that's mean you cannot marry them, correct? It's this is what it's meant. You cannot marry. Not you cannot yeah, have sex. Okay. Told, but here it says but here married. it says but here it says except your right hand possess. So you can have nikah with the right hand even if they are married. No, and the, the, the nikah after that is mm. explained here that you have to do nikah. Mm. You can you can do nikah with the uh what what is the captive or in your position. Okay, is she, and then, is, she uh, is, is you is you going to be a wife or you are just having sex? This is Nikah, but you say you will be wife. Okay. If do you accept the challenge between me and you that this is about having sex with a slave, nothing to do with marriage? Do, sure. you, do you accept? Okay. If I show you that you are not being honest, are you are you are you willing are you willing to say are you willing to say I've been deceived by the Muslim scholars, they lie to me all my life, or you have to say other thing. I am a stupid and I do not know what I was talking about. This is what I understand. My friend, I understand. No, it's not up to you. It's not up to you because you, you, you did not say to me a second ago, as I understand, you, you were sure. So now I'm asking you, are you sure or you are making things up? No, what, what, I, what I read, this is what I understand. No, it's not, um, this is not a question. Are you sure that this is about you marry a slave, not about having sex with a slave. The word nikah here does not mean sex with a slave. Are you sure it's about marrying the slave, not having sex with a slave? But marrying, marrying also uh, will have a sex, of course. No, this is not a question. They are married. How you can you cannot marry them? They are married women, my friend. They are married. It says the verse. It says it's forbidden for you. Yeah, women I have. This, this, they have to finish there for 40 days my after friend, that my friend 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 the question is very simple are you sure that the word nikah here is about marrying the slaves or not to have sex only no marriage which one of them marriage for sure marriage will sex happen no problem but i'm saying are you sure that the word nikah here for the slaves is marrying the slaves or it's only about having sex with the slaves. Okay, first of all, it says that 
the, the other uh, the marriage here happens in the verse 25 not 24 so well, let me just, no, no, my friend. No, my friend. do you know what do you know what muhassanat mean do you know what muhassanat mean what does it mean married no really Okay. Okay. means okay read the translation okay. means the believer look okay, okay okay you are you are a scholar okay, read the translation this is used to translate it says it's it's also forbidden for you women already married do you see it someone who's a muhsan someone who has his own my will. friend don't stop being stop, he stop do. acting like a kid the translation made by you muslims is in front of you it says also Forbidden between two brothers. Don't call the woman a kid. Because you are I acting like a kid. You, with names. you said to you, me. You said to no. me. You said to me. It doesn't no, mean no. that. Even, even okay. I acted like a kid. Okay, you are, you are, you are acting back. like a kid. We I, I, I started a mutual agreement. Okay, that my friend. My friend I'm calling your friend for the last two hours, and you keep saying things which is stupid. Okay, you said al muhassanat No. Muhsanat yeah, to me Okay, man. okay. Did you say? Only, did you say a second ago? Did you say a second ago? Al Muhsanat does not mean married women. Did you say that or not? Al Muhsanat means a free, a, the, a free. Okay, free only, not married. She's married. Okay. So why in the translation here it says women who are already married? Why the Where Muslims, is it? Why the Muslims are saying that? Where it says already went, I don't see it. Here we go, it's in the front of your screen. It says it's forbidden for you, women already married. Yeah, this is, yeah, okay. married women is forbidden for you. Okay, but a second ago you said this is so, not about married. You are you are confusing you are confusing the hell of all people here. Really, you, we know okay. that it let is us, forbidden. Let us start from zero. Let us start, let us start from zero. So it's forbidden for you. you. It's forbidden for you to do nikah. It's forbidden for you. It's forbidden you to do nikah okay. to married women. Okay, so nikah cannot be okay. marriage because forbidden forbidden for you what nikah nikah forbidden for you for married women except mm. the slaves. So you can do nikah to women. Who they are already married as long as they are slaves. No, does it here it says well means that it is forbidden for you to marry a married woman. Uh-huh. So, so you are saying one who so has a saying in Islam, Islam. So you are saying to me in Islam you can marry a married woman. A, a captive who has no a captive who will, uh, her her marriage will be nulled after that. Where it says can marry no. anyone. Okay, hold on. Can, oh, can oh. we choose an interpretation of your choice? Can you give me an interpretation you like? Because either you are lying no, or I'm lying. Go through them. No problem. Go through them. Go through them. No, problem. no, I'm asking you which interpretation you like me to show you. I, I am reading the verse in Arabic and I read it in English and it says something else. What are you saying? Okay, I'm asking you what interpretation you like me to show you. I, I just told you, okay. show me whatever you like, all right. so in the front, go through them in the all. Front, in the front of everybody, if we show that this is about having sex with the slaves, not about marrying them, are you going to agree that you were ignorant? No problem. Go. Okay, no go problem. Ahead. Chapter 4, verse 24, let us go there. God have mercy. <clears throat> read my friend for us and I will give you the link and this is Tafsir al Jalalain. does it say you might ha have sexual intercourse you might have sexual intercourse not marrying okay I don't use this. Capture the slave don't, girls. Capture the slave girls who you may have sexual intercourse with, even, even if they have spouse among the enemy camp. So it's about sex. This is what nikah mean. No, first of all, you have to hear it in Arabic. That's one thing. 
Okay, I will go to the Arabic. Here we go. Let us go to the Arabic. Say same website you refer to. No before. problem. The same website. No problem. Because the English they are lying. You know, Muslims in English they lie. Muslims in Arabic they tell the truth. All right. Let us see Al Jalalain in Arabic. Where is Al Jalalain in Arabic? Give me a second. Now we will find Al Jalalain now. Al Jalalain, Al Jalalain, here we go. All right. Are you happy now? This is Al Jalalain in Arabic. It says here. Qawlahu illa ma malakat aymanakum. We just agreed that you give me the same website as before. Yes, this is I a different get, website. No, this is the same website. This is the same website. Exactly. Right. Here we go. Yeah. The seer. No, this is the website you just referred it in English. I told you the one that you referred to the before. Yes, this is the word. This is the one in English. Is the same as in Arabic. The same website at tafsir.com. At tafsir.com. And this is the link. I will give it to you. Are you like I, I repeat it again. Before this verse, you quote me another tra another interpretation my from friend, a different website. My friend, not no, website. not different website. This is the website. Here we go. I, you ask, what's your problem? This is a Jalalain in Arabic, and this is a Jalalain in English. We show you both. It's in Arabic. No, I don't. I don't know the authenticity of this website. I have to. This is the official government there, website there of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia it's of, of Jordan. Read it down. It says Ahlul Bayt, Jordan, Amman. <laughs> Give me the uh, my friend. Stop again. being stupid. Open a Jalalain. Go search right now in Google. Don't open my website. Don't open my website. And give me the same. You be transparent and give me the same website as I, I requested. As you, you I, agree. Okay. Which which website oh. you want? The Saudi Arabia, you mean? Yes, I mean Saudi Arabia. Yes. Okay, Saudi Arabia. Okay, hold on, Saudi Arabia. Let's find it in Saudi Arabia. What we can do? He wants Saudi Arabia, my friend. I mean, what we can do? That's it. Okay. Give me a second. Hmm. I hope you will be satisfied now with Saudi Arabia website. Here we go. This is Saudi Arabia website. I will give you a, a Jalalain. Let us find a Jalalain. Let us go here. Mm -hmm. Okay. We open a Jalalain because we want to give the same one. Here we go in front of you. I click at a Jalalain. Uh, they have. They don't have a jari. They have a Qurtubi. Ibn Kathir al baghawi al Sari. Okay. It okay is. Where is it? Well, they don't have a jari. I don't know what I need to do for you. You know, we are showing you a jari. But anyway, I told you okay. go through them all. No problem. Okay. Okay. What uh, through all of them? My friend, hold on. This is the first one. Let me let me show okay. you. Let me show you. Hold on. Hold on. Let me let me let me find it in Saudi Arabia website. Give me a second. <clears throat> All right. Open. I will give you the link. And now don't tell me this is not the link, the, the website you like. This is Saudi Arabia. Open the link. Okay. والمحصنات من النساء إلا ما ملكت أيمانكم يعني بذلك جل ثناؤه. It's forbidden for you, women who they are already married, except. Your right hand process. Okay, and there it says. Mm -hmm. Those who right hand process is the one who have husbands from the captives. The right hand. They are as sabaya, which mean the the slavery, you know, they've been captured by the Muslims, kidnapped by Muslims. So they became lawful for the Muslims. 
to sleep with them without divorcing them from their husbands. Do you see it? Again? Okay. So, are you marrying her or sleeping with her? Translate. What tata'ha mean? Be honest. I haven't had time to keep up because there's a delay. On the, My friend, uh, read, read. The, 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 I gave you the page. I give you the link. It says, "Is a subiyat al-mar'a wa laha zawj fi qawmiha fala ba's an tata'ha." What does that mean? Translate to the people. Okay. Let, let me read because you're going up and down. Could you? Do you see what it says? Okay. Do you see what it says? Number seven one two seven seven one two seven. Go there. Seven one two seven. Read the line before it. Read the line before it. It's like yes. Call. Ma sabito sabito min al nisa is a sabito is a subiyat al mar'a wa la ha zawj fi qawmiha fa la ba's an tata'ha. What does that mean? Translate. Okay. إذا سبيت المرأة ولها زوج في قوم فلا بأس أن تطاه. Okay, what does that mean? Translate. Go ahead. The what here means uh, sexual sexual intercourse. Okay, but you said the word nikah mean uh, mean marriage. But it says yeah, here it, uh, you cannot do nikah. You cannot do nikah. You cannot do nikah to married women, right? But you can do nikah to okay. a woman. Ask any, okay. Okay. Ask any scholar and say, do you? do this without a marriage no yes it says it says it is it's lawful for you this is a scholar my friend what's wrong with you it i'm showing you without those, marriage my friend you without marriage it says for you even they are married they are married how you can marry them they are married no. it says i asked no, before okay, that, my friend my friend uh, see, does it say uh, does it say there uh, does it say here uh, be honest with me does it say here anywhere it before, says it doesn't say anything where here it says marry them Mary those a slave. Does it say that? Be honest. I have to read it full to say that. Okay, read it. You are just you're taking a part. My friend. First of all, it says yeah. Okay, my friend, it says here. Okay, it says before that and the start. Okay. The start, means This is here. It's known for all that this is marriage. Okay. We are already know this is about marriage okay so <laughs> whom you are going to marry this is forbidden okay. for you okay Abdul. okay Listen, Abdul. Let, let us give you a hit in the nose read for me this hadith see, see. <laughs> you you start this and then you go to something else yeah, finish because, this first because do you know the meaning yeah. of the verse but you do, to this, do you know do you know, this as, do you know, as, as, you as you know, know, you know, know okay. something let do you know the Quran? You are you better the than your prophet. Let, let us go finish. Do you know? finish. Read the text. Read it. You just read it. From Why did not I show you? I sh read the text. Okay, I showed you. I he showed did not show you. me anything. Okay, you take things, something out of the text, and they told people, no, this is what this means, and you don't let me to finish the reading, and you want to no, you tell say, people this is something okay, else. Abdul, Abdul, let us, let's, oh, this make, is, let us make it simple. We will go back. We will go back to the page. We will go back to the page. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. We will go back to the page. We will go back to the page. We will go back to the page. Mr. Bolian. Do you know the Quran meaning better than the Prophet? Do you know the Quran meaning better than your Prophet? I am, we are in the subject of reading this text. Okay, let's not we finish are, it. Why the are you going? Text because the same text is exists here. You're ignorant. You're ignorant. I'm showing you the same text, but here is the hadith, which is there. You already go you are, and jump are, to something. I am not. You call I am not. not. I am not. not. If you know, I'm just if, reading. If you know how Why to don't read, let me read. If you know how to read. Want me to read. Oh, I just read in Arabic. Okay. What is the problem with you? I have. Why you like to your pictures? Uh, your views, why you like to you, you your same. views? Why you this? I'm showing you the same. No, 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 okay, 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 okay. Does it say anywhere, Mary? Okay, in, in the whole page, does it say in the whole page? And anywhere, stop people. does it say anywhere? This is not the, respect. Does it? I don't respect Muslims, I don't respect them. They are liars, as you see. You're lying, it's in front of you. The page in Arabic, 
I, I, I just showed you. Right, can, my you can you show me where it says? You said to you me. Did not you said to me. You said, my said, words. Listen, How come I lied? You me, you know, you show me, me something. Me, say, show me, this is something. And then I, I I'm showing you the scars. You idiot. Now show me where in the scars he no, said no, no. you can. You are going to marry the slave. Show me. You are playing, you are playing with words, my friend. You are playing with words, and then you're using English, you, and people as I'm not using English. English. I'm not using English now. Uh, stop, stop, the Arabic stop being stupid. No. I showed you the same page no, in Arabic no, no, no. and say it to you in English. Nobody's no. stupid here. Okay, now show Nobody's me. Nobody's stupid here. Okay. Nobody's stupid here mm -hmm. except the people who will follow someone who lies to them. Okay. And that that people are the fault of you, Abdul, my friend. Abdul. So stop Abdul, being stupid. Abdul, Abdul, no, no, Mr. Polian, Mr. Polian, Mr. Polian, stop, stop, stop being stupid mm -hmm. and let the other party finish. Okay. You told me, no, I read, no, no. and I, I'm I, going I, I to read one, it. One sentence, one sentence, one sentence, one sentence. Can I say it? Can I say it? Uh, Just one sentence. Okay. okay. This is the page in our front of you in Arabic. I want you to show me what you are saying, if it's true. If you cannot find it in the whole page, you have to admit that you are a liar, son of a liar. Go ahead. I'm not going to talk. Go ahead. First of all, you just you just bad mouth in my father, and which is a very bad thing. If you are Christian, you should well, not do this to people. No, you're, That's the first you're thing. a prophet. You're a prophet, he said. The one who is a proud about his father. You're a prophet, he said. You're a prophet, he said. Listen, here. listen, listen. You're a prophet, said. The one who is a proud about his father. Tell him to go and bite the penis of his father. Is that correct? We are talking about something here. What if kind you, of a prophet? If you are not... You just said to me, if I am a Christian, I should not say that to your father. Your prophet said, if you are proud about your father, tell him go and bite the penis of his father. What kind of a prophet he says that? So don't talk about this. I'm asking you if you are truthful and you are a son of a truthful man. Because the Quran says that the son of a truthful man will be truthful. So if you are a liar, that's mean your father is a liar. Are you against the Quran? So now I'm asking you the verse, the, the chapter, in the, the page in the front of you, the page, the, you, my friend. the page, the page, the one right? was like, the page, is, okay, no, you prove it, prove it. Prove it. I'm going to read, prove it. But me to read okay read it. okay but, but you you have you, i will give you all the time to show me what it says go ahead i told you this is marriage it says show, show, me, show, me, show, me, show me what it says this is the this is the uh tafsir what they're referring to okay mm -hmm. this is the first mm -hmm. قال تعالى قوله تعالى والمحصنات من الأيمان يعني ذلك قال لنا حرمت عليكم المحصنات من النساء. Here's you you reply to me what does it mean? حرمت عليكم what does it mean for for your viewers? Give me give me my friend my friend the the page in the front of you stop being stop being stupid. Show me what it says you don't have sex with the slave you married. I'm asking you here. I just ask you حرمت عليهم المحصنات من النساء. Here is he talking about marriage or sex? I'm asking you. How you can marry a woman? He is talking about marriage or sex. Sex. You, he's married. Talking about marriage. No, because you cannot marry married women already. It's, no. it's obvious. Can you no. marry a married woman? Can you marry the married? Can you marry yeah. a married woman? That is not a question. You should not even talk about it. If if do you need to tell me? A married do you need to tell me don't marry a married woman. Do you do you need to tell me? A married woman. Do you do you need married, to tell me, my friend? I, 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 okay. a, a married woman oh, in a state oh, of marriage. Oh, oh. I, I, I'll reply to you again. Mm -hmm. In a state of marriage, he said, is still married. Mm -hmm. It's forbidden. Okay. So how are you? We going, agreed on this. So are you going to marry the slave or not? Okay. If this is marriage, it says except, except what? Except your slaves. Okay. So, are you going yeah. to marry? You does, it, does, it, does, it, does it say? Does it say you marry? Does it say you marry? Just something else. No, that's not something else. It, it says here. except. It's the same sentence. The same sentence. It's forbidden for you. As live after his marriage. No, yes. What? Her marriage. No. You you marry them those slaves. Marriage not not marriage on top of marriage. This is a question I'm asking you. Does it say anywhere in this page in the front of you that those women, those women you. are lawful for marriage? Stop being. Stop, to yourself. Stop you said. Shouting, and stop, it, stop shouting. Stop shouting like a kid again. I'm asking you. Does it say anywhere in this page in the front of you that no. those are women you marry like, before you have sex with them? Does it say that? Keep being the same thing. You, you you reply to yourself and say this is married. Can you can you marry a married you, woman? Are you, you idiot? You see you see why I call people idiot? You are an idiot. I'm asking you. 
is anywhere in the whole page in front of you. Stop, stop being stupid. You ask me for the reference. I show the reference. Why you don't want to read it and show me the reference? And, sure. and the reference in the front, the reference. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. I'm asking you, can you show me in the whole page in the front of you where it says that those slaves are women you marry, not having I, I, sex with them without marriage? Can you show me? I already give you a chance to talk and I'm, I'm giving the distance. So don't tell people to shut up. <laughs> That's the first thing. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, my friend. I don't respect players. No, you said, no, you said the first second you call me you said you deceived people you you did not show the truth so you call me liar from the first yes. second you call me so don't tell me if i can call you liar yes. so now i'm getting you busted show me i have the reference no. okay hold on maybe maybe okay hold on, hold on. Call your name. abdul abdul Maybe you okay, but maybe you don't like Al Qurtani. Is, is it okay? What's the problem with the truth? Al Bagawi, Al Bagawi, Al Bagawi is fine with you. Show me. Is it okay, Ajalalay? Show me. What, what do you want? Is it a big affair? Is it big affair? Is fine for you? Show me. So either you, either you give me the proof, either you give me the proof. Why you are okay, <laughs> my friend? You 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 started it, and you you you. Tell me to read. I'm reading to okay. you, and you don't okay, want to read, go okay, read for me. one by one. It says, are... Translate. Solve this problem now. You are from Saudi Arabia. Are you from Saudi Arabia? You said the word al Okay. Okay. Solve it. What is the problem? Okay. It says you. It says. What is Waj? The Waj yeah. is husbands. Okay. I don't so you cannot do nikah for women unless she leave the Azwaj. Who are they? Those who they are. See. Except here it says, and Nisa Ulati Horimat Bisabab. So those, they are forbidden for you for a reason. Why? Because they are still with the husband. So you cannot do nikah for them. You cannot no. have sex with them. Then it says, but you can't. Agree. But then it says, okay, let's agree. And you are Arabic, right? Okay. You are an Arab, right? You, are, you look like a Palestinian or of Syrian, right? Uh, so uh, let's let's uh, let's talk. Abdul, Abdul, you know you have no idea what are you talking about. Gala ya farhan, la basu kama dalta min wajha. Gallo ilm khanaga. You will not mat mat ahchin ta Arabi. Isma, ikra. And Urdu. Isma, isma, isma. Baatha Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Yom Hunay, Yom Hunay. Listen, إلى أوطاس إلى أوطاس أصابوا سبايا لهن أزواج من المشركين فرك فكره غشيانهن فكره وات غشيانهن. Do you know what غشيانهن mean? You talk. You are talking about the the tafsir, and we are talking about the same tafsir, and then you go a jump into something else. Let's talk and finish the same tafsir I'm you not, started I'm, with. You know, what is the problem? Because I ask you in the same tafsir you are reading, can you prove me wrong? You could not. I already proved you wrong. Where? Okay, let's go back. Show me I where, already, where it says you marry the slaves. Okay, let's okay. Not, let's, let us go back. Here we go. Said, let us go back said, where it says said, in the whole page where it says in the whole page you marry the slave before you have sex with her go ahead i'm listening show me see but the one thing you said this is about marriage by your own tongue no i did not say that is this correct or not no i said the word, you did you the word nika, no i said I asked, the whole okay, argument the whole argument okay, is about okay, the word nika okay, one, 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 one by one, one, by one. You did not say this Muslim cannot. You cannot marry a married woman. Yeah, you I said did, that or not? Yeah, I'm. I'm speaking to you okay. because you are the one who said you are the one. Abdul, Abdul, I'm responding no, no, this, to you. I'm there. responding to you, slow Muslim is, man. Muslim men, okay, Muslim you're, men are slow like their prophet. You said to me, this is about marriage. I said to you, 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 you cannot marry. You, you cannot, yourself, you cannot big, marry a married mm. woman. Now I'm asking you, can you show me in the whole page? Oh, be, don't force me to hang up on you. I'm giving you a chance. Here we go. This is the interpretation you like. Oh, Does it say anywhere in the interpretation that you are going to have sex with this woman by marrying her, which is a slave? Not before. Can you show me? 
which one which which uh you change you, did you change al qurtubi this is al qurtubi this is al qurtubi i'm asking you can you show me in the whole page in the whole page you choose it from the whole page no you choose the top if you choose sorry, the top okay at tabari here go sorry at tabari okay. here we go okay so, i, I read okay. it from so beginning. i'm asking you okay i'm asking you now, can you show me in a okay hold on in front of everybody okay in the front of everybody can uh -huh. you please for the, for the sake of the shin of allah can you show me where it says in the whole page that those slaves you have to marry them before you have sex with them can you do that go ahead it says this is the whole thing about marriage so, so this is all obligated on the same thing this is what so, i'm saying uh, so talking if, about... if, if nowhere it says you have to marry her that's when you are lying this, remember this is the interpretation so if the whole thing about marriage then it should say there before you sleep with those women who they are your right hand possess you have to marry them does it say anywhere that we took part by part is that okay with you Bart by Bart, no problem this is the part this is the bar this is the bar brother this is the broad i'm asking you if the world nikah if the world nikah okay the world nikah does it go for both yes it says except women who they are already married from who those are the right hand slaves okay so the word nikah if it is about marriage then in the interpretation here it says you should marry them in order to have sex with them show me go ahead you you, you want me to show you and i told you that okay. okay. قوله تعالى والمحصنات من النساء إلا ما ملكت أيمانكم مم. يعني بذلك مثلا حرمت عليكم المحصنات من النساء مم. إلا ما ملكت أيمانكم. Right to possess. Okay, show me in the page. Show me, show me in the page where it says you marry the slave girl, my friend. Don't waste my time. Can you show me where it says? I am reading it to you. I'm reading to you. واختلف أهل التأويل في المحصنات عناها الله في هذا الآية فقال بعضهم هن ذوات الأزواج غير المصيبات من هن وملك اليمين السبايا اللواتي فرق بينهن وبين أزواجهن السبا means this the right with this is the one the captives the uh, uh, their their marriage been nulled after they were been captives there is there is rule for that فحللنا لمنصرنا Okay. Okay. Translate, translate. Stop here. Translate what you said. We just, just said to us. Can you translate? It was already allowed to be allowed. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the meaning. It's, it's not letter for letter in the meaning of Halilna Liman. Halilna means it's allowed for whom. Sunna lahu bimulk al yameen. To whom it was a right possession. Without the talaq, uh, uh, means the. Um, Without divorce. Uh, the, and now marriage, the, the divorce comes from her uh, her her uh, previous husband, the one that was. Be um, her previous husband. Let's who give is, them that. Who is the one who dissolved and, the marriage? Who is the one that dissolved the marriage? How the marriage is dissolved? The, once it's captive already her marriage is dissolved and so if, it, it so, needs to be so if, a, if a, so if a man he captured a muslim woman she is not if a man he captured your wife with my respect no, your no, wife no, no. she is not your wife no more no oh. no a, a, a muslim woman cannot be captive it's it's already oh. ah only we can captive non-muslim like hindus christians okay go ahead mm -hmm. okay no, th this is something else. Oh, this something is else. Oh, okay. say, first of all, hmm. muhsanat is something who is have the right. My friend, my someone friend, who my have. My friend, I have, I have, no time, I have no time for a stupid talk. Read for me what in the screen it says. And Ibn Abbas, قال كل ذات زوج إتيانها زنا إلا ما سبيت. Translate. قال كل ذات زوج إتيانها زنا إلا ما سبيت. حدثنا أبوك قاتنا على قمع لم يحصين ترى بس حدثنا translate 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 what are you you feel you got busted in two seconds
No, I have to read. So you have to know the meaning. Okay, read it. Uh, yeah, what that, you don't speak Arabic now? كل ذات زوج اتيانها زنا. Okay. So, if, if women, so, what the, so what they are talking about, every woman she is married, doing boom boom to her is adultery, correct? Uh, whoever, uh, yes. Okay, except? Etianuha zina. Except? Etianuha zina. Except? Etianuha. Except? Except only Etianuha Soviet. Thank you very much. So this is not about marriage, it's about nikah, it's about sex. So he's saying to you, no, it, explaining it, it, the verse, listen, you just got yourself busted. It's it is no for, that one, it is it, it if you, you are, so yeah. he's explaining the word nikah for you so if you do nikah to a woman she is married this is a zina this is adultery except a woman it's already, she is a slave no, thank you <laughs> this is no this is first of all this talk about hmm. sex we agree yeah. on this okay this is about it's sex so, okay. so, okay. so, so the whole no, page there's no, nothing no, about no, marriage you idiot you no, idiot no, listen 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 no, no, okay how many times no, 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 how many times I should repeat myself to you from the same page I'm showing you? They are saying to you this is about about sex, and you agree. Can you show me where it says it's about mm. marriage? Can you show me where in the whole page it says this is about marrying the slaves? Can you show me? Here's marriage. His does not say specify a certain women of a certain person, a certain woman. It says marriage in all. Which means wait, wait, that wait, 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 wait. Show me, show me the, the page, the page. You are the, the one who asked me. You are the one who asked me to stay no, in the page. Listen, you are, to talking about you are the one who asked me to stay in the page, and we stayed in the page for a reason because you want to show me the proof. Can you show me the proof? Mr. Bolly and Mr. Bacon, see first of all. Okay. I told you this is let, let marriage. Me do, let me do Billy. Let me do Billy. You already put it. You say okay. bull and you say. Uh, let, let, let me do bully. Let, let me do bully. The, 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 your wife, she is wearing to wear uh, 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 like a necklace made from uh, uh, rope. Is that bullying? <laughs> this is your prophet talking. <laughs> the prophet of bully. Answer. The four of prophet. We are talking about. In front of everybody, in front of everybody, can you show me a fatwa? Everyone. Can you show me a fatwa in the front of everybody? Either you are lying or online. Let us finish because we cannot keep going for forever. Can you show me a Muslim fatwa saying a Muslim man cannot have sex with his right hand possess unless he marry her? I have to look it up. That one. Look it up. Go ahead. I I will, I will need time. I will need to talk to someone. Take your time. Go ahead. You can call me. I'll give you. I'll give you the. You know. I will. Uh, don't talk. There we go. I will. I will consider you not there. But don't hang up. If you cannot find no, one fatwa, listen, 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 listen. If you cannot find one Islamic scholar saying what you are saying, that's mean you are a liar. Do we agree? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you agree? No, agree, agree. No, that means. I agree. Huh? It means I am ignorant on a subject. Does not mean I'm. Ah, liar. so you are debating me when you are ignorant. Hmm. You, you, you are, you are, first of all, you are choosing a Muslim, not a scholar, to debate you. And then you say, no, you are a normal person. No, no. Uh, you, why you are I don't know if you are a scholar or not. Did, I, did, did you tell me I'm not a scholar? Did you, did, you, did you inform me when you call me that you are an idiot who do not know? Did you inform me? No, you did not. So now you are saying to me you are an first idiot. First of all, no. Abdul, the, 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 uh, Abdul, Abdul. See. Abdul, potato. Abdul, can listen. you be ignorant? Listen, listen. This is okay, but yeah, okay. So, but, but when you are ignorant, can you be ignorant? Okay, so you, now, you, so, CP, so, can now, you so now you reach the point can of admitting you that you are not. No, you are not. You are not ignorant. You are a liar. You know you are lying. And here we go. This is a fatwa. This is a fatwa in the front. You are of just you. going. Around. This is a fatwa in the front and, and of you. Islamweb.net and the fatwa number eight five zero six one. Which one of you we should believe? You or the Muslim scholars? Can you show me a fatwa against this fatwa, or you are a liar? I have to look at her. What do you look, look, look at her? Look at her. Look at her. I said, I looked, look it up, not look her. Oh, look, look it up. Oh. Okay, this is the fatwa. It says you can have sex with your slaves without marriage. Yeah, that's that's, that's uh, a question, Aki. What a question! That's a, a someone. Yeah, no, this, this is the question. This is the answer. Asked. 
This is the question and this is the answer. Okay. Can we have slave if you write her process? This is the same exact sentence. Can we have sex with them? What is the mean? What is the relationship permitted with them? Permitted with them. What is it permitted with them is to have sex with them. And those who guard their chastity, i.e. private part, from illegal sexual, uh, sexual acts, except from their wives or their captive slaves. <laughs> now admit that you are, we are debating me with your stupidity and your ignorance for two hours saying nothing except exposing your prophet by lying as much as you can, trying to defend him. No, I'm not lying. And then so why they are, you ask me. So why they are taking my I, side? Why they are taking my side, the scholars? Could you refer me the reference? I can read it on my, my screen. No problem. Here we go. I will post the link for everybody. Go ahead. Okay. And this is the fatwa. This is official website. So all this time you are screaming at me, calling me liar, insulting me, and in the fact you are the one is lying, and your scholars agree, no, I still... and you try to, or, to or, I... try to divert the mean of the of, of the Arabic, which is so clear. And I challenge you, show me where it says what you are saying. You could not. So we have to solve this. Okay, this is the yeah. fatwa. This is your Islamic website. Show me uh, to listen to. Hmm. I showed you, but you did not want to listen. To do, jump, 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 jump. No, you did not show, show, show me, show me. Here we go. You admitted now you are ignorant. Yeah, yeah. After two hours of of, uh, of saying nothing, you ad admitted now that the problem that you are ignorant, not you are a liar. The fact you are a liar because every single Muslim who live in the Middle East and you speak Arabic knew that you can have sex with the slave. You are a liar. First of all, you just called a person a liar. Yes, oh, you are. Even you are. I told you if yes. someone that was a subject does not mean he's a liar no you you are a liar because i cannot believe there is a one person in the middle east who do not know that you can have sex with your slaves let me ask you did muhammad have sex okay. with mary the copt see 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 Let, let's let's begin something in the middle asking, east something okay did your prophet have sex with mary the copt without you, you said, without marrying her did your prophet have sex with mary the copt without marrying her I am a liar, and this is something com. You are implying that this is something common, and everyone knows it in the Middle East. And I'll tell you, in today's time, a right position means a girl working in your home. Hmm. Today, on this today meanings, people will know this. Uh, you, you know the term shagala. Someone is uh, what they call uh, my friend. Don't, house be, don't, don't be stupid. Malakat Aymanakom is not shagala. It is a woman capture in war. You are being stupid again. Don't change the topic. This is not the topic. So, did your prophet have None. sex? Did your prophet? Hey, look, look it up. Look it up. Okay. Look it up. Yeah. Okay. Look. Okay. So, what, what did you did you find the answer? No. Look it up. What is the uh, right position means? I did. It's in front of you. It's a slave. It's in front of you. What's wrong with you? It says a slave captive of war. This is your Muslim translation. Slaves of your right hand process, they are slaves. Slaves from what? From war. Read it. I have here in 2020. Okay. Someone is saying, This is the meaning on this. Is, this, is just another, this is just another perverted Muslim sheikh saying to you that a woman, she is working in your house, you can have sex with her then, huh? No, one thing you said is this is not something, one thing you said. This is bring me something else. I'm just looking it up. Okay, still, I'm still you, searching. But, but still, what you gave me now is more ugly and more stupid. Still, now, you, now you extended your perverted religion that you can have sex with the with the with the servant who is not a slave. She is shagala. She is the maid, no. the, the the housemaid. So you just said to me, no. Malikatul Yamin is. Only Okay, give me perverted post, here. Post, post the link, post the link for us so we can read about it on screen so people can laugh with us. Can you do that? No, 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 no. Post, give, give, me, give me the link. Give me the link. I, I, I put it in the screen so we can laugh together. Don't you know? Don't deny what you are reading. 
We are going to put it in the okay. screen. Okay, give it to me. In, in, uh, give it, give it to me in Pal Talk. Yeah, yeah. Give it to me in Pal Talk. In Pal Talk. In Pal Talk. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. you will not be able to post it. I post it. In Pal Talk. You cannot. I post it. I cannot post it. I post it. It doesn't. It doesn't show for us. It shows only for you, my friend. Okay, hold on. Okay, you post it. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Perfect. Uh, All right. Let me open it. وقد قال في القرآن الكريم بزواج من الإيماء سبايا الحرب زواج شرعيا مثل في أي فتاة أخرى. Okay. غير متزوج. Here it says translation the the Quran is asking people to marry إيماء سبايا الحرب means the right position to marry official marriage. Uh, this is this is not a scholar. This idiot, guys, look who he got me. He got me a new guy. He go in TV. This is not a scholar. This is a donkey. This is a scholar now. He's not even a sheikh. <laughs> who is this guy? <laughs> this is a scholar. <laughs> you don't even know his name. Exactly. This is Ali. Yeah. Ma- this is Ali Mansour. This is a joker. Everybody laugh at him. Who is this scholar? This is a scholar. This is not a scholar. When we say scholar, you give me al Qurtubi, al Tabari, al Jalalain. So this is a scholar. This is a joker. This is a guy. That, you know they, they they use him in TV for for uh, to collect money. To pay. this is a scholar. Since when? What a joker you are! You are going. What a joker! What a joker you are! What a joker you are! What is a joker you are? Okay, listen. When I say to you, when I say to you, I don't, don't give me, don't give me, this is not a scholar, he's a scholar to who? This is a scholar, okay, can we find him in the web? You are the one who said to me, show me the website of Saudi Arabia, correct? Okay, can you show me the name of this scholar in Saudi Arabia, website? If he's a scholar, why is not there? You see, all scholars is there. You see, no, show me, okay, show me where we can find his name, go ahead. Are all scholars in there? Okay, where he is there? Is Question. he is he there? Is this guy there? You ask, I just read something, and you asked me, link me, uh, give me the link. I, I told you, I did not finish. Sorry, not a TV show guy. You this said is the, this, is a t- this is a TV. This is a TV show guy. This is not a scholar. This is a potato. He don't even have a beard. So I'm asking you, can you show me a scholar? I showed you Al Qurtubi. I showed you Al Tabari. I showed you Jalalain. I showed you Ibn Abbas. I showed you your prophet. I showed you the Quran. So then you show me a guy who. Going... Okay, this is a show. Support you. This is a showtime guy. This is not a scholar. I'm asking you. Can you show me this is? I read them all. Listen, them Abdul. All. Listen, Abdul. Listen, Abdul. Listen, Abdul. You. Are you to the one who said to me you don't accept any site? Are you to the one who don't accept any site except this site? Which means the scholar is there. It's you who gave me See, headache. The, the... Uh, you gave me a headache. I opened for you the official government website of Jordan. You said, no, 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 I want this website. Okay, those are the scholars in the official government you like, and you said you accept. How come this guy who go in TV is a scholar now? So who, what, who made him a scholar? He don't even have a, DV, a, a degree in Islam. Who is this guy? This guy he became a, degree, a scholar. Doctor. Doctor He's a professor. He's doctor on what? Did you search his name? This guy is a scam. He's a noble person. He's a noble What's person. The okay, then? you know what? Tomorrow I want you to call me, and I will show you some of the uh, some of the article he wrote, and I challenge you not to laugh with me. Can you promise me that you will call me? And we will talk At only about time. him. We will talk about only about him. What do you think? No, no. I'm, see, I'm not. I'm not. I'm go, I'm not going to talk about people from the back. Okay, no problem. Ah, you don't but, people about their back. Aha, uh-huh, but you are talking about him in his back now. <laughs> My friend, you are not talking about talking. people. You are you are a coward. You don't want me to expose his lies because everybody will laugh at him. And you, you, you as a Muslim, you will deny what he said. So, do you accept him or not? Okay. If if, if you are saying some of what he said, something he said is a lie. No problem. You prove that. It's a, it's 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 something you so can why do. So you are bringing me a liar? I, I'm not, I'm not, so why you are bringing me a liar? I give you a like because I wrote the court to be and say something else. What you are saying? When I read it myself, you said. No, you are taking a part and then you, no, you I make it something I, I else. I challenge you. I challenge you to show me and you could not. And you are lying again. And now I showed you the fatwa. Does the fatwa say, does the, does, the, does the fatwa say, those are the scars. Does the fatwa say that right hand process is not. My friend, my friend, you stupid idiot. 
Malikatul Yameen in the Quran. I can open tons of I verses for you. You, 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 you said to me, you said to me, you said to me, you said to me, the word, you said to me, you said to me, the word shagala. Okay, can we go to dictionary? Can we go to dictionary? You said this guy is a doctor, right? I, can we use dictionary? I'm asking. See, you are you just using whatever gets you to to say something else. No, you you say, ask me what no, you no you no, no you ask me what you think. Give me the link, and I give you the link. I thought I told you before that I did not finish. I'm just reading lied, something. You lied to I me. You said you said a scholar. Not, you said to me you are reading from a scholar explanation. This guy is not a scholar. No, He's a show TV guy. He is alive between us. Go. Now. I'm asking you. Go back to the oh. recording and see if I said uh, score yes, or not. Yes, I because said. before I give you the link. Okay, I said. To before you, I give you the link. Any, okay, before, before you give me the link. Ask, did you give me the name? Did you give me the name? Did you, you the, ask, did you give me the name? Did you tell me the, the name of etc. He said this. No, I did not tell you, of course. Okay. Because I was reading so something. I you, I okay, give me the scholar who said that. Uh, give me, I want to show it on the screen. The second I open it, I start laughing because this is not a scholar. This is a show TV guy. I'm asking you, do you have a scholar? Okay, that, that's your opinion. I'm asking okay, you, give on. me this so in Arabic. Can you show me Anwar. what this guy said in any of the following names? Al Qurtubi, Al Tabari, Al Jalalain, Ibn Kathir, Al Tabarani. I mean, whatever you want. Can you show me any of those saying the same? I'm saying. I, I told you I have to search it, but you, Stop you, saying you, I you have to search, search it. it. Stop saying I have to search of it. Okay. I have to Okay, so why you didn't search it? Okay, go ahead. Say, copy, copy, ask, is a shagala is the maid in the house is the right hand process? Let us see how many of them they agree. I mean, are you stupid or what? <laughs> I'm, sh I'm showing you a Jalalain. I'm showing you Al-Qurtubi. I'm showing you the big names. Not a guy in TV, he go to make money from the fool like you. I'm asking you for the last time. Can you, fo can you show okay. me a scholar? Don't I am asking you before hmm. I ask you before this. You said I'm showing you a fatwa by yourself. You made you you bring out this fatwa. Hmm. And I ask you okay. kind can, can bring this guy this okay let me, ask, let me ask let me ask let me ask can this guy give fatwa? Is he, is he is he authorized to give fatwa? This guy. I don't know. Okay, can you show me one of his fatwas? Because if you don't have authority to have fatwa, it means he's not shaking. Listen, 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 see, listen, listen. I just, in, in two seconds, in two seconds, in two, in two seconds, everybody will laugh at you. I, if this guy, he have no fatwa, you cannot find me one fatwa. Did I, it's mean he is a joker. He is not accredited by Muslims. Can you show me one fatwa from him? Uh, so you are moving from this fatwa they showed me and I to ask you bring me this okay no problem you don't accept this guy okay no, I, I no, okay no, no, no problem I, it's not don't you don't accept it it's you Muslim don't accept him and the proof no, you okay the proof okay, he has no fatwa okay, no. okay so now I'm asking show me you. This, this listen Abdul listen, is me, okay, is, okay. Those, is, the, those, is this fatwa in the front of us let's make it simple Abdul Abdul this is the fatwa you, you bring ba, 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 balbula, right, balbula, you bring the listen the fatwa in the front of us Mr. says slave girls, you can have sex with Believe. them. Are they lying? Okay, Mr. Are they lying Mr. or not? Believe. Are they okay. lying or not? Are they lying or not? What? Wait. Bring me this in Arabic so I can talk. I told you this so and requested you, so from the, the beginning. So now, so now you don't speak English no more? No, I have to examine it in Arabic, something that I, I am familiar with. Ah, if something is... but you speak English very well. What, what, what is the problem? What is the problem exactly? I speak English. All this time I you are speaking. everything. English. My friend, we want people because we are we are arguing for long. I want you to get me busted. It's in the front of you. Are they okay, lying? I... Are they lying? Who is who are they lying? The, those are scars in English here. This term, do you want me to read this? This, this term, the text. I'm asking you, this are, term they includes... lying? are they lying? Are, are they refer me to the something that a lying on? Give me the, the thing lying about that you can have sex with the slaves who they are, your slaves, your right hand process without marrying them. This is your right, it's forbidden for you to have illegal sexual intercourse, it's lawful for you to have Where sex with your wives. 
my friend chapter 53 this is a Quran chapter 23 verse number 5 and 6 are the line in the Quran when they say it is not legal for you to have you have to cover you have you to, you, to protect your private part from illegal sexual intercourse except from their wives or their captives so obviously the, the captives are not wives line by line line by line this is line by line this the quran in front of you it says it clearly that you have to keep your private part in a chastity from illegal sexual act except what except the wives this is legal and your right hand possess the captive slaves do you see it yeah but it doesn't say without marriage my friend it says there it's lawful for you your wives and if they are already wives then <laughs> get lost man get lost get, get lost you are just a kid you can call me some some other time i mean what a kid it says in the front of you and it says here this term include the slave girls and a slave in general those who they are under control of a free muslim as a rule do you see it i mean and people they say to me you have to have more patient i mean how patient how much patient with this uh, egyptian boy how much patient we can have why are you calling again i don't hear you you, you do hear me Okay, why you are you calling again? I called you because just hang up. Okay, do you do, you, went agree, out. do you agree that you are lying? Me. Do you agree that you are lying to me all this time? Lying, lying on what? In this, in front of us, it says in the Quran that it is I, for, it. You can you you have to keep it chastity, and it's except with your wives or or. Do you see the word or? I or, asked you. Or your captain. Show me this in Arabic. Okay, here we go. Okay, so guys, show can me, you show me in Arabic? Here we go in Arabic. I'm ready for you. Are you happy now? This is the same website in Arabic. Malak al Yamin, ma'nahu wa ahkamahu. What you would do now? I, 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 can, I cannot see what you think. Give me the link. Hmm? Give me the link. Give, give me a link. Hmm. Right. So now we have it in Arabic. Okay. Let us see what you will do with the Arabic. The same website. Go ahead, read. Why don't you don't post in full? Hmm. Etc. I post the whole link for you. I post it in the chat too. Here we go. Because people don't speak Arabic anyway. Here we go. This is the Arabic for the one who speak Arabic in the chat. I want you to read and open up. Read. Read and laugh at yourself. I want you to read and laugh at yourself. المؤمنون مع الثلاثين ملك اليمين هم الأرقاء المملوكون لمن ملكهم عبيدا ذكورا أو إناثا والمقصود بقوله أو ما ملكت أيمانهم هم النساء من الرقيق وهن الإيماء إذ يحق لمالكهن أن يطأهن من غير عقد زواج ولا شهود ولا مهر وهن لسنا أزواج فإذا جمعنا سميع Translate. Okay, this one says uh, he can he can have sex with them without a marriage. Thank you very without much. Without witnesses. marriage, without, without witnesses, without dowry. Correct. Uh, yes. So you are yeah, arguing with me all this time, lying, saying it doesn't mean that. 
And now this is the same website you wanted in Arabic. It says, and no. al-ima malikatul yameen is women you can have sex with them without marrying them without witnesses without the worry and they have no nothing no no right so this is what it says correct could you say again again you just said it yourself it says you can have sex with them with uh, you can you can do it without marrying them without even witnesses without the worry and this is, uh, you know, legal for Muslim to do, correct? Can you speak slowly? It, 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 what do you mean, speak slowly? You just read in Arabic yourself. What's wrong with you? No, because you reference something. You are reference something I don't see. What do you mean? See, it is you. What you heard, you did translate it already for me. What's wrong with you? You just did read it. وهن الإماء إذ يحق لمالكهن أن يطأهن من غير عقد عقد زواج ولا شهود ولا مهر. They are the slaves who they are owned and their owner he can do boom boom to them without marriage, without witnesses, without dowry. You got yourself busted. So you call me again to get a bad. See, one one thing you said I I am a liar. So you are a liar. I told you if. Okay, I want you to swear See, by Allah that you I do not know that before. Swear by Allah that you do not know this before. First of all, I swear by Allah, this is some that how I read it is how I understand it and how we what, what, how, no, make it I make it simple. Make it simple. This is something make else. it clear. No, I just told right you. now you did not say I made it clear. You did not, you did not, is... No, you did not say to me you swear by Allah what? Say I swear by Allah that I never heard before that a slave woman she can sleep with her master in Islam without marriage. Say that I swear by I, Allah. I, yeah, okay. I, I don't need to swear. I just this is recorded. No, I, told you, I, ago, I never heard a this. second ago you said you will swear. Now why you don't want to swear? Because you were lying when you said I swear. So now because I made it in full. No, I can't swear. Okay, I swear. swear. Okay. I, I, I just swear. I just swear to you. Mm -hmm. I, I did not know this text before, the one that you showed me. No, 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 don't say the text before. Say I never heard before. I swear by Allah. I never heard before that I, a slave I, woman. I swear I never heard before. This is the slave woman mm -hmm. can be uh, had sex with without uh, marriage or okay. witnesses or dealer. Okay, let me ask this you something new. Are you allowed to lie to me in Islam or not? No. Okay. Is are we the enemy for Islam? Are you enemy? If you consider yourself an enemy, I'm asking you. No, according to you, are, am I the enemy of Islam? Who, whoever puts himself as an enemy to an Islam or to My friend, Muslims. I say enemy. Muhammad is a false prophet. Am I an enemy to Islam or not? Even this one, you do not know about it? See, if you said just because you don't believe in Muhammad, you are, you are. No, I, I did not say, are, I did not say, uh, I did not say I, I don't believe. I say Muhammad is a big fraud. Am I considered the enemy of Islam? Are you considered an enemy of Islam? Yeah. That's if. If you are in in a Muslim land, that's something else. But you are outside. That's ah. Uh, so it depends. Like okay, you are not a Muslim land, so we cannot kill you now. Okay, uh, this is the question. I, no, don't worry. It, I don't care about. I don't no. care what you you know what you can do. You can it, do nothing. You know. It, it, listen, listen, Abdul. Listen, no, Abdul. No, listen, no. This is not the question. Am I according no. to Islam an enemy of Allah? Someone who is not Muslim, yes. Okay, thank you. Are you allowed in Islam to lie to the enemy of Allah? No. Okay, what if I show you that? There is only one time you can lie. If that helps you to save your life. Okay. Are you saving the Prophet? Saving? How is that? Well, in the Quran it says, in chapter 3, verse number 28, I, I don't... in chapter 3, verse okay. 28, it says, you can lie to the Christians and to the Jews, speaking to them mm -hmm. in a friendly way, saying things you don't believe in, while your heart is dislike this, do you agree with it? You never heard of taqiyya okay, can... before? I know taqiyya and I just explained to you. Okay, so a person who want to take you as a but friend, not, a person who want to take not you as the a meaning that Okay, what taqiyya mean? Go, go ahead. Taqiyya comes from something, taqiyya at as if you obtain yourself of something. Protecting something, right, correct. Okay, so. The person want to take you as a friend. The Quran says, "Don't not, take them as a friends. Don't take them as a friends. Correct? Don't take them no. as a friends." Taqiyah, taqiyah is ittiqa. Something is bad for you. 
Okay, no problem. Something against you. Is it is it bad to expose Muhammad or is something good? Expose exposing Muhammad if he if he's if he's if let's say Muhammad peace be upon him, he is someone who is not a prophet and you, you and you hold an opinion against it and you show that opinion, that's not that's not a problem. Really? Uh, that's something new. You are very friendly Muslim. That's new Muslim. Okay, that's good. You know, that's wonderful. That's not you know, uh, there is too many Christians in the Muslim world. There's too many Jews in the Muslim world. And they pay I come. First of all, I, my, my, my family. First of my all, family uh -huh. have. I, I my family has a blood of a Jewish descendant. Oh. So what are you saying? Okay. You're just saying one. So you are from. So the, what's the problem? So with you? you are from the children of the pigs and monkeys. No. Is it the Quran says that Allah He made the Jews pigs and monkeys? So that what's the problem then? But you said you are descendant from the Jews. I am. I am descendant from from a monkeys. Are you out of your mind? Well, I, when the Quran says okay, how, 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 when the Quran says Allah this, He made the Jews pigs and monkeys, and you are descendant from the Jews. No, it's, there is a people who are Jew. If someone is bad and happens to be a Jew, mm -hmm. and God punish him, does that make him my father? Okay, why Allah punished the Jews and He made them pigs and monkeys? So so what? What's the problem? No, no, I'm asking you why. Okay, you mentioned the word Jews, so I'm asking you why Allah He made them pigs and monkeys. Okay, let's finish our first topic and then we move are, to we the are second. In the topic. One. Don't worry, we're on topic. Trust me, I don't go anywhere except the topic. I'm asking you, what kind of God? Uh -huh. What kind of God? He curses people for doing what? What is the what is the death? Mm -hmm. So He decided to make them pigs and monkeys. What is the sin, man? This is something very bad. So what they did? Uh -huh. What they did? So what? What the Jews did? You read it. You see what what the Jews. No, did? you tell me. I'm asking you. What is exactly? What kind of sin will make somebody turn into a pig and a monkey? That's good. If, if God's uh wishes to punish a people he can wish mm. he can punish them okay well in the quran it says that the one those jews they did fishing in saturday and allah he decided to make them pigs did... and monkeys do you agree with that okay let's see, see. Uh, let's agree on something we read it in arabic we translate it in english and then we we study it it's enough okay it's in the front of you chapter 5 verse number 16. chapter number five this is 265? 5, 5, 60. 60. Okay. <clears throat> 5, 60. Okay, we read the full surah. 5, 60. Made. Hmm. So what happened there exactly? قل يا أيها الكتاب هل تنقبون إلا من آمن بالله وما أنزل إلينا وأنزل من قبل وأن أكثرهم فاسقون قال هل أنبئكم بشر من ذلك مثوة عند الله من نعنة الله وغضب عليه وجعل منهم القردة والخنازير وعبد طاغوت There's a people who, who, are, who are worshiping false deities أولئك شر مكانا وأضل على سوء السبيل Okay So what happened here? They worship, they, they worship false deities Hmm. And he made them uh, pigs and uh, hmm. monkeys. So what's the problem? Hmm. Okay, I am worshiping false deity now or not? You, if you consider yes, you are worshiping God hmm. from the gates of Jesus, 
No, there's you are no, a believer. There's no gate. No, but, there's but no, you are mushrik. There's no gate. There's no. No, no, you are mushrik. There's no gate, my friend. I worship no. Jesus. Jesus is my God. So am I. No, okay. So, but those are Jews too. They worship God. You are mushrik. But those are Jews. They worship you God too, mushrik. my friend. Those are Jews. They are mushrikin too, according to you now. Where's where is where is Jews? Okay. Those are the Jews. This is the whole verse is about the Jews. Verse number fifty nine. It says, "All people are scriptures." Christian and Jews, do you criticize us for no other reason? So you criticize Allah, Allah will make you a pig and a monkey. Okay, so Jews and the Christians this is what the verse is talking about. So why Allah made the Jews at that time pigs and monkeys for worshipping false deity, as you said, and he did okay. not make me, why he is not making the Hindus? Hindus, they are worshipping, they have 36 million gods. God already gave him a message, and this, he just they what just message? obey him. You, the, the family of your prophet, they worship hundreds of gods. You said they are Jews. You don't say you said Jews. Yeah, those are Jews. Yeah, said Jews. Yes, those are Jews. Those okay, are Jews. Jews already or, already have the Torah. Already have, they have Moses. No problem. Is that correct or not? But isn't it you Muslim believe? Is that correct or not? But isn't it you Muslim believe? Is, is that correct? Don't be silly. Like is it correct or don't not? Don't be silly. Don't be silly. No. Isn't it you Muslim? We build. We isn't, be, as the isn't it you Muslim, Muslim? Okay. Isn't it you Muslim believe that Adam was a prophet? Yeah. Okay. That's mean the Hindu they receive a prophet too because Adam is the father of all mankind. So don't be silly. So. Why Allah decided only mm -hmm. to make the Jews pigs and monkeys, not the Hindus? Here we go. Adam actually, he, according to Islam, he went down in Sri Lanka in his parachute. So the the the, the Indian is the first one to receive Adam. Adam was an Indian actually, according, according to your religion. Yeah, he came down in Sri Lanka. That's why he liked tea. So Adam he went see. to Sri Lanka. Why Allah decide to make the Jews pigs and monkeys? The fact this verse here does not explain. It says. That the reason Allah He made them pigs because they did fishing in Saturday. So why Muslims don't believe that Adam is in uh, in uh, Sri Lanka? Who said they don't? Uh, we don't. I'm telling I you. don't. I, I I never heard this except from you. Okay, you never heard this exactly. Okay. Okay. If we can. Uh, okay. Let, oh, hold on, okay. Hold before on, that, hold, before hold before on, you go to that. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, before on. you go, to, I just oh. I am giving you. I can you give me a second. Before we go to anything, okay. we believe in Muslims. God will punish people who, after they received mm. uh, a messenger or a prophet mm. of God, okay. that, that's how God punished people. All right, this is that's what we will this believe. This is your Islamic website. It says Islam Peak mm -hmm. Sri Lanka, Adam Peak, and they are saying the footprint measuring uh, five point seven, five point six is believing to be the footprint of Prophet Adam. Who was saying where, where? it's in the front of you? This is your Muslim website explaining that he went down in Sri Lanka. So you my friend, you do not know what are you talking about. Secondly, when you say to me, uh, uh, you never heard of that, look like you never heard of anything in your life, but you still you can answer me. You claim. After two hours from now, you will say, I don't know. Now, the verse in the front of you says that the Jews they did fishing in Saturday, yeah. and they, because of that, Allah he'd make them pigs. Do you consider this is a good story or it's a stupid story? We, I, I told you, mm. as a Muslim believes, yeah. God does not punish people unless they received a prophet or messenger. Correct. Okay. Did Jews? Okay. Did do we ask a simple question? Did Jews get Moses or do not? Yeah, they get Moses. Okay. Mm. So after they get the message, mm. they disbelieved, mm. and God God punished them. Okay. No problem. All right. Do you believe in Noah or not? Don't, don't ask me those questions. Go, go ahead. I'm listening. Go ahead. No, 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 no. no. You, you are just making that God will just make anyone because he is uh, born uh, Kafir or born uh, and Muslim. He is going to be a monkey or, or a big. Continue, my friend. Continue. And that Jew, and just you, you imply no that Jew. Jews. I already explained to you. There's not it, here's no point for you. Okay, the Hindus. What's friend. the issue okay, here? What friend, is the issue here? My friend, did Muhammad he came to the Hindus too? Hindus. Yeah, did Muhammad did Muhammad send did you do, you, do we have Muslims in India like Zakir Naik? You already mentioned Zakir Naik. Okay, I'm saying to you. So if uh, because the Jews they receive message of Allah 
and they refuse. Mm -hmm. So Allah He made them pigs. Okay, you're a prophet. He sent yeah, a... He sent Zakir Naik as a messenger from him to the Hindus, and they still refuse. Is Allah going to make them pigs and monkeys? And who tell you Zakir Naik is a messenger of God? Uh, is Muhammad messenger of God? Yes, for us, yes. Okay, did he he was sent to the to Hindus too, to India too, or not? Is Muhammad be Sabi Muhammad went to India? No, Can I'm you saying, answer that question? Did, did he is the message oh, no, Muhammad? Is it is it all for all mankind or not? Yeah, the the message itself okay. for all mankind. Okay, so why okay. Allah do not but, get angry from the Hindus, who some of them even worship rats, and why he don't punish no, them, that, make them pigs and monkeys? The news you should thank Muhammad be Sabi Muhammad. Ah, ask Muhammad. He did okay. not want people but you, to be punished. You mentioned something to me very weird. You said to me, Allah will not punish any nation unless he send them a messenger, correct? Yes. Okay, so why he punish Adam? Adam is with God. He already ha received the... Uh, uh, God is talking to him directly. So okay. what's the problem? But you said he have to send them a prophet. That's what no, you said. That's something else. Okay, forget about forget yeah. about Adam. Forget about Adam. Allah will not punish people unless He send them a messenger. Correct? Mm -hmm. Who is yes, that? That's what I said. All right. Who is the messenger Allah He send to any country of your choice? Name for me, except, except like you know, because as I know in the Quran, all the messenger of Allah are Jews, except Abraham and you know before. So Abraham, he was the father of the Jews, correct? See, prophets came from Jews. Mm. That's not a problem. No, all the prophets are coming from the Jews. This is the problem. Can you name for me the prophets no. who they are not, not Jews? Can, see, can you name for me the prophet who they are not Jews? Not all of them. Muhammad is one out of them. Okay, not you. Who, who made Muhammad a prophet? Look, let me expose that Muhammad is not a prophet. If I asked you, is Muhammad a prophet for all mankind? You say yes, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, isn't it the Quran says, we never send a messenger except in the language of his own people. Chapter 14, verse okay. number 4. Okay, I just remember something. You said, tell me someone who is not, who is not you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Before Jew became Jews, mm. there's too many prophets before them. Like who? <clears throat> like Abraham. I told you he is the father of Noah. the Jews. Okay, uh, Noah is no. All right, so yeah. you see, he, he is the father I of am, Arabs. I am Abraham is father of Arabs. Really, uh, we are descend Arabs are descendants of Ishmael, mm. and uh, uh, the other descendants are Jews. Okay. So what's the problem? Okay, uh, I'm not going to discuss now that Abraham is the father of the Arab because that is very funny, by the way. Uh, no, because no. Abraham, Abraham, he married from an Aramaic woman, and the second wife was Egyptian. So how the child will be an Arab? That's very weird. However, if I ask you now, Hajar, the wife of Muhammad, the wife, sorry, of Abraham, where she was from? You will say from where? Egypt, right? Well, this the, the, the sentence you just said mm. seems very, very stupid because was there USA before? Was there Britain before? That's not, the there was there... That's, not, that's not the question. That's not the question. I'm asking you. You said, no, you that said Abraham, there is no Arab. Abraham, after, after some time, we will have a descendant that we call them something else. Exactly. So what's the no, problem? No problem. No problem. Uh, but in order to uh, be an Arab, you don't say in your Islamic books that Ishmael, he learned Arabic at the age of 14. You just you just okay, so you, you just up? need yourself. You said at that time there was no Arab, because they are going to be the descendant of the Arab will be descendant of Ishmael. But then in your books it says that Ishmael he learned Arabic in the age of fourteen, so he is the father of the Arab. But he learned Arabic from the Arab. I did this. Huh? You just no, say Muhammad it. is. You just is, said. Is, you just Muhammad made, is descendant of Ishmael. My friend, my friend, don't, don't stay chopping. You just said you made fun of me. You said <laughs> how he will be. <laughs> you know he is the father of the Arab. So how he will be? Uh, the Arab will be exist at that time if there is no Arab. They are the descendant. I'm asking you now, if the Arab are the descendant of Ishmael, how Ishmael he learned Arabic from the Arab? 
Maybe I'm being wrong on that, but when uh, this is out of topic. Again. All right. So I, I don't see how this helps our topic. Well, by the way. that will help our topic because Muslims they lie when they say that Ishmael is, you know, he is the father of the Arab because obviously the Arab are exist before Ishmael. So that's the lie. Because no, before Ishmael, we need to go to you just, you, just, to... you just said to me, you just said to me that the Arab are the children okay. of Abraham, correct? Yeah, I thought so, but okay. now given the what you what you said, mm, I think not all Arabs because there's there's different explanation. These people okay. who learn Arabic and become Arab okay. based on their language. Okay, no problem. Forget about and this. And then us, the Sender Ishmael. Let us, let us go here. Go, forget about it. Let us go here in chapter 14, mm. verse number four. It says, And we send not a messenger except with the language of his people. Ishmael, mm -hmm. what language he spoke? I don't know. A little Abraham, Arabic, yes. Abraham, you already Abraham, what he spoke? I'm not sure. Okay, then how Allah he sent Abraham to Mecca? Abraham, he speak Aramaic. And, this is the language of Abraham. Yeah. Okay. Allah he said, the, we yeah, never send a messenger except except with the language of his people, and, which means he have to be from the people and he have to speak yes, the language Jesus of the people. Aramaic. Okay, hold on. But did the people of Mecca speak Aramaic at that time? Yes. Uh -huh. Are you sure? At, yeah, at time of prophet, there's people who, who speak Aramaic. But uh, that's weird. I know at that time at, at uh, Abraham, there's people who speak. Who is Aramaic himself? Like we, we don't. What I'm asking in Mecca, in Mecca, in Mecca, yes. there's people who speak Aramaic. So people are in Mecca, they were Aramaic, not Arabic. Before that, they could be. Why not? Ah, so before problem? that time, they were Aramaic, and then they transform into Arabic. Aramaic could could be Arabic and uh, Hebrew. Could but be you just say he Aramaic is the father of the Arab, which means at that time the language does not exist. So you see, Muslims, how much uh, messed up religion you have. In one hand, you say that Abraham was sent to the to Mecca, and this, other this hand, has nothing to do with the religion. Okay, yeah, no, so it has to do with the religion. The no. When the Quran no, says, we never send a messenger except in the language of his own people. So he have to be from there. Is Abraham from there? I don't think Abraham is from Arabia. Okay, so why he, why he, he sent to, Iraq, no. it says of his people, the language of his people. So he have to be sent from the people, speaking the language of the people. So Abraham, he sent him, Allah, he sent him to Mecca. And that's mean Abraham from Mecca. Could you make it short? Okay, could you give me a short and give me their point? What is your point? I'm saying this is stupid. Let us make it more How simple. Is you are an Egyptian. Okay. Okay. Your grand grand ancestor, they are Coptic, Egyptian. They are not Arab. The Coptic are not Arab, the Egyptian are not Arab, they are African. Now your prophet said, mm -hmm. or your Quran says, that we sent not a messenger except with the language of his people. Okay, was Muhammad coming to Egypt or to India or to Japan with the language of the people or he don't have any other language than Arabic? Muhammad is Arabic. Exactly. Speaking. So, so the but the Quran says huh? that he will never send a messenger unless he speak the tongue of the people. So how Muslims they say Muhammad as a messenger for all mankind? There is another place that says that. There is what? No problem. Alameen mean the two kind of people, the human and the genie. Very stupid religion. Muhammad was a messenger to the genie. Do he speak the language that's of the genie? See, that's a formation. Is there something we cannot, you, you cannot prove? I cannot prove. No, I can't prove so because, because here, because here it says, here it says, he has to, have to be from the people, speaking the tongue of the people. So do Muhammad, is Muhammad from the genie? Is he speaking the language of the genie? 
من ان عربي سو ما ارسلنا كان يو جيف مي ان عربي وما ارسلنا من رسول الا بلسان قومه Yeah, and this is, is in past tense, means that we did not send before a messenger except with the language of his people. Exactly, past tense. This is in the time of Muhammad, my friend. He, Muhammad already is a messenger, wasn't he, when he gave him the message? So we never send a message, yeah, but... a messenger, except he speak the tongue of the people. And Muhammad okay. already is a messenger. So wait, wait. Okay, so Muhammad, you Muslims, you say, and you mentioned to me a verse in the Quran saying that Allah, he sent him a messenger for all mankind. Well, in order to be a messenger mm -hmm. for all mankind, you have to be speaking the tongue of all mankind, as the Quran is saying, in order to make the message clear to them. Do you see it? No, I don't see you, Prince. Still. Sorry. Okay. If he is saying, I will not send any messenger, I never sent a messenger, except he... To the people, his people, who speak the tongue, he speak their tongue, in order to make it clear. Okay, so in order for Muhammad to be a messenger to the German, he had to be from the German, speak German. In order for Muhammad to be a messenger for the Indian, he had to speak the 400 Indian language, and he had to be an Indian. Mm -hmm. So this is mean Muhammad is a fraud, and you are the one who mentioned to me the verse saying that Muhammad, he was sent to all mankind. But this, 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 this is contradiction. It's, no, this is not contradiction. What do you mean? Explain to me. It says he had to speak the language. It, it, it says here that, that God is talking about the past tense. He's exactly. Not about Muhammad, he already, Muhammad. Uh, Muhammad already sent as a messenger already. This is way after. No, this is before Muhammad. What, so, is, see, I, I said past tense. My, my friend, I, Muhammad, my friend, my friend. Okay. This is it. I sent Let you. us play the same game again. Can you show me who says this is before Muhammad? This is a message he sent to Muhammad. The text says okay. to Muhammad. Okay, we sent not a messenger. We sent not a messenger. Okay, for what purpose? To guide, right? Okay, except in the language of his people. Allah have a rule. And the reason is in order to make it clear for mm -hmm. them. So are you saying Allah, mm -hmm. he changed his mind. He don't want to make the message clear no more. And it's, it's still clear. What clear? We spent two hours to, to show you what the Quran is saying and at the end you get you busted. And it's clear? No. <laughs> all what, what guys, we, guys all this what, guy, all what, isn't it this guy the same guy who we showed him that he's wrong you, I'm talking and he agreed that talking he was ignorant you. and you speak Arabic. It's, it's all, you are the one who speak Arabic. It took me two hours to get you busted and show you that you are ignorant and at the end you agree. Okay, I do not know this. I swear by Allah, I never heard this before. No problem. So if the message is so clear, mm -hmm. why it took me two hours to get you busted and you speak Arabic with the Arabic you have and the language you speak, still you could not understand the Quran. Mm -hmm. So how about a guy from India? How he can understand? By translation? Not trans what translation? What is no translation? Allah is the one who made translation? The message of Muhammad was sent to the Indian by their language? It's the Quran. It says we never so what sent. You mean is also, so, we, we, so what we are saying is here that Jesus as well, he was Aramaic, mm -hmm. and then we have the, the other languages translated uh, the Bible or the seer of Jesus. My friend, Jesus. my friend, you are... So you are, you, you are it, it does not apply to other Concentrate. The Bible does not say we never send a messenger. We, don't, we, never, we did not send Jesus unless he speak the tongue. Actually, even your Islamic book says that Jesus, when the disciples they said to him, know, listen, listen, listen. When the disciples they said we, we to him, how Jesus we are going, you order us, you order us to go and teach and preach the whole world. But how we can speak to them? And then your book says, Ibn Kathir is saying, that when the disciple of Jesus woke up in the morning, they found themselves speak all languages in the world. See? Jesus, he sent his disciple, and then all languages in the morning. He told them, go to sleep, don't worry about it. They woke up in the morning, everyone speak different tongue. This is your Islamic books. Here, we have Muhammad, he have all his companion. They don't even speak with Arabic. They can't even, even the prophet did not know how to write Arabic and read Arabic. So now we have a problem in your religion. Actually, not, this is a blue flag. My friend, not mine, not mine. Because in your religion it says, this is blue, Allah will not. For us, for us, this proof that Muhammad is upon, peace upon him, he's a prophet. How? Because he's ignorant? Because he does not know how to write and read. He can. So how, how, so, how come? So are you saying, are you saying to me? 
Are you saying to me you feel sorry for me because I went to school? Because if I cannot, if I did not go to school, I am qualified to be a prophet. This is not not how it works. I, I did not say that. But you just said this is a proof he's but a prophet. It, what how that, how that the proof is a yeah. prophet? Go ahead. First of all, you hmm. you guys hmm. will say that uh, Muhammad have COVID uh, things from the Christ, from Christianity and hmm. Judaism, hmm. and that if he is not, if he cannot read and write hmm. from where he copied it. Have you ever heard? He of, gave many have prophecies. You, have you ever heard he of something? Have you ever heard of something called ears? Yeah, I heard of it. Okay, so well, he, well, hear, he can give you he a, hear things. So all, book, all the things book, Muhammad book. he have, it's a, something he heard as an example. You know, have you ever okay. heard of the fountain of youth? So, do you believe in the fountain of youth? That there's water you drink from it, you come back to life. No. Are you saying this is a stupid lie? Like the movie? I like those movies, you know? So you don't believe in it? Yeah, I saw it in the Pirates of Caribbean. What's the, what's but is, the that, is that a real fountain or it's a fabricated story? I don't know. I, I have no idea. You just said you don't believe in it a second ago. Yeah, because I, I don't see it now. How come I believe in something I don't? But you see? don't see Muhammad. You believe Today, Muhammad, I, you believe Muhammad now. You, do you, do you, do you, yeah, I read the I, I read the message and I compared so religion. So there's, there's a story. If somebody, is, okay, if somebody you know, told you there is there was there was a guy he drank from fountain of life and he come he, he never died because of that because he keep coming back to life. Are you going to believe him or you I take it? It's okay. Let's, let, let's, there is too many sayings in, in these resources. No, I'm not. Sources. This is not a question. I'm asking you. If somebody says such a thing mm. to you, that there is a fountain, you drink from it, you come back to life, even if you are dead. Are you going to believe it, or this is a stupid lie? I can. I cannot. Be, I cannot. It's believing in it is something is not essential to us be a Muslim. That's one thing. Okay. Second why, thing. Why? Why? Why you should not believe in it? I cannot in... believe why you should or not... disbelieve until okay. until it's it's something someone said here. This is water. Hmm. If you died, this is a man who's died. I'm going to give it to this person. He was going to be hmm. uh, alive. Hmm. If you showed it to me, they said, okay, that's a. Uh, so it but, didn't work. But, but that's, that's the story. I'm just trying to see how much you, you you know you think as a mature. I'm not trying to insult you, but if I make a cartoon right now that there is a guy he was dead. We put some water next to him. He touched the water because they throw him there. He came back to life. Are you going to believe in the story or this is a stupid story? So and then you you believe that a Jesus before born him he made people alive again by the will of God. So it's a problem there. Okay, but what does this have to do? This is water. Is water is God? No, is, no. no, the will of God can happen with anything. So what's the problem with that? Okay, so is that that water in the Caribbean movie? Is oh, we are, we, we are believing on an, in a super super being, God. So okay. God can do anything. Is the do water, we just believe that the water can okay, do? Is, can, so if uh, so, anyone who have a, anyone who believe in super being, we believe in without giving us a proof, correct? Yeah, so, so what's up? No, no, there, there's no point of mentioning something like this. No, because Jesus, when he raised people from death, people they saw, they witnessed. Who witnessed people drinking water and they come back to life? Who witnessed that? You are the one who said, if I if you can show it to me, I will believe it. If they don't, I will not. So. Yeah, that's mm, as, okay. a hum, as a so person. When we say today, Jesus, yeah. when you compare Jesus' story, Jesus, he have doing his miracle in front of thousands of people. As an example, the chapter of Al-Ma'idah, it's called Al-Ma'idah, why? Because he feed thousands of people. It's not a story. There's witnesses. Mm -hmm. So when we okay. say, when I, when I come to you and say, and once upon the time, there was a guy, Chica. he drank from the fountain of youth and he came back to life. Do you believe in what I said? Or you don't? I cannot believe or disbelieve. How come? Something uh, it's out of my knowledge. How can I see it? Hmm. I see. It's, uh, so do you... uh, today. I today. You see, today, today hmm. it's a uh, fourth uh, of January. Hmm. I never saw Jesus. I never saw his miracles. Hmm. Yet I believe in. It. So what's hmm. the problem? 
Yeah, but there's people who witness. Do do Muhammad had miracles? Oh, where are the witness? We don't we don't we don't have record of them. Your your prophet he witnessed for him six hundred years after Jesus. You accept with his witness, and we said that's weird. Uh, I mean, Muhammad he never saw Jesus. So just to show you the hypocrisy yeah. of Muslims, Muhammad never saw Jesus, never witnessed to Jesus, as you just said. Mm -hmm. If I don't see mm -hmm. him, if I don't, etc. So Muhammad see, after talking about me. Then you're Okay, else. if G if Muhammad never saw Jesus, how he can witness to Jesus? This is Quran, God talking. Okay, but you just said and to me, and how we can be sure that this is God talking? For me, I, I believe in it. So what's the problem? But we just showed you a verse in the Quran saying that Allah will never send the message except in the language and the tongue of his people. So if God is talking, how come he sent a man you don't speak the tongue of the people to the wrong people. And and and, and Muhammad was sent to another people. He was sent yes. to Arabia. No, he was according Arabic. What's you are point? the one who said to me he was sent to all mankind. All mankind speak Arabic. Yeah. yeah the, the the message is to all mankind. So what's the problem? No, it says okay. It says the problem is we never send except in the tongue of his people. So he have to be from the people speaking the tongue of the people. So in order for Muhammad to be sent- agreed. This is where something we already agreed on. This mm. is a past tense, says something before prophet. It's past tense and Muhammad so already, he was a prophet. When he sent it to him, he's already a prophet. Was a yeah. prophet. Was yeah. Muhammad so a prophet some, already or not? So, God, so he, no. he was prophet. No. No. There is something before him. So what's the problem? No, first of all, according to you Muslims, the first thing Allah he created, it was Muhammad. The no, idea no. is Muhammad as an idea. And all things is created for Muhammad. And he was a prophet and Allah, he put his name on the throne. So how Muhammad was not exist yet, yet his name is in the throne. Can, can you repeat it again? When Adam, he sneezed and he said, Achoo. Mm -hmm. Allah said to him, bless you. And then Allah, he cursed Adam for the, the, you know, doing mischievement. He ate from the tree. So Adam, he said to Allah, please, Allah, forgive me for the sake of Muhammad. Allah said, how you know about Muhammad? And yet I did not created him yet. Adam, he said, I saw his name next to your name on the throne. And I know you will not put a name of a person beside your name unless he is so dear to you. So Muhammad, okay. his name is exist in the list of the prophet. And this verse is no exception and no explanation. Say what you are saying. So stop being, you know, stop playing games. Shall we open the explanation? No, his, no, no. If his name is, is written somewhere before his My friend, before let he us go to again lie. to the same game. Listen, are you sure or you are playing the same game as we played before? That this is not include Muhammad. You are saying, you are saying, I'm asking you, are you saying I'm something. Asking, don't, don't waste my time. Don't no, waste my time. Don't waste you my are, time. I am, no, 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 I am see, online see. for more than five you hours. Are, my friend, I'm asking you, please. You are, please, please. You just referring are to you pro, Are not, you sure? Are you sure that this verse is not included your prophet? I cannot say hundred percent. So yeah, why you are you argue, why you point. are saying is not his reason? So why you are saying something you are not sure? What's wrong with you, man? I mean, I just read it. it. Doesn't say what you said. No problem. So don't answer then. Don't say he was not. It's a past tense. Don't make things up. I mean, don't you have a shame? I, I, I just read it. It's past tense. You no said problem. But Muhammad is, already in past tense. Muhammad already in past. Things he is. We never. We sent not. Muhammad we sent is, not. We sent is not. Is my us. friend, my friend. Allah speaking about. He never sent. He never sent. Never, 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 never. Correct. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So that's mean. This is the rule of Allah, and Allah will not send any messenger unless they speak the language. Now I want to ask you, if there is any scholar, he say that this verse is not included, Muhammad. What's going on? I didn't understand. Hmm. The Muslim, they will say to you in order to solve this problem, oh, this is for before Muhammad, as we said. Why? Because that will get Muhammad busted. But that's mean that Allah, he changed his mind. He decided to make the message unclear because why he is saying he sent the messenger speaking the tongue of the people because simply to make it clear for them. Do you agree? 
Those... For Muhammad, yes. No, so, no, no, um... not for Muhammad. I'm saying, why Allah He sent the message in the tongue of the people to make it clear for them, correct? Okay. Okay. So when Allah okay. decided to send Muhammad, He don't speak the mm -hmm. tongue of the people. Did Allah decide not to make it clear for them? <laughs> and Muhammad was sent to Hindus. Well, aren't you Muslims? Well, reason, say, aren't you Muslims? You invite everybody in the world to convert to to Islam. So how they will become clear so for them? The Quran says if if it's not in their tongue, it's not clear for them. No, it already came to Arabic. People are in our already. No problem, uh, no problem. Know. But Allah they said He never sent a messenger for what reason? Always translation is exist. There's translators exist in the time of Muhammad and before Muhammad. So, but Allah said still. We never send the messenger unless they speak the tongue of his own people. You keep keeping repeating the same thing. Okay, because you are slow. So if the order mm -hmm. is, the reason is to clear the issue for them, then you should not have Quran Arabic sent to someone who lives in Pakistan. Because this is against the rules of Allah. Because that mm -hmm. will not make it clear. And look at you. Making, making you speak the original text. You speak Arabic. No, no, see, see, see. You speak Arabic. And if, if, you today, if you today, okay, if you today, mm -hmm. if you today, let's agree on something. If you today, mm -hmm. we know Jesus speaks Aramaic, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. We understand that. Okay. And if you today have the Bible in Aramaic, will it, will it be better than having it in English? For sure. Or let's say uh, Greek. My friend, for sure, if I if I speak the original what language, is the issue is of better. Standing in Arabic? No, but you see, but you see, the difference is you just mentioned something very important. You just said what the name in You're Arabic. You just said what the name in Arabic. Okay, what is the name of the of Jesus in Arabic? Uh, Jesus, uh, sorry, uh, book in Arabic. Isa. No, no, no. The name of the book of Jesus in Arabic. His book. Injil. Injil. Okay, okay. So, is Injil an Arabic word? I'm not. Uh, if if it, it is now and it's now Arabic. I'm speaking it in Arabic. So it's Arabic. No. If I say now, if well, I say it, if I say the word gospel, and and I am an I am an English man. You know that makes sense. If I say gospel and I am an Arabic man, that's not Arabic. So my friend, the word injil is a Greek word, and you are the one who said keep saying Jesus speak Aramaic. Jesus speak Aramaic, correct? Injil is a, is a, uh, what is it? You, you say that Jesus speak Aramaic, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, how come he speak Aramaic, but his book is in Greek? That, that's a translation afterwards. No, my friend, it says Injil. Injil is not translation. Your God saying that. Are you saying your God is copying translation? It is Allah saying and Injil. It is Allah. And Hebrews say the Torah. My friend, What's the, problem? the Torah is different book. Injil is different book. Injil is the new, yeah, is the new testament. Okay. So I'm asking you, uh, when Allah he used the word Injil, if Jesus was sent, Jesus was sent to who? I'm not really sure if it is the Injil is the, the one that you possess of, but you can go. No problem. This is not a question now. I'm asking you. Mm. Jesus, he was sent to who? To which nation? To the Jews. To the Jews. Okay. Mm -hmm. If if Jesus and you are the one who said to me, Allah never sent in past tense. So that includes Jesus. Don't run away from it, correct? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So, so Allah sent Jesus to the Jews, speaking to them in Greek. No, he was speaking to them in Aramaic. So what's the problem? But hold on. The name of the book is Injil, it's a Greek. From what source you give you? Everybody knows. Go search it now. This this is this is a, this is no. not an Arabic word. This is not a Hebrew word. This is not an Aramaic okay. word. This is a Greek word. This is a Latin a Greek word. So the word in Jil, if Jesus was sent, the same as you said, Allah never sent any messenger except to speak the tongue of His people. So how in the world He speak? Okay, look what happened now. Look what happened. Allah He sent Jesus to the Jews, but the, you just keep repeating He speak to them in Aramaic. Correct. Mm -hmm. Is the Jews Aramaic? Could you repeat again? You said that Jesus was sent to the Jews and he speak Aramaic. Is the Jews Aramaic? 
They could be speaking Arabic. So what's a... Aramaic? So... Aramaic, not Arabic. Are they are are they Aramaic? We are just following the Quran. Arabic speaking. Aramaic, Aramaic not Arabic. Speak. Okay. Is the Jews Aramaic? Aramaic. Okay. So they are Aramaic they and they're... At that region in Jerusalem, they speak Aramaic. So what's problem at that time? Ah, yes. at that time. Okay, we will go with you, no problem. So Jesus, who spoke to them Aramaic, but his book is in Greek. How that can work? So well, how Allah He sent him a book in Greek that He will deliver to the Jews who they are speaking Aramaic, as you said. But their explanation, they they are under explain, Greek go ahead, rules. Explain, so they, go ahead, I'm listening. Go ahead, explain it. They they do speak uh, Greek and Aramaic. Ah, okay. now we add one more language, Greek. Okay, wonderful. All right, all right, okay. So you just were under the Roman okay. Empire. So what's uh, oh, okay 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 so now greek aramaic and 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 the book allah choose the language the name of the book in jeel why if the jews are jews they are hebrew why he did not choose a hebrew word this is the language of their enemy the roman they were occupying them why he called it in jeel was Jesus sent to the Greek or to the Jews? The Jews had their own language. So mm -hmm. if Allah chose the Greek language to send it with Jesus, to send the book with Jesus, that means Allah, he sent Jesus to the Greek people, not to the Jews. Because it says here, he have to be from the people speaking the tongue of the people. Do you see it? The, the name itself is... The... Hmm. Anyway, my friend, we are here for I don't see the point. My friend, you can call me anytime I am live on air. No, you, are welcome. you did not give the point. The point is, this is a stupid, this is a contradiction. Because if you say we never send the messenger unless he speaks the tongue of the people, then we find that there is mess okay. many messengers, they speak different tongues, have nothing to do with their people, and even the name of the books are wrong. So how, because either he is sent to the Hebrew only, or he is sent to the Greek too, and he is sent to the Aramaic too, but speaking... Saying that he speak Aramaic and he speak a Greek and he speak Hebrew, well, that means that he is a, he is for everybody, including the Greek, and even the name of the book is a Greek. If I make a book and I have the title in Chinese, obviously my book inside is a Chinese, and obviously my book is made for the Chinese. Otherwise, I would not call it Ching Chong Chong. Well, we we cannot say they're in zeal maybe have have a source in, in aramaic or not we we can i cannot say for no, no, sure no, no, we know Sorry, we are sure we can search you can you, you can ask prophet google in two seconds now my friend i will give you a final just a, a short uh, we don't keep it long because i'm here for long sorry uh if there is anything in the quran proof that allah is god anything come the to whole, your mind the whole of it like what yeah give me one everything like there's too many miracles in it. like what Like what? You tell me, like what? I mean, here we go. Said, this is a stupid. This is the first. God is. This is a stupid. This cannot be from God. Okay, God is one. Is that is that a problem? Are okay, you? hold on. Allah. Not nothing like him. So if Allah is, uh, if He is one, I am one too. Does that mean I'm God? No, you are not. Okay, I asked God. you. Uh, focus with me, please. I asked you how you can prove to me that Allah is God. You said to me, is one. I am one. How many, See, my how many creators there is? There is one creator. So why Allah, he says he is not the only creator? He said that. Yeah, he said that. He said? Yeah, he said that. He said he is the so best the of the point? creators. How he can be the only creator if he is the best of the creators? He's not... Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. We can go to that one. We will laugh at it too because ahad. Ahad is not one, one off. This is what Ahad means. So don't say Allah Ahad. Mm -hmm. It's an insult. Allah Ahad no. is, the, is, 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 the, is the pagan god of the Arab. Ahad. 
I'm asking you now. No. If you said to me, there's only no, one no, no. creator. You said to me, there's only one no, creator. If Allah is the only okay, creator, okay, how Allah he okay, saying is up. the best of the Allah creator? Okay, how Allah? Okay, bring it. Allah bring it. No, how Allah bring is it. the best of the creators? Don't change topic. No, no, you just said Allah Ahad. Bring it. I want to see. No, you are the one who mentioned yes, it you, and trying to run just, away. No, no, you're trying to run away from a stupid verse in the Quran. How Allah is the only creator if he say he is the best of the creators. In Arabic, please. Chapter 23, verse number 14. Open it in your side. Why do show it to all people? Fatabarakallahu hmm. ahsanul khaliqeen. You Muslims are pagan infidels. You worship many creators and you worship the best of them. That because he's better than the rest. He's like BMW compared to Honda. Honda. Yeah, that's your opinion. No, that's not my opinion. It's the opinion of Allah. Allah is saying he is the best of the creators. Are you saying Allah is lying? Okay. So what's the problem with that? So how he say he is the best of the creators? How many creators there is? There is one creator. Okay, how he can be the best then? Are you saying Allah is lying, fabricating that he is the best, but he is not? This is not a lie. This is a description. Okay, how you describe yourself? You are the best of the creators. If there is no other creators. Yeah, because the creator, this is something uh, referring to as the best. So what's the problem? How you can be the best if you are the only one? I am the best student, but there's no student except me. That's That's a lie. If I say I am the best builder and there's no other builder, that's I'm, I'm lying. I'm giving myself a certificate of something which is not true. To say the best, it means there's others. And to say creators, yeah. there's creators. And I am one of them. Can I read Arabic? Can I read Arabic so I understand it? Okay, read in Arabic. Because I just... You did read in Arabic Continue already. Arabic. You did read in Arabic yeah. already. What's wrong with you? I heard you. Read it? Okay. Let me tell you something, you know, once I went to the field, no, one, of, one of my yeah. hobby is to shoot, you know, so I went to the field and I did shooting and then I come to a conclusion that I am the best shooter. But guess what? I was alone shooting there. Do you think I am a liar if I say to the people, hey, guys, I was the best shooter in the field. And then later I tell them, ah, you know what? There's nobody was there except me. Don't you think this is a lie to say you are the best shooter, but there's no other shooters except you? These are two two separate things. No, it's not two. He is the best of the creators. What those people do? They create. And he is the best of the creators. I am the best shooter. What those people do? They shoot. So I am the best shooter. He is the best creator. I was alone in the field. Everybody shoot except me. So who's lying here? Yeah, just just mixing up things. God is speaking about the the how he created mankind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is we get it how he is the best of the creators if there is no creator either you have to admit Allah is lying comparing himself to creators there is no other creators exaggerating or he agreed there is a creators he is the best which one is, is, Allah, is Allah telling the truth that he is the best of the creators mm -hmm. okay. is he telling the truth uh, this is and, a question is he telling the truth that he is the best of the creators there is no creator except Allah. Okay, so how he can There's be the best creator. of the so how he can be the best of the creators? So he's lying. This is not a lie. No, you this cannot say you cannot say I am the best of the teachers of the other teachers. That's a lie. If God, if God can see that. What do you think? What do you think? If he is the creator and there is no other creator, how he says the best of the creators? This is not, this is not not as if there is another creator. This is so, description. So you Allah is lying, exaggerating, showing off, saying, "Hey guys, I'm the best of the creators," but there's there's no creator, so he's liar. 
No, this is description. God, God created the mankind, and He is saying the best. He is the best of creators. He's okay. the creator. Is it true that this is a phrase? A guy who was working for your prophet, he said that, and then he left Islam because Muhammad he added to the Quran. Is that true? Is what your Islamic interpretation says that this is not from the Quran? Mm, I... You have something like this? I don't know. Yeah, I have something like this. This is about a guy, his name is Abdullah ibn Sarah. He is the one who was writing the Quran for Muhammad. When Muhammad stopped with the last word, which is Akhar, this guy said, Muhammad, he said to him, put it there. He said, put what? He said, put that the thing you just said, Tabarakallah Allah Khaliqeen. He said, but I am the one who said that. He said, Allah, he sent it to me as he sent it to you. So Abdullah ibn Sarah, he said to himself, Muhammad obviously is a fraud. If this is inspiration to him from God, from Allah, will Allah inspire me before him? I am a prophet too. And he left Islam. However, as long as we are here, you can search it and you can study it. So you can laugh at the hypocrisy and the false prophet who copy a man. But you notice here, you are the one who said that Allah, he made the nutfah mm -hmm. into a clot. Allah made the sperm into dead blood. And this is a miracle. So that's a problem then. Is that what the what the scientists they teach you? That the sperm transform into dead blood and then that the blood became a baby? No, there 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 is a, a verse on that. With the verse, it says in front of you, this is the verse. This is the very 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 verse. It says, We made the not for the sperm of the man into a clot of a congealed dead blood. Dead blood. Okay. Okay, how mm -hmm. this can be true? How, how God he don't know how the baby created? Yeah, this is this is actually a scientific uh, who is explanation. the nation. Okay, can you you know what? You can call me later, maybe tomorrow if you want, and we can start talking about this scientific thing. I will give you until tomorrow I, I, to study it. What do you think? One thing we have to say. This is something I cannot prove, and you cannot prove. No, I can prove. We can open right now any no. scientific website. Have nothing to do with God just scientists, doctors, and we see how the baby is formed from the day number one of fertilization to the day, uh, to the last day. So we can prove that it's very easy. This is the only thing actually we can prove to be wrong or right. So what? you're admitting some other things in the booth. I'm admitting that your God Allah is a fraud. He claimed that he is a doctor in biology and yet he's an idiot. Mm -hmm. No, you just first of all, you, you are referring to uh, this. This one you said, mm -hmm. I, I read it before, yeah, and I can say for sure 100% okay, what you said cannot be applied because you are just you're going to refer to a non Muslim person who will use another description and they apply to My the friend, description. Why, of the does, why the scientist he will lie about how the baby is made? This is what they teach in your school, in school, in university to be a doctor. So, Zakir Naik, when he graduated from school, he learned that this is not what the Quran said. So, but Zakir Naik, he decided to follow the Quran over science. I'm asking you, is that really how God, he made the baby? Uh, I, I cannot say for sure. I, have okay. to, have I will to give you it. time to think about them both. And if you call me second time, we will show you how Abdullah ibn Sarah, he is the one who was making Quran. And you're a prophet because he's a fraud. He was copying him. What do you think about that? I will show mm -hmm. it to you from your Islamic scholars books, not a guy in the TV show. What do you think? No, I already I, I already read that. And, and that hadith was weak. So I, there is no point. Who is the one who it. said this is weak? Who is the one who said that weak? I cannot say for sure, but I can I can search it. My friend, that, uh, that, that is that is okay. A, you, you, that, that is a dummy okay, answer, you, my friend. So listen, listen to me. Okay, okay. Allah here. He, okay, no problem. He, he exaggerate. Okay. He lie. He says he okay. is the best of the creators. Let's talk about something. Hmm. Let's say about that. Okay. You, you, I need to go soon. You know, I'm here for almost six hours, my friend. I am. I am here with you as well. No, you are. You you call me after long after I started. You are here maybe for an hour and a half with me. No, I I, I tried to call you multiple times before. No I problem. Couldn't. So okay, one more one more thing. What do you want? Go ahead. 
see you can start this no problem i have to search it hmm. about the creation of length of the, uh, hmm. the human okay. and then i would ask you two questions hmm. then you you answer me when for the second call hmm. uh the first thing is jesus peace be upon him hmm. to whom he prayed and how he prayed hmm. so two questions uh, Second question, mm. to whom he prayed and mm. how he prayed mm. and whom he asked uh, his companions mm. to pray to. Okay, that's wonderful. Well, we Christian, we believe okay. in the Hold on, you give me the question, I can answer you. We Christian, we believe in the okay. Trinity. So Jesus speak to the Father. So the mm -hmm. Messiah, he spoke to the Father, he prayed to the Father. Very simple. Okay. How he pray, it doesn't matter really. For us as a Christian, Jesus said, you can go to your closet and you can speak to the Father who can hear you and can see you. And when he said to the disciples to pray, he said to them, Ask me and I will answer you. Knock at my door and I will open for you. So Jesus, he confirmed that he is God because he asked the disciples to pray for him. I am the life. Mm. I am the resurrection. Shut up mm -hmm. the answer. I am the life and the resurrection. Whoever, whoever come to me, you know, I will, I will, I will, I will, I will, I will, I will help him. I will comfort him. So Jesus, he said clearly that he is God. People pray for him and he, me and the Father is one. Same question I'm going to ask you. Hold on. Same question I ask you. What, what the word Salah mean? Since you, since you answered me. I answered I want, you. I want, I want you to answer yeah, me now. The same the time. We don't want to stay, change the topic. No, no. The word Salah. What Salah mean? What the word Salah mean? No, you can finish later. No problem. What the word Salah mean? No, I, I have to finish it. Then I move to no the problem. second you, we, thing. We are not done. We are not finished yet. We are, having a, we are having a conversation. We are having a conversation. We are having a conversation. I will show you the Bible. I'm saying to you what the word Salah mean. Salah, Salah mean have uh, many meanings. What it means? Tell me. It, it means the prayer and means blessings and has another meaning as well. I cannot show them all. I don't know them all. You so do not know. Or, or, okay, or, what? Give me. Again, so, uh, so when you say I want to do, to. I want to do salah. You, you, you mean what exactly? Yeah. What do you mean? What, what does that mean? I'm going to do salah. Yeah, it means I'm going to pray. Pray. Okay. Do Allah pray? No. You said to me, if Jesus was praying, he was praying to who? I said to you, to the Father. Correct. Yeah. Okay. When Allah He pray, He pray to who? God does not pray. Well, the, okay. Well, uh, it says that Allah and the angels they are praying on the Prophet. Yeah, they they send blessings to him. Okay, I will go What's with you. With I will go with you, guys. Send a blessing. Are you sure from that? Huh? I already told you. There has been multiple meanings. What? What's the point? No problem. But you just killed your God. Because okay. if Allah right. is sending a blessing, why mm -hmm. Allah asking the Muslim to do salah to send him blessing? This is your Muslim translation saying, Allah send his salat and between two brackets, grace and honor and blessing. Okay. If Allah already blessed Muhammad, did Allah bless Muhammad or not? Yeah, we already said that. Yes. So. Okay. So it says here in in a in a in a continue verbs, Inna Allah wa malaikatuhu yusalluna ala nabi. They do, they do that. Okay. It says okay. Allah and the angels. The blessing come mm -hmm. from Allah or from the angels? It says Allah here. So this is a fast translation. No. You speak Arabic. It says Allah and the angels pray on the Prophet. Do Salah and the Prophet, correct? Mm -hmm. Not the angels alone. See. Not Allah alone, correct yeah. or not? Okay. And Allah. Okay. This is good. And okay. Allah. So, so if, if this is if this is means send the blessing, that means angels are God too. Because Allah and the mm -hmm. angels are doing the same act. Can angel do the same as Allah? 
if God if God give them the permission, then yes. So, what so is, Allah giving what's the, the point? Allah give them permission to be gods, because the blessing only comes no. from God. So what's the issue here? Is this a situation I here? I don't see. If Allah and the angels are doing the same act, what is that act? You are the one who said to me the word salat here means blessing. We laugh. Because if this is a blessing, okay, Allah send a blessing. Who need the angels? Who need the believers? Why is asking the believers to do salat to Muhammad to receive blessing if already he blessed him? If my God, he blessed me. Do I need to ask people here in the chat? He say, guys, ask God to bless me. He did already bless me. So this is a stupid statement. Allah and his angels are what? They are sending salah. They are not sending. They are. There's no word send, by the way. The word send is not exist. And this is getting Islam more busted. Let me ask you, does it say send anywhere in the in Arabic? Does it say the word send anywhere send. in Arabic? No, but it has the meaning. Okay. So what's the problem? Where it says has the meaning. It says you saloon. What you saloon mean? You said a blessing, correct? So you should In not. The so you should not know means. what the context. It does it say they sent the, the Arabic? We have Arabic for we sent. Does it say anything about we sent? No. So always it says it's you So if we say the yeah, word yeah. here is your saloon, mean a blessing. So you should translate the word as it is that Allah and the angels they are blessing on the prophet, not sending blessing. If the word you saloon mean blessing, correct? Your saloon here in mm. Arabic means blessing. <laughs> what you say, my friend, and it says okay. the same in English. Okay, does it say anywhere the word send in Arabic? No, secondly, does it say anywhere, that, that, my friend, my friend, my friend, in English, if there is anywhere okay. the word your saloon, it says a blessing. Since when, since when the word you salli mean you salli, it's a verb. Verb is, is not is is you suddenly is a verb or not? I already told you saloon has two meanings. My friend meanings is the word you saloon is a verb. Is is it a verb or a noun? Is, is it a verb I or a noun? See the English. Is it a I, verb in our is the word you saloon a verb or a noun? You mean fell? Fell, yeah. Is it a verb or a noun? Is it yeah. is it a verb is it a verb? It is a continuous verb, correct? Okay. okay. So how okay, the word of blessing okay. is continuous verb? Is the word of blessing See, is a verb? You said, is the word of blessing is I, a verb? In, 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 you asked me in Arabic, what does it mean? I told you it is blessing. All, are you, all you are repeating words. yourself. I'm asking you, is the word you said? Oh, no, you are the one. Verb? You, you are the one. Yes. You, you, you want said to make yes. you, said, is you said it is a verb. Yes. Okay. Now, is the word of blessing a verb? Uh, by itself, no. So it has to me have sent. Yes, that's uh, no. That, uh, if you send a blessing, the blessing is not the verb, my friend. The word send is the verb. Yeah, that's why. It okay, but there's no word send here. The verb is the word. Uh, the word you are saying it's a blessing. Are you stupid or what? The word you saloon is the one is the verb. Yeah. We agreed upon it's that. The only so see, see, you, you you want to make a point from an English translation. I am not, not, I am not making Arabic. a point from English translation. No. I'm making a, a point from no, Arabic. No. I'm showing you Arabic, reading Arabic with you. What's wrong with you? I said to you, I read I said to you the word you saloon. Is it a verb? You said yes, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. So, so well. is the word of blessing Arabic in Arabic or in English? Doesn't matter. Is it a verb? Oh, it's a noun. Is it a fail am ism? I think it's a verb. So what's up? <laughs> Take care. Take care, little boy. <laughs> the word the blessing is a verb. <laughs> the word the blessing is a verb. <laughs> just just go, man. It's, it's enough for today. What an idiot. Oh boy. The word of blessing is a verb. I think it's a verb. <laughs> oh 
how many hours we are here is it five six already i think we are already six hours here right oh boy what a bunch of kids anyway all of you muslims you can call me as you see this is today a great example of about how stubborn the stupidity is i wasn't debating this person i was debating his stubborn stupidity after two hours he admitted that he not on, he never heard he never know etc and now he's saying to me the word blessing is a verb man my neck hurt me seven hours seven hours <laughs> anyway but it's good to have some muslims and i hope that you guys you would download the video you can cut it pieces it's so long i know but what we can do i mean we waited for long until a muslim to call us and finally we got this abdu anyway it was a good fish uh, so when a muslim he says to you if jesus is god how he prayed the answer is very simple jesus is speaking to the father we believe in the trinity but your god he speak to who and allah when he say may allah may what may allah allah speaking to which allah because this is a prayer too. When Allah He say, "Me Allah," that means no way the one is talking. If He is Allah speaking to the same Allah, because the same Allah should not say that may Allah forgive thee for the sin, not faults, as they translate here. Allah here is a praying to our God. He call Him Allah. That may Allah forgive your sin, Muhammad. That is a prayer. When you say me, if I say here to the crowd, may God forgive you people. That means I am not God asking God for forgiveness of you. Correct, guys? But when Allah, he say, may Allah forgive your sin, obviously no way Allah is talking. Or we have to accept there is many Allah and one of the Allah asking the higher Allah to forgive Muhammad for his sin. For God did not need to say, may Allah or may God forgive you, for he is God. If the one is talking is God himself, who need to say, may God forgive you? That is a stupid statement. That is really a stupid statement. So we have tons and tons and tons of approves that the Quran is a stupid book. I'm not saying there's more than one Allah, by the way, because there's zero Allah. <laughs> we don't believe in any of this. But this is showing you how stupid the one, the author of the book. May Allah forgive you. So who is talking? All right. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. I apologize. I can't stay long. It's already seven hours and i hope we learned something good please download the video cut it pieces share it with your friends we can you know divide it into topics you know based on the questions we have and show everybody how the muslims they debate and they are ignorant they are just stubborn people they knew islam is a stupid the sperm became a blood Still, he says, so what? So what? Anyway, all what I do here is to teach you how those people, they play games and how to fight the devil which is possessed inside them who don't want them to see the truth because the truth will set them free. We love the Muslims and this is why Jesus, he said, Read the books, search the books, find the truth, and the truth will set you free. And this is why Jesus said, I am the truth. Find the truth, and the truth will set you free. And when a person, he says, uh, questioning Jesus, what he do, and he's a Muslim, specifically he's a Muslim. Like if he's an atheist, I would say, you know what, he's an atheist. If he is not a believer in Jesus anyway, I would say he is an atheist, right? But this is a Muslim who believe Jesus here is right people from death, but because the devil Muhammad, he fooled them. 
In John chapter 14, Jesus said, If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. He did not say, May God forgive you. If you, whoever, you shall ask in my name, I will do that. So my Father, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. So when you see the miracle of Jesus, some of us will be accepting that Jesus is God. Some of us, we will not. So the miracle of Jesus is maybe you are going to believe that the God the Father is in the Son, glorified by Him, whoever ask in my name. Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believes on me, so, and believe on me, the work that I do shall do, shall also, shall he also do. And the greater work than this shall he do, because I go into my Father. Believe in me, that I am in the Father, and the Father in me. And yet the Muslims, they say to us, where Jesus says, I am God. He just said, God is in me, and I am in God. Who is this God we are talking about? God the Father. And yet they say, Brother Tatar, I tell the Christian, you can't find one word in the Bible, if they did that, I'm God with me. Copy, paste, cut. I want to say thank you all of you for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And enter we'll see you, I hope, maybe tomorrow if we can. Maybe I should give it some time for people to watch. Because usually people, they start watching the second video and they forget in the previous video. So I don't know if I will come back tomorrow, which is already tomorrow. We are already 12 or 8 o'clock. So enter we we'll see you soon again. May the Lord bless you all. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And don't forget to subscribe. Join us in our life. Invite Muslims to debate us, especially scholars, not kids. Because the easiest debate is the debating scholars, not like kids like those. Talking to them, actually, it's a waste of time. But I was willing to do it because we are like homeless, desperate for finding a Muslim to talk to us. This is how bad the situation is. Nobody there. So, if you can't find a Muslim claimed to be a scholar with long beard, tell him, challenge him, say, call this guy, get him busted, and let us see. Subscribe, join us in Patreon, and thank you all for being here and your support. God bless. Take care.